Good morning, everybody. My name is Cameron, and welcome to Cocktail Time again. That's what we start things off with around here. And then we'll be transitioning to a little bit of Minecraft. Today is December 24th, and that means it is Christmas Eve for most people. Well, not most people. I suppose it's Christmas Eve for those who recognize Christmas on the 25th because the eve of Christmas is the day before. If you don't observe Christmas, then it's just kind of, it's just December 24th. It's still the holiday season, so maybe you got some, like, good, like, Black Friday deals, like, a month ago, or some Christmas deals coming up, or... I feel like one of the things that I'm thinking about right now are what the sales are gonna be like after Christmas is over, after the 25th is over, or after the new year is over, when everybody's trying to sell all their 2022 gear, because nobody needs 2022 stuff after the new year stuff comes in, or all this 2021... Christmas stuff, it's all gonna be on sale. And then you can just gift it to people next year. Although to be honest, I don't do a lot of post-Christmas shopping. I usually only do pre-Christmas shopping. And I was doing my Christmas shopping last week. I was um, I was picking up some last minute gifts for my family members. And although I would love, I really, really wish I could go through all the details all the th of the things that I got for my friends and the things that I got for my family, the things that I made, the thing that I made for my fiance, but I can't say that just yet because I haven't given them the gifts yet. And if there's somebody on here now, then that'll just ruin the surprise. And that wouldn't be fun for, I mean, tech, tech, I was gonna say, that wouldn't be fun for anybody. It would be very fun for the person who's about to receive the gift because they'd be like, oh, it looks like I'm getting that from Cameron. Well then, uh, but it wouldn't be fun for me because, oops, well, the surprise. Anyway, so it is like eight o'clock in the morning over here, which is usually, it's, it's a Friday. I have off from work today, no worries. I'm not skipping work or anything. I had off today. I'm not just staying home and not doing my workly duties. I I cinched my workly duties in the butt yesterday. I was on point by the end of the day and I'm still on point. I have work stuff with me just in case it becomes relevant over the holiday break. I'm that good or that obsessed. And somebody once called me a workaholic. I don't know if I agree with that. I like work, but I wouldn't prioritize work over like, other personal things, depending on the situation. Family, my priorities are family at the top, friends, and then fun. And sometimes that stuff gets warbled up all in between and whatnot, but I try to keep it in that order. And work isn't really on there. But if work is fun, then it's priority number three on that list. If work, work provides currency, which allows me to care for my family, which is my fiance and my actual parents back at home. So that's technically priority number one, but I also like to spend the money on my friends too. So it's also priority number two. So work is kind of priority number three, two, and one all at the same time, but not any particular one at a time. If I had the choice of hanging out with my parents for their birthday, that's family, that's up at the top. You gotta do that. You gotta do that and push things out of the way. If my friends are in need and need help, that's priority number two. Naturally, that comes above all the fun stuff. If I'm doing fun stuff, but my friends need me, then that takes priority. If I'm doing fun stuff, but my family needs me, that's up at the top here. But above all else things, as long as you're having fun. And for the most part, I can kind of convince myself that I'm having fun with anything. Maybe that's not exactly true. That's not a, that's not a very testable theory, because there's a lot of things out there, and I'm sure there are a lot of things out there that I wouldn't be able to find fun even if I tried. I'm trying to think of some things. What would not be fun even if I tried? Probably eating, probably eating things that are not meant to be edible. Human excrement, eating that would probably wouldn't be fun, even if I tried. Not that I would. I don't know why that was the first thing that came to mind. Anyway, it's early in the morning, and we're doing mocktails. I don't know where the, parent, the, the quotations come from. It's mocktails. It's not alcoholic. They're, we're not doing alcohol in the morning. It's too early, it's too early to start drinking on, on a Friday morning. Although, some would, I'm sure, contest that. And if that's the case, you do you. You do you. We're gonna keep the alcohol out of it this time. And also because I know there are a lot of times where there's a lot of, you know, the recipes that come up, you know, not everybody drinks alcohol, but it would be cool for them to continue to, to be able to enjoy libations like the rest of us. The rest of us. I say the rest of us almost as if the rest of us drink alcohol. Not everybody does. I'm so, I don't know if the majority of people do or do not. Anyway, that's beside the point. We're start with some recipes this morning. The first one I have, they were actually sent to me by my fiance the other day. She gave me five options that I picked from the two of them. And we'll, we'll get right into it. The first one is from food.com for the green tea cocktail, non-alcoholic. 
Now, my question is, Sydney Mike, who the recipe is by, why did you call it the green tea cocktail non-alcoholic when the name is staring you right in the face? Like, you didn't need the parentheses saying non-alcoholic. You could have just called it the green tea mocktail. And I don't know if this is similar in any way to a green tea shot. I don't believe it is. I don't think there's any... I don't even think there's green tea in a green tea shot. It's just green-ish. I believe, I believe it uses melon liqueur. I might be wrong about that. Don't quote me on it. But the green tea cocktail, non-alcoholic, aka the green tea mocktails, I'm going to call it. Thank you, Sydney Mike. Contain, it just basically combines green tea, white grape juice, lemon juice, and uh, grape juice. Uh, grape grape again ginger ale ginger ale all into and i don't know if it it kind of goes in, all the recipes that i got are built for like if you're having like a like a lunch party or a breakfast party or whatever so you put it in a big pitcher all the measurements i got are in cups but i'm only drinking a single cup of this so i've adjusted the recipe uh, i've adjusted the recipe accordingly so the first thing i need is a shaker so i have a shaker and i also would like in that shaker some ice I'm gonna go get some. I'm gonna go get some ice. Luckily, I have my cooler back here. I'm gonna put some. I got plenty of ice cubes. Got big ice cubes. I got small ice cubes. All the ice cubes you could possibly need. You need ice cubes? I got ice cubes. I previously did not have enough ice cubes, but I'm getting better at it. Put that in there. Supposedly, you're supposed to break up the big cube. I've never been very good at breaking up the big cube, so I'm trying to get better at this, but hopefully, I don't like hurt myself. Oh my god, I get ice shard in my eye. It's just water. I'm very bad at this. I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, well, it's a mildly cracked large ice cube, and now it's in the cocktail shaker, so I guess we're doing just fine. It calls for a single measure of green tea. Now, I was of the impression, the, the recipe called for boiling water and a tea bag. So when I first looked at that, my first thought was, so I'm gonna build the cocktail and then steep the tea bag in it? add uh, until I feel like drinking it and that's tech that's not really what the instructions say you're just supposed to without actually saying it in the in the ingredients you just you just make green tea beforehand so I I made some green tea beforehand tastes lovely it's kind of floral actually I like that I really like that so I'm gonna take an ounce of that and pour it in my cocktail shaker just about an ounce there we go and um, I'll say that green tea for the time that's still good that's still good green tea I need the recipe next calls for two green tea bags. That's if you're making an entire pitcher full of this stuff. I'm not. There was only one tea bag used in this cup. It is in the garbage now. I steeped it for only five minutes. Now I need two measures of white grape juice, which I went to the store yesterday. Apparently, Target was not very on point with their juice selection. I walked to Target because Target is the cheaper option around here. And there was no cranberry juice, which I needed for another recipe. There was no white grape juice, which I honestly wasn't surprised about. But the fact that they didn't have any cranberry juice surprised me. Actually, technically they did, but it was diet cranberry juice. And I'm just not really... In, I, I'm at a point in my life where diet isn't a necessity, and it also kind of tastes different to me, so I'm not a big fan of it. But this is 365 brand organic white grape juice from Whole Foods, the secondary option. And I need two ounces of that? Two measures of that. So I'll flip that over and add two ounces. Also, another modification of the recipe, this does not call to be shaken, it does not call to be stirred, just put it in a pitcher and make it, and yeah, I like to shake things. I think shaking is not completely out of place in this case, so I'm gonna go with it. And I also need a cup of ginger ale, my brand of choice is Canada Dry. Excuse me while I move things around. Canada Dry, it's been, I, I have, I don't drink soda very, very often, so I have these big containers that sit over in the corner. Soda is very expensive here in Philadelphia. They have a sugar tax. So basically what would cost you like a dollar at Walmart in New Jersey is going to cost you like $3 over here in Philly or like two fifty. which is, you know, if you drink a lot of soda, it's a pretty hefty burden on your wallet. So I wind up going home, picking up my pictures back there and bringing them over here. And this, this has been sitting, I don't know if soda has an expiration date or a use by date, but this has probably been on my countertop for months now, maybe even a year, but like... I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's not it's not bad. There's no like mold or anything like that And it tastes just fine and it's still got a little it, it's it fizzed when I opened it So it's not like it's gone flat either. So apparently whatever I'm doing to keep my to keep my sodas in check I was doing a doing a great job. I'm doing a great job of that. And that's that's all that goes in there uh, Green tea bag green tea white grape ginger ale. Oh ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on hold on 
I almost forgot. It also calls for a tablespoon of fresh lemon. Fresh lemon juice. Fresh lemon juice. And I had a lemon that I had sliced open the other night. So I'm going to reuse that because I didn't actually use the rest of the orange juice. And it calls for... This calls for a tablespoon if you're using the cup measurements. And technically, a cup is eight fluid ounces. So I would want to divide it by eight. So I guess it actually calls for an eighth of a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, but I'm just going to substitute that for a dash. And being that I can't dash the lemon juice because I don't have it in a container, I'm just going to call it a squeeze. So I'm going to add a single squeeze, a squeeze of lemon juice. So squeeze. And that's the squeeze. I think, th isn't that, isn't that terminology? Like if you got the squeeze on someone, kind of like getting the dirt on someone. I don't know. I definitely need to figure out how to integrate the term squeeze, squaz, or squadage into my language. But uh, let's shake it up. Ooh. I like, I, it's very cold in my apartment. Uh, it's cold around here. There's not good insulation. And I found out the other day that my heater doesn't actually, the, the heat option on my thermostat is, it's fake. It doesn't do anything. If you tell the thermostat, please raise the temperature in my apartment, it'll say, okay. And it'll sit there and blow cold air at you because it doesn't know how to blow hot air. So that was unfortunate. So I have a space heater going in the corner, which I have had problems for a while. I don't have enough outlets in my apartment. I really don't. There's not enough outlets in here. So I just, I do what I can. Let's see what this looks like on the big screen. Maybe, 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 maybe. I also noticed too that these curtains back here are completely seeing messing with my vibe. I need some blackout curtains so that my camera doesn't automatically adjust the lighting on things. It's a... We are the living embodiment of a work in progress. So... Progress we shall make. This is the green tea cocktail, non alcoholic aka the green tea mocktail. And I think... I feel... I feel that this would be benefited by a small little ice cube. Just a small, like, two two tiny ice cubes in there. I think two tiny ice cubes would make that nice and pleasant. It feels very almost summery. It feels like a summery drink. Although it's not summer, and like I said, it is very cold. But, let's see, can we... Yeah! I'm down with that. I like that. Do I actually like it, though? Let's see. Yeah, it's lovely. It's very, it's super duper refreshing. I, I for one really enjoy white grape juice and I don't drink it very often. Although I think the last time I checked at the store, that's the one that has the least amount of sugar in it. So it's beneficial if you're trying to you know, watch your carbs, watch your calories and stuff like that. Um, although to be fair, if you're trying to watch your calories and stuff, maybe you shouldn't be buying juice anyway, cause juice notoriously has a lot of sugar in it. Fruits in general have a lot of sugar in it and then because of the, the stuff that I buy at the store, because of preservatives and stuff, has even more su sugar in it. And sodium and stuff like that. But that, that's, that's another story entirely. But it's lovely. It tastes... I honestly don't think it has that much of a green tea flavor to... Actually, it is kind of in the background. It's a little... It's a little, it's a little bit leafy. I was going to say it tastes a little minty but there's no mint in it, although I think it would be really benefited by mint, but, and I would go get some mint right now, which is over, it's over on my windowsill over there, but I'm kind of trapped in here. I did some adjustments right before stream started, and I kind of trapped myself over my corner over here. This is couch. Like, right here, that's a couch, and right here is all the ingredients on the floor. So, I can't move until I switch things up, and I will only do that once. So, because I will only do that once, I'm gonna move from this cocktail, and I'm gonna make another cocktail. This is the green tea mocktail, green tea cocktail from City Mike on food.com. And because these are chilled drinks, uh, they can be enjoyed chilled, lukewarm, whatever your room temperature is. And currently my room temperature is about 67 degrees. So I think it'll be nice and chilly for when we continue things on the other side. The other cocktail that I'm working on, or not working on, I'm not, and it's not even a cocktail. I, I misspoke. It is a mocktail. It is a non-alcoholic cocktail. Is called non-alcoholic holiday morning punch which i mean the, the the name doesn't have cocktail in it so i can't say just replace it with mocktail it's not staring it like right in the face just like the other name but this is from cleaneatingkitchen.com by 
Carrie Forrest, who has an MPH in nutrition. I don't know what an MPH is. Masters of something. I don't know. Masters of something, probably. In nutrition. I gotta get that recipe. There we go. So this one calls for some orange juice, cranberry juice, pineapple juice, and ginger ale, lemon, lime, soda, which I have both of. So we're gonna do that too. It doesn't specifically, from what I can tell, it doesn't specifically call for shaking. It just says in a large container, mix everything together in measures of cups. But again, I only have, I'm only drinking one cup of this. So I will only use a single cup, uh, a single cup's measurement to do that. I'll put a, just like before, I'm going to make a mess of my, I'm going to make a mess of my little setup over here by attempting to crack this ice cube. Get in there. I'm very... The dude I watch on YouTube does this with like any, with like no effort at all. And I just, I guess I just need to practice. Also, I'm making, it's okay. It's just wet stuff on the floor. It's no problem. It'll, it'll dry up. It'll be, it'll be okay. Although the other day I actually left some of this stuff overnight and there was a puddle in the morning. Whoops. Made that mistake. Anyway, that up the side. Uh, so we're going to do two measures of orange juice. Freshly squeezed if we can get it, which we can. Because I have... <laughs> Oranges, I have oranges, oranges. I'm gonna slice up some oranges. Put it over there, and I don't know. Slice it on top of there. And I also have my juicer too. I usually use. I usually wind up using my juicer to juice. Uh, I feel like I juice grapefruits more than I juice oranges. And the the juicer I have is grapefruits are much larger than. Or, not, no, I dropped my orange on the floor. It's okay. It landed right side up, so we're good. We're good. Orange has been saved, or at least the other half of it. There we go. A little balancing act going on there. Oh, look, ice on the floor. That will be a problem later on. And I have my juicer. So I usually would juice grapefruits, which are a little larger than uh, oranges are. And to be honest, my container, my little my little juice -a jigger does not bode well with grapefruits, uh, but it works kind of well. Honestly, I just, I just don't like these squeezers. I just, I really don't. They're not, I feel like they take a lot of effort. Although you can kind of grab from the bottom and the top and it's not, it's not as bad. That kind of gets everywhere. But like, I guess when you're squeezing things, like you're bound to make a little bit of a mess. It's okay if you make a mess. You can just, uh, you know, we just clean up that mess later. Ain't no problem. Ain't no big thing. Ain't no big thing. So that's one half. What are we gonna have? It's no big deal if you make a mess. I always, I feel like, Whenever I consider to do things, I feel like I'm the kind of person where a simple inconvenience will be enough to convince me not to do something. Uh, and I've been trying to work myself out of that mentality for uh, for like uh, the past couple months or past couple years. Because like, for example, the idea that I'm going to have to clean up this mess, if I thought about that beforehand, would be a deterrent from starting it to begin with. The idea that I have to switch the camera angle to do a cocktail and a stream is enough to make me think, oh, but I don't want to do that because I'm lazy. But like, I don't know. I don't exa I can't quite articulate how I think of it now. I guess it's fun. It's, I guess back to the priority list. Family, friends, fun. It's fun. It's fun to do this. It's fun to do that. So combine the funds together and you have double the fun for, I guess, twice, double the fun for twice the effort, I suppose, because that kind of works out that way. Let's see if I got two ounces from this one orange. I figure I, I figure I would, but it's very possible that I did not get two ounces from the oranges. Yeah. Yeah, just about. Just about two ounces. Cool. I did prepare another orange just in case. Just in, just in case we needed another one. Two ounces of freshly squeezed orange juice. I need two ounces of cranberry juice. It specifically says unsweetened. I, I couldn't find unsweetened. I found the stuff with sugar in it. And it has 28 grams of sugar. Hmm. No, best I could possibly do. Also, I have bought I have bought unsweetened cranberry juice before, but that stuff just kind of like sits around in my fridge for a while. I don't I don't drink that much cranberry juice. I'm gonna be honest. It it would just it would just be lost on me. I also got this from Whole Foods as well. So and uh, it smells like cranberry juice. Who knew? festive they were also selling like actual cranberries in the store and i've never had like a full-on cranberry before i don't know do they have do cranberries have pits in the center of them 
Because I feel like if a cranberry is anything like a cherry, there's a big pit in the inside. If I, if I tried to eat one of those things, like, oh, I'm just going to pop in a cranberry, having no knowledge of what's inside of it, I might hurt myself. And I'm not in the, I'm not in, I'm not in that crowd to want to hurt myself in that way. I need also one measure of pineapple juice. And I've been working off the same couple cans of dull pineapple juice for a while. It's, it's the best, it's the best pineapple juice that I can find. And honestly, I, I was going to say, I've never tried any others. I have found others. I've found other pineapple juices, although the, whatever brands they were, uh, are lost on me. So it's very possible that they weren't that good to begin with, or just not available, not easily available. I feel like I've bought a bunch of Trader Joe's before. Pineapple juice. Pineapple juice. Hmm. Dull. Plus, every single time I think of pineapples, I think of the Dole Whip stuff that they serve in Disney World. A little, little like, ice cream whip thing. It's good. It's soft. It's cold. It's delicious. I like it. And I think they also do an orange flavor, too. It's lovely. And I also need... One measure of ginger ale or lemon lime soda. I have both. I've got Sprite and I've got Sprite and Canada Dry. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a half ounce of each. See, we got okay. Or or I'll do a full ounce. Or I'll kind of. Hmm. Definitely did not do that measure right. Yeah, half an ounce of that. Put into the slot bucket, and then, only then, like also add Sprite to it if I can get this. We can cap it back on. Plastic bottles frustrate me with how they're how they screw back on. Absolutely incredible. Ugh! And then some Sprite, some lemon lime soda. Is the other half of it. If I can be very, very gentle. Very gentle. Only a half an ounce, please. Thank you. Thank you for the gentle half ounce. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. And we're gonna shake the shit out of it. Because that's what we do for mocktails, right? There was nothing else in there, right? Yep. Nope. That's it. This is the non-alcoholic holiday punch. What is that? Holiday punch? Holiday something punch? Holiday morning punch. It is the holiday season, and it is the morning. And I could use punch. It is both holiday, morning, and apparently punch. So, that in there. I think this one would call for a large ice cube in the container. I have no reason why. It's just fun to spin. That was awesome. I love that. Actually, I should put that. I should put that on the close-up. Out of curiosity, if anybody else has holiday cocktails, holiday mocktails, I would love to hear them. I'm always trying to find new recipes in any place in my life. Let's see. Oh, I need this. Put it back up here. I just love the I just love the fact that I could just like take this big ice cube. I think these are my favorite part about these ice cubes, the fact that I can just be like swish and it spins around. It's awesome. I like that. Holiday morning punch mocktail. Ooh, I thought my that might have gone over, but it's good. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. As I knew it would be. Absolutely. Holiday Morning Punch. Compliments of Carrie Forrest from QueenEatingKitchen.com. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Carrie and Mike. Right? That was the other guy's name? Sydney. Sydney. Mike was the last name. Thank you, Sydney. And thank you, Carrie. You don't know me. I don't know you. But your recipes have given me material this morning. Or have given my fiance material to give me this morning. So it's all good. It smells nice. It actually kind of smells, ooh, consumption. I have consumed. Actually, I'm gonna take a big old sip of the, I'm gonna take a big old sip of my, uh, my green tea. I like it, I like it. Hey, look, an appropriate channel point redemption, right? We try to keep things relevant around here as best as we possibly can, and consumption, consumption is necessary. But I actually didn't get to, <laughs> I took, I took too big of a sip of this. So I have to I have to take a smaller one to see if I can parse out the flavors. It smells good. Tastes like honestly, it tastes like orange juice. And it also tastes like that cranberry juice. What else is in there? Oh, you know, actually it blends it blends quite well with the Sprite and the ginger ale too. It actually kind of this is one of those ones where it's hard to piece out the different flavors because it all kind of combines together in a rather appropriate way. I like that. Nice job, Carrie Forrest. 
nice job there. How am I, Cameron? Happy just about Christmas, and by the way, happy just about Christmas, indeed. Christmas Eve. It's the day before. It's wonderful. And I even, I still have my Christmas tree set up in the other corner. I'm very happy about that. I will not be taking it down until the new year. I swear to that. My Christmas tree goes up after Thanksgiving and then, uh, and then comes down after New Year's. So we have to keep the celebration going as best as we can. So yeah, I like that. Oh, excuse me. Holiday morning punch was good. The green tea mocktail is good. And of course the, the green tea that we prepared on the side is absolutely wonderful as well. Oh, I didn't answer the question of how I'm doing. I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. I have a job, which makes me happy. And I didn't have that job today, which makes me even more happy. The fact that I didn't have to go into work today and I could do, be doing something fun like this. It's been a while, it's honestly, it's been a while since, uh, I, I say it's been a while since the last morning stream, but it hasn't been. That was like three weeks ago. But it's the last time that I was able to have a morning stream on a day that wasn't a weekend. It's, 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 it's nice. It's nice to just be able to like chillax and do stuff like this. I, sometimes work can be a little stressful. So I try to remind myself to just slow down, take a deep breath and do things that are fun. And this is fun. Playing a little game every once in a while, it's fun. Having a mocktail or a cocktail, it's fun. Just enjoying the day is fun. Now I wish the camera was a little bit more accommodating because it's a beautiful sunny day outside, but if I open up these blinds, then every, the contrast gets all weird and wonky. It's a beautiful day in Philadelphia today. But um, but, but then, the, then, then the lighting gets completely messed up. Working on it. Oh, hell! Good luck on that. The job stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's good. I've been there for like, according to LinkedIn, it's been like four months now. It hasn't felt like four months. I feel like when you dive this deep into the stuff that you do, it's hard to tell how long you've been there. I guess, I don't know. Insert time flies when you're having fun, I, I, I guess. Although it's not fun all the time, but supposedly they say, like, what is it? Do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. I, I'm doing what I love, but I'm still working. So if there's a, if there's some middle ground that I need to get to where nothing feels like work anymore, I haven't yet found it. But I'm young. We're all young. We're all young. So we'll, we'll get there eventually. So in any case, thank you all for joining me on Cocktail Time. It's been a lo it's been it's been lovely. It's been a lovely little time to explore things. We covered the green tea cocktail, non-alcoholic, aka the green tea mocktail from food.com which uses green tea, white grape juice, a little bit of lemon juice, and ginger ale. And then the non-alcoholic morning punch from cleaningkitchen.com uses cranberry juice, pineapple juice, freshly squeezed orange juice, and ginger ale or lemon lime soda. And if you're absolutely crazy and live on the edge, both at the same time. And they're both very, very lovely. I believe, from what I can tell, there are drinks to be served cold. So as I make my way over to the other setup over there, as things go on, I'm a very slow drinker. I like to savor the sips that I have on any of the cups that are in front of me. And so as the hours go by, they will cool down a little bit. The ice will melt, things, the flavors will change, and I will still be enjoying the sweet libation and I will have no complaints. So that being the case, Thank you everybody so much for joining me over on Cocktail Side. We're gonna turn this into a little bit of Minecraft now, specifically Infotech 2, Fear the Night, a mod pack I've been playing for a hell of a long time, and I very much enjoy it. Stick around if you feel so inclined to, and if you don't, thank you so much for joining us. Peace out, y'all, and we will see you on the other side. After this break, please enjoy the parrots. And welcome back, everybody, to the other side of the screen. It took me a little while because I was honestly attempting to figure out the best way to keep my Santa hat on and then put my headphones on too so I could hear what the heck's going on in the world. I decided to take the hat off for a second, then put the headphones on, and then put the hat back over the headphones. That didn't work very well. So instead, I just kept the hat on and put the headphones over top of it. It's a little wonky, and I feel that the poof ball has kind of been pushed against my head a little far. Um, party hats might be an issue going forward but we're gonna work with it. It'll be great. It'll be great. There will be absolutely no no cares in the world and no worries at all. So let's let's get right into it. It's been a hot minute since I've played a little bit of Minecraft over here. Not for any particular reason. Minecraft is one of those games, I've mentioned it a couple of times before. It's kind of like my comfort game. I go back to it when I just, I don't know what else to do. And I, I mean, I, I know what else to do. 
but it has been a hot minute since I played. And I honestly, whoa, sorry for that screeching sound. My, uh, Stuart is a little wonky. Stuart is, Stuart's my Ventaraptor. Where is Stuart? Stuart, where are you? I just heard you screech. Where the hell are you, Stuart? Stuart! Buddy? He'll pop up eventually. He, he always does pop up eventually. Usually, usually spontaneously spawning back into existence and scaring the shit out of me. Although, to be fair, the thing that scares me most often and always is my toaster. I, I, I made myself some avocado toast this morning. And essentially what I did was I took an avocado out of its shell and placed it onto a waffle that I had toasted. The waffle is the toast in this scenario. And I just kind of put it on top of it. See, my avocado toast apparently is not toast with avocado on top of it. It's my avocado with toast wedged in between. Although, I don't want to put my hands in the avocado. Gets a little sticky. Gets a little messy. And, and it makes a mess. And I also haven't been very good at executing that because multiple times when I would be eating my avocado toast during my morning meetings, usually which happen on Fridays and all other, day, all other days in the working week, I'm often... The, the avocado would fall off the toast and it would fall out of my desk, fall onto my keyboard, fall onto my shirt, fall onto my pants, and I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'll be cleaning that up after I after I'm done with my meeting, because I wouldn't I, I don't wanna ugh, I don't wanna look like a fool to my coworkers, although they already know that I'm a bit of a fool. They're they're aware of what goes on around here. Ah uh, yeah. So I was I was walking through as I was walking through the valley of my laboratory. My beautiful modded Minecraft laboratory, which, to be honest, looks kind of like a bunch of corroded metal and whatnot that line the hallways that somebody forgot about. And But you turn on the lights after coming back 50 years later and it's still working. Oh my god. But aside from that oddly accurate and very specific description, I was thinking, what do I do? And it's always a power problem, so I... I'm going to be attempting to work on my power problem. What the heck is going on in there? Oh, just kidding. It looked like a monster through the windows. I'm psyching myself out yet again. The system that we have for power around here is everything is run on wood. But there's usually there's sometimes not enough wood for everything to function. Currently, I'm at a loss of wood. Oh, I forgot. It's Christmas time. During Christmas time, this mod this mod of mine, one of the mods, Lycanite's mobs, will drop little happy It'll drop little happy gifts. And sometimes these little happy gifts have good things in them. And sometimes they do not. So let's see what this gift has in store for me. Ugh. Here's your present. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I got good things. So it'll be, uh, that, that was a good one. Blocks of iron, some mender pearls, some coal. That's good. Although sometimes it spawns hell spawn. Beasts from a whole nother dimension. So, woo! Looking forward to that. Always like scary, scary things. Um, but this this is good. I, I like getting random blocks of... I got four blocks of iron from a creeper. That's a good deal if I've ever seen it. I like that. But so the, the trees get cut down and turned into wood. The wood gets burned and turned into charcoal. The charcoal gets stored, and then when I need power, it will burn that charcoal for steam. And that's how we do things around here. But as it turns out, and it's, it was a perfectly great system. I have it on solar power. I get as much wood as I possibly want. But this thing needs dirt to function. And so I did a little bit of research and tried to figure out where the hell are you supposed to get dirt from? I can't just keep... Usually, my method for getting dirt is going up to uh, the nearest dirt mountain. Um, which I, I don't want to ruin the landscape over here. But just to give an example, I would take this dirt here, and I would go, poof, and I would get a bunch of dirt from it. And I've attempted to level entire islands. Actually, I think, nope, the island that I have in question is down here. I have been leveling this island. Actually, that used to be an island there, and I think I took all the dirt from it. Oh, no, 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 it was this one. This used to be an island above the sea. Now it is not, because I, I harvested it for all of its dirt. And so, eventually... See, I can't keep... To, it's not sustainable. It's all about sustainability and scalability. I can't scale destroying entire islands, despite the fact that the Minecraft world is effect, effectively infinite. I can't just keep going around and destroying islands. I need a better way. So as it turns out, Forestry's mod pack... For, Forestry's mod that creates these farms here also has... Uh, you can use this same farm to create a substance called peat. Peat is kind of like a fertilizer type thing. And when peat is created, when you break those blocks, these blocks of hummus, I think, it drops peat bricks, which I think can be used as fuel. 
Uh, and it also drops dirt. And so the dirt will be sent to the farm. Hello, Stuart. You popped up out of nowhere, just as I expected you would. The dirt will be sent to this farm over here, and then the peat... Well, I guess peat can be burned for fuel. And I guess we'll deter... If it can be... If peat can be burned for fuel, or yours used for crops and other things, we'll get to that. Maybe peat will be another uh, another fuel source that we have here. Maybe. Actually, let me, let me check with that. Peat. Peat can burn for 2,000 seconds. Versus charcoal, which I think is 6,400. Right? 1,600. So, peat is a little bit better. Peat's a little bit better than charcoal. So that might be viable. But I think there are other things for peat to be used for. Right? I'm not an expert in any of this, so the questions that I ask are genuine questions. And if anybody, anybody has the answers, feel free. If anybody feels like they have an answer, it doesn't have to be the answer. You're more than welcome to share it. It might not even be the correct one, but I, I remember a little while ago when I was working at, a, when I was working at another, another job of mine, I was like, I will entertain all questions. They're like, all questions? Like, I will consider every single possibility that you have, no matter how weird. And somebody was like, Somebody was like, we, we should transform our company into a, oh, I did not mean to do that. We should transform our company into one that delivers animated, 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 like, like anime girls for our, for our logos and stuff like that. And I was like, I respect the idea. I have considered it and I will put it into the suggestion box. Although I will probably not act upon it. I did not act upon it. Although I still watch a bunch of anime. So in my personal life, I have been benefited. Whether or not the animes has people of any particular gender, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Peat can be used as fuel. It can also be turned into ash. Ash can be turned into materials, but that's a very heavy process. So peat is like, kind of used for fertilizer. It's not even just fertilizer. It's used for ash, which can then can be used for fertilizer. It can be turned into bitumous peat, which is just also, it's also fuel. So peat burn things. And can also be used in these peat-fired engines, but I don't I don't need engines of that sort. I'm that's it's not necessary. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna build another farm. Build another farm. I've done a little bit of Stuart, what are you doing? Buddy. Buddy. You having a good time, Stuart? You having a good time with a little levitator? Let's let's party together. Let's party, Stuart. How you doing, Stuart? It's a fun time, right? Yeah, you can't you can't fly. Unfortunately. Stuart! There are two types of... I, I, there, actually, there's probably a couple different types of raptors. There's a few different types of raptors. One are the ventoraptors, like Stuart. Stuart can run fast and glide, but he can't fly. The other type of uh, raptor, which isn't Stuart, they're the green ones, are uvaraptors. And uvaraptors can fly. They can legitimately, like, bounce way up into the sky and glide for distances, but they don't move very fast. Stuart has always wanted to be an uvaraptor, to be able to fly and glide and feel the feels that you feel when you are weightless jump up high into the sky but um Stuart is not green Stuart is blue and Stuart will just have to live with that and continue to to, to, to internalize Stuart doesn't have a problem with that I did have an Uber Raptor once upon a time but Uber Raptor died before I could even give it a name that Uber Raptor sat right over here back in the old base I miss you Uber Raptor whose name shall name not be said because you never had one. Oh, no name. I miss you, no name. It's funny because this server went through a bit of a retrograde where the um, the server actually re uh, went backwards in time for like, for like, by like eight months or so. And so I actually got the Uber Raptor back. So I was like, oh my God, this is great. I have the Uber Raptor back. This is great. And then I killed him again by accident. Creeper explosion. It happens to the best of us. So, um, the... the Stuart's brother, Stuart's cousin died twice. I went back to go get my bond, my wand over here so that my armor, which is getting a little low, can um, can reheal itself. And I also need ingredients for this little farm and thing. So let's farm block. I need farm block. So the things I need for this peat bog, this peat farm of mine, is or more farm blocks. I need to build another farm again. I need... Tin electrode, di electron diodes, diodes? Yeah, to be able to program it to do peat and peat only. Intricate circuit boards and a soldering iron. I think I already have the soldering iron, but I feel like there's multiple soldering irons and 
Perhaps I'm getting myself mixed up. Soldering. Soldering iron? That's not that soldering iron. I have that soldering iron. I need this soldering iron. How do I make that soldering iron? I need to make it in a carpenter. I have a carpenter somewhere. Is the carpenter over here or is it over at... Actually, I think it's over in the other... It's probably over in the other lab. I don't know why I thought it was over here. I only come over here because... The only reason I come back over here nowadays is because there's still materials that I can harvest from the old laboratory. And also, that's where all of my magical nodes are. I haven't moved them yet because I'm just too lazy to do so. Oh, and also, Christina's old farm is over here, too. So sometimes we come back for that. There's some... There's some magic stuff going on over there. Magical things. But I think... I think she already moved all of her... Um, I think she moved all of the creatures over to the other side. I don't remember. I didn't remember. I didn't remember at all. Do you have any food on me? I got pizzas. Oh. Pizzas are just fine. Pizza what? <laughs> A pizza Minecraft? Pizza this... Minecraft... No, it doesn't. It, it's not working. It's not working today. I, I didn't expect it was going to work. And alas, that has been confirmed. But pizza good. Pizza tasty. Pizza wonderful. Pizza not as... Pizza not as good for you as, say, avocado or spinach or salad. But pizza's still very good. And pizza let me survive. But then again, food in general let me survive. So that's a good thing. Stuart, would you like some pizza? Your silence says it all. Here. Take take one of those. Take take the Did I give you a pizza? Pizza. Here. Eat that. No! Oh, buddy. Buddy, you gotta you gotta eat the pizza. Okay, how about this? There there nope. Oh. Did you get it? Did you get the pizza? Did you get the pizza? No, apparently not. <clears throat> okay, well. Apparently it doesn't want the pizza. Either because of physics or because of personal preference, Stuart will not be obtaining pizza today. Too bad. So sad. I need farm blocks. I came over here to begin building things. Oh. I got the pizza back. Maybe he did accept the pizza. But he couldn't eat it. Because I don't think that mob is planned. To, it's programmed to do that. Let's put my iron block in here. Actually, I have a place for iron blocks. What am I doing? I shouldn't put it in here. I have a place for iron blocks. Bring it back. Bring it back now, y'all. One hop this time. Rightfully, let's go. You go over here. That's where I put my blocks at. On the bright side, I usually have a... I, I oftentimes have a shortage of iron, and I do not think that I will have that same shortage. Which is a good thing. So I need farm blocks. I, I need to see what my other farm looks like so that I can replicate it and make make it make another one. But this time for feet. For, <laughs> for feet... I'm gonna make a feet farm. These farms of mine are gonna farm the best feet in the land. Feet, toes, whatever you want. Oh, Stuart? Oh, the, you're, you're Stuart. Yeah. How'd you get over? Stuart, how did you get? Wait a minute. How are you over here and also over there? Stuart, this is not a narrative that I, I understand. I did not know that there were two of you. There shouldn't be two of you. What is going on there? One's the real Stuart. One's a, just a wannabe. One's a faker. I wonder what's in this gift. Ooh. Ooh! I wonder what type of crazy health spawn I might get this time. Hello. Uh, here's your present. Okay. Good things came from that. Diamonds? Blaze rods? Well, thank you for that. Maybe it'll just be like, maybe it'll just always be good luck. There will be, there will be no evil hell spawns that attempt to destroy me and the world around me. That'd be positive. That'd be good. That'd be very, very good. But we will wait, we'll wait till the morning. We have things to do. We have, we have, now nah, we don't really have anything to do. There's not, there's nothing to do. Just, just good vibes. There is, there are no obligations except for feeling good and feeling okay <sighs> breathe <sighs> breathe anyway farm blocks y'all have died over here this is a good thing death comes to those who need it or want it did you want it zombies maybe 
put a little door over here, and I'll connect it to... I'll put it over here. What mode are you in? Uh, you should be in low focus mode. Let's put you in mining mode. So I can shoot up to the ceiling. There we go. Perfect. It appears... I'll, I'll just make a room that's similar to this one. Oh. Look at this. A uh, Enderman must have come in here. On the bright side, the Enderman was delivering dirt. Exactly what I needed. So, whatever dirt I already have, let's put it in there. There we go. I only had one dirt. Really? Oh. I have two backpacks. Dirt? I had five pieces of dirt total. I am not at all surprised. All right, so I'm gonna... One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One. Two. Oh, I forgot I have this over here. Two. Three. Four. Is that enough? Yes, indeed. One. Two. Three. Four. Count with me. One. Two. Two torches. How many across? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Really? Why do I have it as nine? That seems odd. I don't feel like nine is three, three, three. Oh, that's why it's nine. Cause, cause geometry. That makes sense. Okay, that's fine. Um, how far does that go? All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. There we go. Boop. I'll do the same thing over here. Do do do. Do do. Do do do. Whoa, what? Oh, there's a hole in here. Ha! Huh. There's holes everywhere. Holes are okay. Although, they can sometimes be a problem. How did I shoot that far? I didn't mean to shoot that far. I'm in mining mode, am I not? How did I shoot that far? Oh. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, it's a good thing I have some dirt to fix that. I definitely did not mean to go that far with that. But alas, the mining laser is in high spirits today. Let's just, like, let's hide that. Nobody, nobody needs to know about that. It's, it's fine. It's fine. So I'll put myself in low focus mode. There we go. That way I can do this stuff. Very carefully. Very carefully, one block at a time. The fact that there was a time that I didn't have this laser to do my dirty work for me is is astounding. And the fact that I dealt with it for so long. Ugh. Technology. What a wonder. Can you believe there was a time without the internet? I was just asked at work the other day, because most of the people I work with are older than me. They're like, do you... Are, we were discussing, like, what generation I fall under. And I think... Depending on what graph you look at, I am either a millennial or I am a Gen Zer. Gen Zer? Gen Zer? Zillennial? I don't know what they call them. But so, the year 1997, depending on what graph you look like, looks at, falls under one of those categories. And so, the, the defining question was to determine whether I was a millennial or a person, to, a person of Gen Z was whether I remember a time without the internet. And the answer was no, I don't. I was born, when I was born, the internet was already a thing. I don't remember whether it was dial-up or anything like that. I don't know whether or not I couldn't access the internet while my parents were using the phone. I don't remember those details, but there was definitely internet. I most definitely remember using Microsoft, oh, Microsoft Edge. That wasn't a thing. Internet Explorer. Back when I was a young, 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 young lad. I'm still a young, young lad, but when I was an even younger lad, I remember those times. So all I'm really going to do over here is I'm going to make a little plot of land over here, build the proper materials, and make, a, make another farm. That's really all that needs doing. And I hope we will enjoy it every step of the way. If you're not enjoying what you're doing, why are you enjoy Why are you doing it? There must be a reason. That was a question I asked myself yesterday. Or rather, I didn't ask myself that yesterday. I was asking somebody else because they were... Well, apparently they were in a bit of a situation. They have a friend that they... They have a friend that they've been hanging out with for a long, long time. And they feel entitled to... Or they feel obligated to continue hanging out with that person. Despite the fact that, according to this friend of mine, they've never liked them. So, I, I my, my question was like... 
well, if you don't like spending time with them, why do you keep spending time with them? And I'm sure that the answer is incredibly complicated. But if I had to simplify it down, I guess the way I would think about it is if, you, if you're not doing something that makes you feel good and you don't have some other reason to do it, then, 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 then why are you doing it? Just, just ask yourself, why are you doing something that doesn't make you feel good? I can imagine like a common scenario would be like, why are you working a job that doesn't make you feel good? Like, because it pays money and you got bills to pay. Acceptable answer. But you could always continue looking for other jobs and always keep your options open. If, or maybe, you know, it seemed the reason why this particular friend of mine continues to hang out with this person that they don't, they've never liked, because they just feel obligated to. Like, they've known them for so long, they can't just say, no, I don't want to hang out with you anymore. Like, and to be fair, yeah, that, that would be a little kind of out of the blue. But like, you know, if I would think if you're really good friends with this person, and I don't know if they're like really good friends or not, but if you're really good friends with this person, I feel like you should be able to like talk it out with them and be like, hey, I'm not, I don't feel that like, I don't know. There's, I feel like there's, maybe there's something going on between us and it feels, it feels kind of bad. And I feel bad about it and just like talk it out. And obviously easier said than done. Always, always easier said than done. But like, it's a start, right? And maybe, the, maybe the start is all you need. The star, like, I feel like communication can help with that kind of stuff. Just, just, just talk it out. I had, I, I've had some moments recently where, like, I felt, like, rather uncomfortable in some of the things that was going on. And so it felt really weird to bring it up to the person that I felt uncomfortable with. But I'm glad we talked it out. Uh, things were better in the long run. And things resolved out well and everything's okay now. And I feel like if it's... Maybe it's more difficult to have that kind of conversation with someone that you don't know personally. Like, let's say, like a coworker or or a stranger on the street. Or maybe it's easier to, like, kind of tell somebody how it is when they're just somebody that you don't know. I don't, I don't know. It just depends on the person. I don't... I don't wind up making contact with too, too many, like, strangers out in the wild that I've got a bone to pick with. And when I do, for example, you just cut in front of me online, I'll be like, um, hey, bud. The line starts back there, or, hey, that wasn't very nice of you. Or if somebody's getting beat up, I'll be like, hey, stop that. I will not intervene. I'm not that strong. I am rather small. I will be taken down in a heartbeat. Although, if, I guess it goes back to the priorities before. Family, friends, and fun. I don't think, I don't think protecting somebody on the street is, getting beat up by somebody on the street in the protection of somebody else is like, like fun but like they could be a potential friend maybe the priority doesn't just the priority list doesn't just apply to people who you know are friends or family but potentially people who people who are potentially friends and family down the line the future what is time anyway but a construct do the people that i not know today who are, are the people are, are the friends of mine in the future not friends of mine today maybe should i treat them any less i don't know the social constructs that we tie ourselves to as humans are uh, it's confusing and multifaceted. And the cause of much debate and philosophy. I, I like... Around this time last year, I thought myself a pretty philosophical person. Thinking like, I'm questioning how my life is right now. I'm trying to think through what what's good, what's bad, what's morality, spirituality, all that stuff. And then I wound up working this new job. And apparently, well, I work with people who ask themselves the same questions, but I've been asking themselves that same question for 10, 15 more years, more than I have. And so I go into these conversations and I'm like, I don't know the proper vocabulary to respond to this, but like, I feel a certain way. And that's pretty much all I can muster. It's like, it's a little... It's a little, it's a little uncomfortable sometimes, but I try to learn. So I try to take from it, try to learn something from it. Like if there's a term that I don't know, I raise my hand and I'm like, uh, can you repeat that? I don't, I don't know what that term is. If you wouldn't mind explaining it again to me. No, uh, everyone's very good about that. And everyone's very happy about that. And to be fair, how are we to learn if nobody teaches us? And I say nobody teaches us as in other people. I'm sure you can teach yourself. There's always, there's always you can teach yourself. I, um, one of the, um, one of the songs that I was listening to by AJR, they, one of the lyrics in there are, it's something along the lines of like, oh, what was it? I think the song was called 3AM. And the lyrics were something like, 
uh, why did I go to college? I always had, like, I, I had YouTube. Instead of a lot of the finishing college, YouTube was an option. Oh, what was it? I'm totally blanking on it. By the way, it said something about, like, uh, why did I go to college when YouTube was an option? And I was thinking to myself, like, 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 why did you go to college? You could have been, like, a big YouTube star? And that's how I originally uh, interpreted it. But instead, I think it's more like, why do you need to pay thousands and thousands of dollars to a university to teach you how it is when you can find the same information if you know where to look on YouTube? So, why did you go to college when YouTube was an option? YouTube being, YouTube being the place where you would get your information from. <laughs> because YouTube's good at doing that. Maybe not factual information, but you can learn how to change a tire on YouTube. You can learn to do calculus on YouTube. You can learn to do anything on YouTube. Anything on YouTube. Colored bricks, colored bricks. How do I get colored bricks? I think before I worry about this colored bricks, I need, I need, these are stone bricks. These are stone bricks here. I need to figure out what kind of farm I want here. It's a peat farm. I think, the peat farm would be best done with bricks. Like actual bricks, not stone bricks. I'm not getting lazy this time. It's going to be cool looking. So I need farm blocks made of bricks. And for that, I need bricks. How do I get more bricks? I need to go find more bricks. To get bricks, I need clay. To get clay, how many bricks do I have? How many bricks do I have? And am I shipping them? Am I shipping bricks right now? There really isn't much shipping going on here. The answer is no. But there is always the possibility. There is always the possibility for more bricks to be shipped. Logistics is a thing. And people need bricks. Actually, I, speaking of bricks, I was just told the other day, I uh, there's, a, there's a, a holiday thing that I usually participate in called uh, the White Elephant or the Yankee Swap or Pollyanna, where it's a gift exchange. You put gifts into the pot, everyone picks a number, and they pick out the gifts in that order or steal them from other people. And so Anna's family... Uh, for the new for our red Christmas that is occurring on New Year's, we have to get gifts. We, we we're doing a gift swap. I haven't gotten my gift yet, but I will eventually. But where I stand right now is I was I was told the other day of what um, I'm not gonna say who because I don't want to spoil it for the rest of the family. But somebody somebody in the gift exchange got a really fancy bag from Walmart or something. I think it's got like a unicorn on it or something. And inside of that bag. It's some. Um, it's got some shampoo. It's got some conditioner. Got some liquid hand soap, and then bricks from Lowe's department store. So somebody for Christmas is gonna get a load of bricks, <laughs> and I look forward to seeing how that turns out because that sounds like it is going to be just a joy. I can't wait to see the reactions when they open up that present. I need to figure out a good present that I put in there. Last year, I did a combination of. Edible things and non-edible things. There were some very neon-colored stress balls and things that were flexible, like little noodles and stuff. Neato from a store. And then candy, like gummy bears and gummy worms and stuff like that. And I put them all into the same container, so if you weren't careful, you wouldn't know which one to eat. Naturally, I don't know why you would try to eat something that looks like a stress ball. But... You know, you have to watch out for those gummy bears. And so maybe that wasn't a very smart idea, I thought, but it was kind of funny. And the reactions of the other family members was also very funny. I need bricks from here. Do I have any more farm blocks in here? Blocks? Blocks? I wonder where my farm blocks are. I have more farm blocks. But where are they? Farm blocks? No. Blocks? No. Blocks? Bricks? I like bricks. I'm apparently working on more Coke ovens. That's good. But where the box? More Coke ovens. Huh. I didn't know you were over there. You should be over here with the rest of them. Oh. Thank you. Consolidation. It's always good to consolidate every once in a while. Or else I literally have no idea where anything is. I thought I had more farm blocks. Apparently not. Well, how many farm blocks do I need? I'm going to make a few of them. I need to make quite a few of them. And then how to make these other pieces of the block. So farm blocks are... I see three up here. We have one, two, three, four. I think four. Four down? Yeah, yeah. So four times... Three times three, nine times four, 36. 
I need 36 farm blocks. But out of those farm blocks, some of them become a gearbox for power, a hatch for extraction. Uh, a valve for water, other things. So I need, not only do I need a farm block, I need a do, 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 do. farm valve, farm valve, farm hatch, and farm gearbox. Farm valve. Oh, actually, I think I already have those things in here. Farm control. Oh, probably a control brick. Too. Don't, don't I need a control brick? Oh, the control brick goes in the center. I remember that. I remember that. So I need control. And do I need... I, I take farm blocks and I turn them into those, right? Yeah, I do. So if I take farm block, I turn them into farm hatches and stuff like that. And I don't actually need any more bricks. Basically, what I'm trying to determine is should I save any bricks? No, it doesn't seem like I have to. The hatch uses a block. The valve uses a block. The control uses a block. And the gearbox uses a block as well. So I should focus on making blocks. I need blocks. Block, block, block. What is it? Galgadorian farmer. What is this? How do I make a Galgadorian farmer? Whoa. I don't know what that's all about. I don't know anything about Steve's cards. I was actually considering today, too. What what other things can I automate? I can probably automate mining, and I know mine uh Railcraft, I think, has this big drill that you can build, and it'll just like zoom. It'll it'll go. It'll go do its thing. But I don't know how that works yet. But I will figure it out. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Oops, let me get that down here. I need So how to do? How do farm block? I take one of these blocks. I need 32 so I need I need 36 in total. All I need is 36, because the of that little of this little tower here, some of them will be replaced with control, valve, this, that, and the other thing, but there will always be 36 of them. All right, let me double check that. One, two, three, four. Yep. And I think the farm control block goes somewhere in the center. I don't I don't exactly remember. Maybe that goes right in the center down here. It probably goes right in the center down here, but I can't tell. But alas, 36. So I'm gonna get 36 of them. I need 36 bricks. 36 bricks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two. And just uh, do that. And then I should have 36 bricks. Oh, I already had some bricks. Well, seven of those were apparently a part of another project. So I will put those back in whatever project box they were in. A past version of myself was planning to do something with that. And a future version of myself might remember what that something is one day. Maybe. It's very possible. It's also very not possible. I am not known to remember things reliably. Brick, brick. Then, then again, supposedly neither are the humans. I remember having a conversation with somebody a little while ago. I don't know who it was with or what the topic was about. I was like, yeah, the human memory isn't very reliable. And they were like, yes, it is. I was like, mm, I don't know about that. I tend to find that the memories that I have are wildly exaggerated and usually not completely accurate. But that's not always, that's not always the case. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. It really depends. Let's make some farm blocks. To make a farm block, I need electron tubes. And I need a lot of them. And I need copper item casings, and I need a lot of them. So let's do the math. I have post-it notes. I have post-it notes around here somewhere. Post-it notes. Post-it, post-it notes. Where are you? Oh, you know, actually, I can. Hmm. I'll just use this note card that I found. So if I need 36 farm blocks, 36, each farm block calls for four copper casings. Four copper casings. I need four steel screws. Steel screws. You know what I should get? I, uh, maybe, maybe I need like a whiteboard. Maybe I need an angle for the whiteboard. That'd be cool. That's just an idea. And I need one tin electron tube. One tin electron tube. Now, what I also need electron tubes for is this. If you see here, the electron tube says that a managed farm can be programmed to become a peat bog. And so I need at least four of them to completely fill up that peat bog uh, accordingly. So, 
I will need that. So I need four more. I need four more. However many 10 electron tubes I need, I need four more. So I'll need 40, 40 tubes total. 40 tubes total. The screws. Screws? I'm pretty sure I have steel screws around here somewhere. I thought I kept screws in a particular location. Where do I keep screws? Do I keep screws over here? No. What about here? Screws? No. What about screws? I feel like I had a place for screws. Where are my screws at? Where are my screws? Screw? 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 Are screws in here? No. Screws over here? No. Screws? No. Screws? No. No screws. Screws? No screws. There's no screws. Well, that makes me sad. Anyway, whatever. I am very quickly, just as quickly as I was into it, I am now over it. And we also need molten redstone. So each one requires a single, uh, I think that's a single dust, right? Oh, come on. Nope. Uh, I'll, I'll find that out later. I can I can melt down redstone very easily. Steel screws come from uh, lathing steel bolts. Steel bolts, bolts come from cutting steel rods. Right? If you cut a rod, you get so many bolts. If you cut a rod, you get four bolts. So if I need four steel screws per 36, I'm going to need 36 steel rods. To create enough screws for all that stuff so let's get let's get to work on that i need 36 pieces of steel i hope i have enough steel steel very good i need 36. cut that up into rods unless unless the screws are elsewhere it's very possible i have screws over here screws screws nah there's no screws in there i thought that there might be screws I was incorrect. No, oh, well. It's the thought that counts. Okay, fine. So, uh, cutting saw... So no, no, no. I need I need the lathe first. So, I need to take 36 steel rods. I need to take 30 <laughs> words. 36 pieces of steel and turn them into 36 rods. Then I cut those rods into two. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I cut those rods into two. I only need half the amount of steel. I don't need 18. That, that's correct, right? 18 times 2, 36. That's the bolts. Each bolt gets turned into 4. I need to double check this math. Hold on. I'm not super good at mental math. One steel screw. Four steel screws. Uh, one steel screw from each bolt. You get four bolts from a rod. So, if I need 36 times four 36 steel bolts oh okay no i need all of them I, that's that's how many rods i need i'm not cutting it in two first i'm cutting it in four so i do need all that that's fine what other math do we need copper casings i need four copper casings so and that's just include solidifier i can do an alloy smelter i can do a cutting saw i can extrude two from one I like that. Do I have a extruder that's at that level? Have I made casings before? Oh, my phone is buzzing. I'm gonna put that down there so it doesn't make a lot of noise. Have I done casings before? If I have done casings, they would be up here. I don't think I did. I don't know if I have a medium voltage extruder. Well, how do I usually make casings? How have I done it in the past? I think I just alloy smelted it, right? Yeah, I think I just alloy smelted. But there is a better way. Oh, I can cut this. I can use cutting saw. Oh, I can just use the cutting saw. Okay. So if I need four copper casings per... Four copper casings per block. I need 36 blocks. Divide by two. I think I can get two copper plates from bending one piece of metal, right? No, just one to one. So, do math again. I think I need 72 pieces of copper. 72 pieces of copper. I believe that's the case, right? 72. Yes, I will need 72 pieces of copper. Do I have that much copper? This begs a question. Yes. And it begs an answer. Yes. Perfect. 72. I'm going to turn that all into plates, and then I will cut them all. That stuff takes pretty quickly. I also need the tin electron tubes. So how to make electron tubes. Tubes, tubes, tubes. They come in, sta they come in groups of four... 
with tin ingot and redstone with amount an amount of molten glass in them. So each one, each one is made of, I get four from it. So if I need 40, I need 10 of these. So I need 50 tin, 20 redstone, and then I think a single thing of glass becomes 144, if I'm correct in saying. 144. So then if I'm making 10 of them, I need five pieces of glass. There we go. That should be pretty easy. I'm pretty sure I have all the tin that I could possibly need for that. Tin. Oh, yeah. Don't need 14 of those. Put them all back. Boop. Redstone. Pretty sure I got plenty of that. Right? Yes. Don't need 12 of those. And I need glass. And I'll call for five of them. Five of them. Let's make them. As we make our way over to the assembly line... I don't know what I'll do. I already have some redstone in there, but that's from a different project, and I don't want to screw things up. And then glass, right? Is that configured in the right way? Yes, it is. Glass. Here we go. Is it working? Yes. Nice. And then I got some electron tubes coming out the other side. Easy. Can I scan those? No, I cannot. They are not scannable. Unfortunate. 40. 40 electron tubes. There we go. Yeah. That wasn't difficult at all. I'll put all this stuff back in there. A previous me had a project going on there. And who am I to screw up the event, the uh, the efforts of my past self? Are we almost done bending metal? Oh, we're like halfway there. We're getting there. Oh, I've never scanned a plate before. Well, I have. I, I also lost all of my magic data too. Once upon a time. I've never scanned the batteries? What? The, the circuits don't do anything. Interesting. Very, very interesting. But uh, I recently changed my username so that I am C Cameron. It doesn't say it up there, but I am Cameron. That is me. With the X in the middle, as opposed to a previous username that I had. CJ Awesomeness. But I changed it. And so apparently that wiped all of my Thomcraft data. So, alas. Alas, alas, alas. So while that's continuing to go, how are we doing on the steel front? We're like half-ish way there. Oh, I haven't scanned these either. Scan. Scan. Magic points. I haven't scanned these either. Nice. Eventually, I'm going to do another day of just attempting to do more magic stuff. And I think I did already. I don't remember how far I am with the, the magic again. Let me see. Is my thumb on me? Is it up here? My thumb on is up here. How far have I gotten in that? In this new in this in this new thing of mine. I haven't reached Oh, I have reached the Eldridge yet, but I haven't researched this stuff. Oh, but I can research that. Cool. I did it. Now I know how to make thaumaturg robes. Is there anything else like that that I can research? The little red hexagons are things that you can just click on, but the squares and whatnot are they they're a little more effort. Anything in here? I've got some time to kill. Entropic refining? What does that mean? Interesting. I know nothing about that. Can I buy more things? Buy more things? Buy more things? I bought all the things over here. Yeah. As you research things, you gain points. You can spend those points. You can use them to make more things. It's a it's a thing that happens. I'm trying to see if there's any... Yeah, stuff like this. Stuff like this. These are different types of enchantments. Gotcha. 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 Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of magic. I need more. I need to research more magical things. Oh, well. Time to put that back up in the hammer space. Boop. It's my secret inventory. You are finished. This is good. I will send you into the cutting machine now to become copper plates. Cutting machine. That doesn't take super duper long. And then hopefully by the time that finishes cutting that, the lathe will be finished lathing up the steel rod so that the cutting machine can cut all those into small little bits and pieces. Now, another thing that I need to work on is I need an intricate circuit board for the farm as well. And to make an intricate circuit board, I need some of this stuff. I need things made of Electrum and epoxy circuit boards. I believe I have material for epoxy circuit boards. Do I have one laying around? Maybe. Ah! An epoxy circuit board. Thank you, past self. You have done us a great service today. 
But where do intricate circuit board? I need that. I need two regular diodes. I don't think I have regular diodes, but I can create regular diodes. Let's make some, and I need some electrum screws. So I'll need electrum foil comes from a single electron plates. We bend it. So I need two pieces of electrum. Oh, do, 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 do. do I have much electrum? I, I don't know if I have any electrum in storage. I might. It's always good to check. Elec. I do not have electrum. So I'll need silver and steel. Uh, silver and gold. And I think I get two. Am I out of gold? No, I got plenty of gold. Oh, thank goodness I have so much gold. Wonderful. Put that in the smelter. Get some electrum. Easy peasy. Oh, it goes out to the other side. Hello, Electrum. Hello. I need one plate. Oh, did I scan that? <gasps> it needs scanage. There you go. I got the grabby grabs. That's a pretty rare aspect to come across. Lucrum. It's the grabbies. The, gra the grabby grubs. I need one Electrum rod. And I need one Electrum plate. So, uh, that's taking its sweet old time. Have I scanned these things yet? Yes, I have. That's wonderful. Have I scanned? Oh, I haven't scanned the epoxy. It probably didn't scan for anything. It does not. This type of marble that hasn't been scanned. Nice. It's all about information. It's all about learning new things. I tend to learn more along the way. It's a great thing. Halfway done with this one. I can take these little dusts and put them back into my processing system. I don't yet have uh, an automated way to turn this steel dust back into steel, but... It compresses it. It turns it into the, the big piles. So that that's at least good. Electrum rod and this stuff. Put the electrum back into my processing system. Got these rods. Got this plate. Scan that plate. Got these rods. I'm gonna pass it along back over here. Boop. I need to cut the plate into foil. Oh, I need to com I, I need to bend the fo the plate into foil, and then I'll have two foil left over. And I will not know what to do with that. So I will probably just macerate it back into Electrum. Recycling. Recycling is a good thing. There we go. Electrum foil. Scan that. I only need half of it. Correct. Correct. I only need two. Oh, and I also need, uh, I think I need Electrum, fine Electrum wire. But I think I have some of that over here. That fine Electrum wire? I'm pretty sure I do. <laughs> yes. One fine electrum wire. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Go recycle some of this foil. Don't need it. Oh, look at this. Somebody left more dirt for me. How kind. How kind. Put half that foil back in here. That will be reprocessed. I have 10 seaweed. Oh, because my fish machines aren't working right now. I have some automatic fish machines, but they're turned off right now because they're not very they're not very good for uh, saving on power. They don't work very well like that. They're not very power conscious. It was supposed to be a scheme to get more power, but it just didn't work. Electrum rods, and I'll put the steel in there too. That is going to take a hot minute. So, all right, I needed the electrum screws for that. Four electrum screws, yeah. So this, this is going to take a little bit of time. That'll take quite a bit of time. But I can get the carpenter ready for creating the circuit board and the other ones. Oh, and I need the, di the diodes too. So... To create a diode in, a, in an easy way. Is there an easy way? Molten polyethylene, gallium, and four annealed copper wire. I have gallium dust. I can go get that. I would need annealed copper. I don't have annealed copper wire on me. Although I might over here. Fine copper, fine copper. Okay, well, I need some copper. So let me... How much wire do I need? How much annealed copper do I need for that? I need four. So I'm going to take one piece of copper, turn it back into dust, and then I'm going to put it in the blast furnace. If I take dust and put it into the blast furnace instead of the regular furnace, it becomes annealed copper instead, which is good. So I'll give this a little maceration. Got my dust. Turn that back on. Go back upstairs. Put it in the awk furnace. And then turn that into wire. And I'll also need gallium. Copper. Easy. Need copper ingot. This goes into the wire mill. Put it in there. I need gallium. So allow me to grab me some gallium. I need a single thing. A single thing of gallium dust. 
Gal. Gall. Am I not on my thing? Gallium. I have six pieces of gallium. Okay. I don't remember where gallium comes from. I think you get gallium mostly from nickel. I think nickel has a secondary byproduct of gallium. And if I'm wrong, whatever. If I'm right, awesome. What big of a pile do I need for that? Here. Diode. Small pile. Which means it goes over here. Small pile. And I only need one of them. Right. Right. I can get 16 from that. Right. And some polyethylene. So three of these will go back into the system. Because I don't need them. Recycling. Recycling for the benefit of humanity and block manity. Because this is Minecraft. There's no humans in this game. Only... Oh, an advanced extruder. Is that plugged in? Does that work? Oh. I guess I did have an advanced extruder. Well, now I know. They say that sewing is half the battle. Or, whoa. Knowing is half the battle. Although, apparently, my fiancé watches somebody on a Twitch named Sewing is half the battle. And they do cosplay stuff. That's cool. I've, I've been meaning to do cosplay stuff on stream at some point. And I, I haven't gotten around to it yet. I mean, I, did, I technically did it once. Oh, the cutting machine is not done yet. Oh, well. Well, here. Cut those when you have the chance. There we go. I need diodes. I needed the annealed copper wire. And I need pieces of polyethylene. Uh, annealed copper wire. So take some of those. Put them back in. Do I get one to, one to four or one to two? I don't remember. It is... One to four. Well, I might need more annealed copper wire, so I'll put those there. Keep that there. Got those. Need two pieces of poly. Go grab the pieces of poly. Come on back. Put it in the thing. Bam. Diodes. Two pieces of poly. Two pieces of poly. Poly in my pocket. I take it everywhere. Polyethylene in my pocket, that is. I mean, technically, there is a shit ton of poly in my pocket at any particular time. Because I'm sure that... I, honestly, my clothes are probably made of polyethylene. P-P-E? P-E is the, the abbreviation for that? I'm not surprised. Two pieces of poly. Wait, 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 don't do anything yet. Oh, thank goodness. Um, gallium. And this. There we go. I was, I was worried that perhaps it was going to do one of the other recipes. I didn't know. Because I have all these other ingredients sitting in here so far, and it's very possible that polyethylene was the thing that would complete that recipe. But no. And now I have diodes. Can I scan diodes? I can scan diodes. Although using them for magic would feel like kind of a waste. There are plenty of other uses. The intricate circuit board, the electrum screw, the diodes, the fine electrum wire, which I have one of, and the epoxy circuit board, and molten redstone. 1152, 1152 divided by 144. 1152 divided by 144 is eight. Eight pieces of redstone. And my carpenter. Where is my carpenter? Where is my carpenter? I don't know where I have my carpenter currently set up. Where's my carpenter? I know I have a carpenter around here somewhere. But first, redstone. That's all the stuff for the intricate circuit board. Oh, well, except for the screw. I need the screw. Give me the screw. Give me the screw, boys! Did you do the screw? Oh, the advanced cutting machine didn't... Oh. Why are you not... Why are you not filtering in? Oh, does this not... Oh, it's the lathe! Ah, oh, the lathe turns the, the, the bolts into the screws. I should have remembered. There we go. There we go. That's how we do it. If there were any way how to do it, this is it. This is how we do it. So let's see. Mm, I needed this, these ones too. I need a couple more inventory spaces. Let's put this marble up at, you know, let's put, let's put the dolly back up in hammer space. I don't need the dolly right now. Carpenter. Where are you? Oh, there's a carpenter right there! Is it powered? It's not powered. Why? What are you doing over there? I need a place for the carpenter. I should work on that. I should work on that. 
Yeah, I, I should most definitely work on that. There's definitely something I can do about that. But maybe now. Can I do that now? I don't remember exactly what type of power the carpenter takes. Whether it's low voltage... What, what voltage the carpenter takes. I don't remember. Oh. It uses earth. It uses RF. I want to say it's medium voltage, but I, I might be wrong about that. Let me put... Um, actually, I can probably just use it right here. Does it take batteries? It doesn't take batteries, though. I forget how to function these things. There was probably a battery buffer over here at some point. Maybe I, I have an extra. Extra battery buffer? Extra battery buffer? Bat buffer? Buffer, buffer, buffer? No. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like there's any buffers in there. Oh, but I have another carpenter. Why do I have two? I am going to take this. And I'm going to put it somewhere. Where? I'm not so sure. Well, let's see. A carpenter requires liquids. So, I could put it back here. Because it requires liquid and power to run. And I might be able to fuel it. I might be able to power with some of the battery buffers that I have over here. And then I can just use this fluid extractor to pump it straight into it. Maybe. I need to remember how this thing gets power. So let me let me take this with me to the low power area and see what happens. That, or I can just do this the very, the very uh like, like mock up way where I just kind of put it next to one of these things and I just bring stuff around it. Let's see. Give me the wire cutter. Wire cutter. Current, you have no RF. But if I do that, you are building RF. So you take low voltage power. Okay, good to know. So you should probably hang over here. You can put stuff in there. I can get a tank. Let me get let me get a tank. Tankity tank. Tank 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 tankity tank. Tank. Fluid tank. Put it over here. I go over here. I'm going to disconnect the line from any machines over here. I will put the tank on top. Whoa, not like that. What did you Whoa. That was not at all what I was expecting to do with that. What did you... Carpenter stairs. You took my tank from me. You asshole. Oh, can I have a... Yes, give me, give me, give me. Give me, give me. There we go. That's fine. Tank goes onto the ceiling. Right? That's not a tech... Uh, that's not a... It's not a block. All right, cool, cool, cool. So, you will get eight dust of redstone. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right? Are you all good? Okay, cool, cool. And then I will bring you over to the carpenter and we'll make an intricate circuit board. Do, 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 do. That green tea mocktail is still hitting the spot. I just bit into an ice cube. But honestly, I'd say I'm doing all right. Now what I do is I'm going to put that... Let's push and pull. Push. Cool. I need electrum wire in the center, right? Epoxy circuit board here. Electrum foil down here. Screws around the edges. And two diodes on the side. There we go. Is it doing anything? It is. It is doing stuff. All right, cool, cool, cool. I, I got worried for a second there. Actually, do I need any more of these circuit boards for the blocks? Not the control block. Not the valve, not the hatch, not the gearbox. Final answer is no. I will not need any more of those circuit boards. And that's okay. Are you done yet? All right, you're taking your you're taking your sweet little time. That that's fine. You can take your time. I give you full permission to take your time. That is okay. While the night is still going, I'm gonna go up and kill some creepers to try to get some more Christmas presents. I want to summon the Eldritch Beasts from beyond the Holiday Grave. And for that, I need to take the life of monsters. Hello, you. Your life is forfeit. Hello, you. Your life is also forfeit. Thank you for the present. Oh, there's a tiny zombie around here? Where's a zombie at? There's a zombie in here? There's a zombie in the ground over here. But I'm not worried about it. Let me adjust my... I need to adjust my screen. I'm getting a little bit of glare. Oh, dear. There we go. Now I can... I still can't see better. 
Can I see better now? Nope, that's not working. Hey, you, you, you try, uh, try your best and you don't succeed. That's disorienting. Wait, let me put that back. There we go. I am exactly where I started. But it's okay. I'll kill these creepers, get some stuff, and all things will be well. What is... Oh, there's a rat inside. There's a rat in the ground. That's fine. You go be your ratful self. What about y'all? Are there anybody partying over here? Bunch of hobgoblins. That's fine. Oh, and a zoatar. That's also fine. I mean, it's not really fine. I don't particularly like their presence, especially around my laboratory, but... You know, we all gotta live. We all gotta exist. Hello, gobby. Gobby, gobby, gobby. Get out of here. Oh, jeez! And a geist from the beyond the dark grave. I can't see anything. Let me fly up in the air. Hello. Hello, you. Hello. Goodbye. Hello and goodbye. Eventually, when I find more eyes of the eyes of the Eldritch Horror, I need two more so I can go to the Nether Realm. It's not the other Nether Realm. I don't remember what it's called. The Outer Outer Realm? I don't know. That's a video game. Outer Realms? Nah, I it. Anybody down here? No. Who are all these in the ground? Oh, it's a bunch of birds. I don't like the birds. Oh, and there's zombies down here too. Hello. Hello, I am Cameron. Nice to meet you. It is a pleasure. It is a pleasure to meet you moments before disaster. And does it, by disaster, I mean you will die. Oh, I'm getting hurt by something. I'm fine. I'm fine. Come back up here, my friend. Your death awaits you. And it will be a pleasant and quick one. I say pleasant and quick. I, I hit you twice. That wasn't very quick, but it was merciful. Right? Die. Die, zombie. Yes. The, oh, that... Oh. What are you... Get... Stop that. Whatever you're doing... Enough. Stop. No, get, get... 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 You stupid bird! Oh. I got another present. That's good. I like birds. Well, I mean, not those birds. But I like when birds drop presents. Seagulls! I like that. Now... I'm gonna open up these winter gifts. There might be good stuff on the inside. There might be bad stuff. Let's try number one. Okay, good stuff. And another one. Okay, good stuff. Cool. I got a variety of things. Why can't I pick them up? There we go. A little bit of lag. Whoa, the creeper. Hi, creeper. Hello, bird. Bird, stop. Oh, hi, everybody. Don't pick up my stuff, okay? I got good things. I got good things from Santa Claus. Santa Claus gave me good things. Bird! Get out of here! Where are you? Stop that! Enough! Enough of this! You... Government spy! Get out of here! Thank you. Thank you for leaving me alone. I had to force you to do it, but the fact that you... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no. no. Get out of here, stupid bird. Silly birds. I do like birds. I actually like birds. I just don't like birds in this game. Or this particular mod pack. I think they added parrots in the newest version, the newest update of actual Minecraft, and I like that. I like parrots. Oh, there's a spider? Oh my god. I literally never see spiders. But this time I did. Nice. That's good. Zoatar. Hello, Zoatar. Hello, Creeper. Hello, Zoatar. Hello, Creeper again. Any more presents? I got another present. Is it a pretty present? If I open it up all the way up here and a monster spawns, they'll just kind of fall to the ground and die. Ugh. Here's your present. Okay. Um, I think something good came of that. Right? What is this? Burgers, glowstone, and cake. I like cake. I'm actually surprised. I've opened up... That's five rolls of the die and nothing bad yet. Usually they'll be like Krampus monsters. They'll try to come and kill me. But not this time. This is working out quite well. Hello. Stuart's cousins. Stuart's brothers and sisters. You are not domesticated, so I'm not a fan of you. Any more presents? No, no more presents. Hello. You got a present for me? You know what? I think I've reaped the benefits of presents yeah, for the evening. I bet my screws are probably done. Let's deposit some things in here to put the seeds where the seeds go. Seeds in the seed juicer. Everything else go in here. Put some cake in there. Put some burgers in there. Put some liver in there. I have these other stuff in my inventory that should probably go in there. Um, empty the backpacks. What are the spoils of war this time? They are plentiful. The spoils of war are plentiful. 
Blaze Rod, scan it. Sweet. Oh, I got some more... I got some more magic points for that. That's good. Means I can do more research if I wanted to. But I don't right now. I'm doing something else. These are probably done. The screws are done. Is this carpenter done with its job? It is done. We have an intricate circuit board. What? Can it scan? It cannot. But that's okay. That's okay. The intricate circuit board will be used for the farm. Now I need to work on the farm blocks. So the farm blocks, the brick ones here, needed the copper casings, the tin electron tubes, and the steel screws. So the casings should be done too. I just gotta go and find them. I think they're over in this chest over here. Do, 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 do. Oh, plenty of casings. And I think I may have made too many. How many casings did I need? If there's four copper casings, 36. So do I have enough for 36, specifically? Oh, I think I actually might. This might be... Oh, whoops. This might be just enough. Let's... What did... What, what math is that? No, that's... What the... I don't know what was going up with the math there. There we go. 36. There's 36 of each. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that was exactly how many I needed. Thanks for doing math, Cameron. You're welcome, Cameron. You're very welcome. Oh, and I think... Oh, there were some more steel bolts that never actually got through, so I need to do those too. Whoops. So I still have a couple more bolts. But the carpenter's gonna take some time, so... That's okay. So, to make the farm blocks, each one needs one piece of redstone. So I need 36 pieces of redstone. 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 And I'll put that into a tank. I'll bring it over and everything will be wonderful. Everything is gonna be wonderful. Gimme. Thank you. Thank you for the tank. Tankity tankity tank. Game's lagging a little bit. That's okay. Lags a little bit sometimes. There's quite the distance between me and where the server is hosted. I think it's in... This one might actually be hosted in New York. So there's actually not that much distance between me and it. 36 pieces of redstone. Off we go. Lovely. And I'll wait for that to fill up. And then probably by the time that fills up, the screws will be good. And then I'll start collecting materials for the other parts of the farm. Like the, uh, the, the parts like the, the little, little circuitry pieces. Little circuitry pieces like motors and stuff like that. You know, cool things like motors. Yeah, motors. Motors are cool. I don't do a lot of like electromechanical work, so I don't work with motors too much. I work with a lot of things that don't move. Moving parts are complicated. And they're prone to failure. Just like non-moving parts. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, no, no. Don't do that just yet. Okay. I got the bricks. I got the casings. Put that all in there. I got the tubes. I got the screws. There we go. Right? That's, that's the power, right? That's all we needed. And it's off and going. Sweet! This is finished with the rest of the screws. Now I just put that in there, and I think we'll be good. There we go. Perfect. And then I'll have farm blocks out the other side. Now... Now I need... Ooh, what else do I need? I need these different types of blocks here. So I need a gearbox. And for that I need four small gears and a motor. So let's, I'm going to write these down too. So, steel gears. I need one, two, three, four. LV motor. I need one so far. For the hatch, I require, for the hatch, I require, gearbox, hatch. For the hatch, I require an additional steel gear, an additional motor, and two conveyor belts. LV conveyor. Who are going to convey a message to the president. One hopper. I need a hopper as well. The gearbox, the hatch. Then we need a valve. Valves require an additional motor, an additional ring, a rubber ring. Rubber ring. 
Need one of those. And I need two pumps. LV pumps. I need two of those. Now, after the valves, I need a control block. And the control block needs another steel gear. A tin cable. Tin cable times one. Times one. And two electronic circuits. Electronic circuits. Can I make them with other circuits? No, no, no. Just electronic circuits. Circuits. And I need two of them. I now know exactly all I need. Two electric circuits, one tin cable, six, uh, seven steel gears, three electric motors. Did I... I think I miscounted the motors. Did I count the motor again? Control needs one. Valve needs one. Hatch needs one. Gearbox needs one. Oh, I need four. <laughs> Jeez. Almost miscounted. That would have been catastrophic. Just kidding. And I also need two conveyors, one hopper, one rubber ring, and two low voltage pumps. Cool. Let's get to work on that while this carpenter over here is chugging away at making the farm blocks, which are they scannable? Can I scan you? Thank you. Can I scan you? Oh, we already know that we can't. Scan that. Can I scan that? Nah. Unfortunate, but it's how it has to be. I got my intricate circuit board too, so that, that's good too. And I think, I want to say all I need for this, all I needed from my previous notes, I have too many post-it notes around here, the the electron di the electron diodes, the electron tubes, tubes. Why did I write diode? Tubes. Tubes. I need a soldering iron too. I don't, I haven't yet made one of those. Uh, I'll make it when the carpenter's done with this. This will, this will be super easy. This will be really, really easy. I just need a bucket of water. La. So now let's make some small little parts. I don't think I store, I used to store small low voltage parts, but I don't do that anymore because I have easier ways of making them. So I usually just kind of make them on demand. I don't need to stockpile of them. I just, I have them on demand. So to make, let, let's start off from the top. Seven steel gears. To make a steel gear, I need to take a plate and whack it with a hammer. Or put it into an extruder and extrude a piece of steel. Do I have a small gear-shaped extruder thing? Because I do have an advanced extruder over here. But do I have a thing shaped like a gear? I thought I had a box over here for my extruder shapes. But I don't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They would be over here. Duh. Duh, of course they would be. Because this is the extruder, right? Here, that's an extractor. This is an extruder? No. But I have all my... These are molds. That's not what I'm looking for. I need extruder shapes, and I apparently don't have many of them. Okay, fine. It'll help me later on. So how do I make this extruder shape? I can take this empty shape plate and cut it with some wires. Empty shape plate comes from four steel plates. So, get four steel plates. Steel. One, two, three, four four for the plate and then one two three four five six seven for the rest of the gears i will need more steel so i'm gonna prepare for that and the way that i'll prepare for that is i will find any wrought iron that i have wrought i don't have any wrought iron that's okay i have iron blocks iron blocks can be put in the arc furnace to create wrought iron wrought iron can be thrown into the big the the big i don't remember what this thing is called blast furnace blast furnace to create steel. Do I have any steel at the other side by chance? It's very possible. I have some aluminum. That's cool. Or aluminium. It's got some aluminium. Rot iron from here. We'll go into there. Make steel. It'll be great. Yep. Just like that. As so long as this is filled up with oxygen, I have no oxygen. Hmm. That could be a problem. All right, so oxygen is another thing that I will be working on to try to get more of because my my oxygen tanks are completely and utterly empty. That's not good. I need more oxygen. I never I I never actually found a really good way to get oxygen. Technically, I could just get it from water, but that's an incredibly energy heavy process, and I don't know if it's worth it. But it might be. It might be down the line. I don't know. Anyways, anywho, is it? I'm gonna put these pieces of steel over here in preparation. Uh, and drop my sword on the ground because I can, totally intentionally. I'll take these steel ingots and turn them into plates. I'll use my thing, 
was it hammer and file to create the plate and then my wire cutter to create the actual extruder shape let's see if i was right about that if not i'll just double check it it'll be great one two three four file hammer shape was that the right one shape yes and then gear little gear shape sweet take that over here and I make my gears nice easy oh that's really quick oh look at that that's incredibly quick wow I like that oh that's seven small steel gears off the list awesome it's like I'm gonna steal gears that's great and I have extruder shapes I should probably put a chest next to here I need a chest. Let me grab a chest. Let me let me grab your chest so I can use it. Like, oh no, my chest. My chest is now missing. You've stolen my chest. How dare you? Ha 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 ha. Your chest is mine. That sounds really creepy <laughs> that I think about it. Your chest is mine! No, please don't! <laughs> that would make me uncomfortable. Honestly, if somebody out of the blue just all of a sudden came up to me and just like like copped a feel, I'd be very uncomfortable. Actually, actually, maybe maybe I wouldn't be very uncomfortable. I would just be very confused for a moment. I'd be like, um, yes, C can I help you? <laughs> Is there something you like? We can talk. We can use our words instead of our actions. Actions speak louder than words, but you know, I I'm not that hard of hearing. You don't need to scream it. If, uh, yeah, if actions speak louder than words, let's just use our words because I don't like it when people yell. The next thing I need are two electronic circuits. And I think I might actually need some electronic circuits for these other for these other little processes here. Let me see. To create? To create, that is the question. I need motors. Let's do the motors first. For the motors, I will need... I can use iron, I can use iron rods. I am low on steel, so I will use iron instead. Copper and tin cables. Do I have enough tin cables? If I don't have enough tin cables, I need to make more tin cables. How many tin cables do I got? I got gold cables. I got tin cables. I got copper wire. I got fine copper wire. I need more copper wire, and I need more uh, iron rods. So, can I make iron rods from an extruder? I never. I haven't checked that. Iron rod. Can I extrude that? I can extrude that, and I can get two for the price of one. Oh, I like that idea. There's absolutely no waste. Oh, cool. I'm gonna make another extruder shape. To make that one, I slice it in that direction. If I need seven, I need four motors. So I'll need four times three, 12 pieces of iron. That many pieces of iron. Iron, 12. I need more steel. Not steel, steel. One, two, three, four. Put that in here and make it small squished get the iron and i'll need to polarize a third of those and i need more copper too or specifically copper wire so i'll grab more copper from the storage system cop burr copper 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 okay let's turn this into an extruder shade Rod. Rod. Rod shaped. Rod shaped for a rod. Rods for our motors. Yes. Let's put it in here. I will. Where does the copper indicator go again? Oh, the wire mill. Copper goes to the wire mill so I can make wires. The extruder will obtain this shape so I can get iron rods. That takes a little while. That's okay. That's okay. And now, let me just wait a little bit. A little bit for that to go through. I have some more aluminium. So let that go. Put the aluminium away. Low voltage. I think, what else am I missing for that? I need the, t the tin gears. I have the, cop uh, the copper wires. It goes in the middle. Oh, the rods. The rods go in the middle. Naturally. Naturally, naturally. And I think if I'm making four of them, I only need four of these rods. Oh, I'm getting double of them. Right. Forgot about that. 
Oh, now I got some iron rods. Cool. Four of them need to be polarized. And the other ones will be just fine on their own. I got a polarizer on here. Polarizer. Boop. You know. You, you, you. And hopefully we'll get this farm up running. I'm also curious to see, like, honestly, one of the reasons that I like... I mean, I feel, I feel like I mentioned it all before. Everything I've said, I've mentioned before. But that, that shouldn't mean that I... That doesn't mean that I can't say it again. I like this mod pack. There's a lot in this mod pack. Well-crafted. Well-crafted. Well-crafted mod pack. That keeps you get keeps giving you more. There's so much more to explore. The only thing that you're limited by is your imagination. But I suppose the same thing can be said about Minecraft in general, so... You don't like it. It's because you're an unimaginative person. No, just kidding. My fiance's not really into Minecraft, and she's pretty imaginative. She's got she's got an imagination. Can I make actually Do I have to do this method to make a motor? I'm gonna do it this time, but I have a feeling there's another way and I just didn't look for it. Was there another way in an assembler? Uh it's the same exact Oh, it's the same exact ingredient. It's the same exact recipe, except it's in an assembler instead, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, alright. This is anything. I could have just done it that way. Just not shaped. Alright. Got my motors. I'm gonna I'm gonna store them in here for now. I'm gonna store these pieces in here for now. And come back for it. The rods will be stored over here, because this is where I make rods now. Um actually, what what rods can I make with this? Oh, extrude shape shaft. Oh. Oh! I can extrude shafts? Incredible. Can make polyethylene rods with this. What's the highest recipe? Oh, osmium. All of this big stuff. Tungsten steel and all that stuff requires uh, the next two two voltage levels up. Or the next voltage level up. High voltage. But I can go up until um, refined iron shafts. Oh, I can actually... I can turn blocks into shafts. I don't know what the shafts are used for yet. Oh, for kinetic gearboxes. Cool. Kinetic steam generator. Cool. Kinetic generator. All this stuff. I think that's like, like wind power. Wind turbines. Maybe. That might be something to look into, Wente. Clean energy. Clean energy. Next, I'll need some conveyor belts. So I'm going to need some rubber. So I'm going to go back and grab some rubber. So that I have it all for what I'm doing. Rub. Rubby, rub, rub. I got plenty of... Wow, I got a lot of rub rubber. And I also have silicon rubber, too. Didn't realize that. Do I have a knife up here? I will need this knife eventually. Because I know I needed one rubber ring. And to make a rubber ring, another one of these things, rubber ring, rubber ring, rubber ring, rubber ring, rubber ring. It's just a knife on a rubber sheet. So I need to melt down the rubber and turn it into a sheet. But I think I can just extrude it, right? I can make a rubber sheet from uh, from that, right? Pretty sure. To make pumps, I will need rubber rings as well. So if I need, I need two pumps. So I'll need f five rubber rings total. Is there a way for me to like do that without this? I can extrude a ring shape from rubber pulp or rubber bars. So, I am also going to make a ring-shaped extruder. If I don't already have one. Ring? Cell. Not a ring. We're working on making things more efficient around here. Bear with us as we improve ourselves. Wire cutter on the right side. So let's do that. Honestly, most of the steel I'm using is for these extruder shapes. The fact that I have this extruder is actually incredibly helpful. I have solid machine casings over here. Why do I have this here? I feel like I should... I should definitely recycle this. Oh, this was for the solid machine casings. They might actually be used for other things. Uh, no, no, they don't need to be. If I need to make more, I can make more. I will destroy this. I will... Oh, things aren't outputting like they're supposed to. Nice. Did not realize that. Didn't realize I had a backup going on here. Um, here, take this. Take that and destroy it. Grind, grind it up good. Is that working? It is working. Wonderful. I'm not worried about that. I think, can I turn... I, I need some more steel, and I'm kind of in a pinch here. Can I take this... What requires me to take this steel dust and turn it back? Do I need oxygen for that? I don't think I do. Because I don't need to, I don't need to add oxygen to it. I think I just put it into a... Um, blast furnace, right? Yeah, that's all I did. So I just, just put it inside. I just place it within, and then everything is okay. There you go. Boop. 
Now I'll have some more. I need... I need more plates. More steel. More steel plates. Need more steel plates for my house. For my laboratory. Oh, is the carpenter done? Now nah, you're still going. There's still a few more left. You got this. You got this. I believe in you. Um, I definitely believe in you. I most definitely believe. Believe in the me that believes in the you that believes in the me that believes in the you that believes in the the carpenter to do its job properly. Now that I kind of have an understanding of what like these electron tubes do, I'm probably going to utilize them a little bit more. Apparently, if you add electron tubes to farms that are already active, you can actually like improve them, like making them work faster or making them more efficient. Like that's cool. I did not realize that at all. I learn new things every single day. The mod pack is always leaving me wanting more. Here, and then we'll put the thing off to the side to get a ring extruder shape. Perfection. Perfection. I'm gonna eat some more pizza pie. Need some more pizza pies with my body. I'm running low on energy. Let's put this in here, and I don't need that many rings, but I'll I'll have some on back on backup. So I'll make four. That was super simple. Excellent. Oh, that was so easy. Wow. I like rubber. That worked out well. Okay, so now I have the one rubber ring. Check. The conveyor belts will also require. They will. They will also require. I think uh, rubber sheets. I believe. But let's work on the pumps first. Pump. Pump it. Deal. 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 Drop it down, 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 down. Tin screws. I need tin rotors. There's really no easy way to make tin rotor. Actually, yes, there is. I can just put tin and tin and tin in into an assembler or soldering alloy. That's fine too. Tin rings. I can probably get that from the extruder now, which has made things can significantly easier. Let's do that. I need for 32 tin. How much tin do I get for that? 144 divided by 32 is 4.5. So if I do 32 times 9 divided by 144, that's 2. So for two pieces of tin melted down, I can get nine rotors. I don't know. I might actually have some rotors right now, but if if I don't, then I'll just make I'll make a few of them and I'll I'll store those as well. Rotor. I do not have oh T T the the T button is not working this time. T. Rotor. Rotor. I do have rotors. Nice. I think I only need two. Awesome. Oh, there's some radio? Radioactive material here? Nice. I think if I keep that in a chest, I'll be able to let it irradiate off in general. I know you can use this radon stuff for stuff. This radon stuff for more stuff. Yes, you can definitely always use stuff for more stuff. Maybe not always always, or efficiently, you can always use stuff for more stuff. And I have, finished, I have officially finished off my green tea mocktail, which was an absolute joy, honestly. It was really good. And now I work on the, the holiday stuff, which I noticed the pulp is actually... The pulp has kind of floated up to the top, so I think it needs a little mix. I'm just going to use my... I'm just going to use my Sharpie to mix things back together. I don't really care about the uh, the cleanliness of my Sharpies. It'll... I'll just wipe it off on my... Wipe it off on my shirt. There we go. That's fine. It's lovely. I, I gotta say, what's in there, included in that drink, is some, I think it was white, white grape? I think that was the white grape one? That tastes like white grape to me. Maybe that wasn't. Might have been cranberry. No, I think that one was a cranberry one. That's the cranberry one. It's got cranberry and freshly squeezed orange juice in it. And the freshly squeezed orange juice, oh man. It's awesome. It is awesome tasting. It makes things totally worth it. Oh, I forgot. I have Electro Team here. What can I... Mm, I'll, I'll worry about that another time. Okay. Pump. Pump. Screw. Do I have tin screws? Tin not-so-screws. Okay, so I need tin screws. So for that, I need a tin ingot. What's the... Is there a better way to make screws, too? Maybe. Uh, that's not it. That's not what I'm looking for. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh, goodness. Where'd you go? Give me my valve back. Valve? Hello? Valve? <gasps> Doom. Doom. Where did the valve go? 
I lost farm hatch valve. There we go. I almost lost it for a second. Okay. I require more motors. I have a wrench. I have a screwdriver. I need tin screws. How to make tin screws? Is there a better way? I lathe it. I lathe the bolts. I get the bolts from cutting up. Oh, I can extrude. I can extrude a bolt shape, and I get a sh wow, a shiz ton of bolts. Okie dokie. I am also making a bolt shape. Wonderful. Super sparkly. One, two, three, four. Super sparkly, wonderful. I am now officially running out of steel. I will need some of that at some point. And oh, how did I make the bolt shape again? I think I'm just going to guess it. I'm just going to guess what combination of location and extruder shape works on that. I don't. I don't remember. I do not remember. Don't remember at all. Let's see. If I put these together, do that. I know this part. But what about this part? Where does the bolt shape go? Bolt? That's not a bolt. That's not a bolt. That's not a bolt. How bolt? Which was the bolt? Oh! Oh! Bolt! There we go. Nice. I knew I could guess it. Easy. Easy, easy. And so I'll put... I don't know. I'll make a few bolts. Never know when you might need more bolts. Tin. And I'm sure it doesn't take too much time. I don't need that many screws, though, but... Not for this purpose, but I may need more down the line. Put that in there, put the tin in there. It's a bit of a process, so I will let it go. But I only need two screws. <laughs> Excuse me. Waiting, waiting, waiting for the bolts. Are you done yet? Oh, you just finished. Sweet. I only need two. I will also need, for each of those, for each of those pumps, I will need an additional motor. So, I need two more motors. So let's build those motors up. I have iron rods as well. One, two, three, four. One, two. I'll build those. Build those right up. Gotta polarize them. Polarize them, polarize them good. Polar. Polarize them good. Oh, you didn't have a you don't have a place to put them. Oh, I never scanned these. Ha! Huh. I must scan them. I must scan. I must become more knowledgeable. I must learn the ways of the world. Put that in there. Put the wire along the side. Put a tin cable in there. I got some lens now. Sweet. Next step on the valves are... I have the rubber rings. I have plenty of them. So I got the rings. I got the rotors. I got the screws. I got the cables. I got those. All I need is that bronze fluid pipe in the center. And I thought I had some of those... I have small bronze fluid pipes. So let's get some big ones. And I think those come too, right? And I think I can use an extruder for those too. I don't know if I have an extruder shape for that. Hold on, let me check. Uh, pump. Bronze fluid pipe. I would need two. I can get it from three per one in an extruder. That makes sense, but I don't have but then I don't have to go through the whole plating process. So I, I like that. So. Let me get six pieces of bronze. Bronze. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put them over here. And there we go. And I'm pretty sure I have... Yes, I have the normal pipe size over here. I definitely do. Boop. And that works pretty quickly. Nice. Got it. Now I can make my valves. Valves... Got rubber rings in those locations. Got the rotor. Got the... Oh, I never put the... Made the bolts in the string. I never made the bolts into screws. So I needed to do that. Whoops. Put that there. There we go. Out the other side. Scan that. I get order. Oh, I can get... Oh. I get points for ordo. That's actually really convenient that I can get ordo from those things. Very convenient indeed. These. Do, 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 do. Put the motor down here, put the screw up there, put the rotors over here, put the tin thing down here, and then on the sides were... What goes on the sides? Am I forgetting something? I seem to be forgetting something. What else goes on the side? Oh, duh, the screwdriver and the wrench, the actual, the actual things. 
screwdriver, and a wrench. Silly me. I forgot that I actually needed tools to build this thing. <gasps> Durr. Two valves. Pumps. I mean, pumps for the valves. There we go. Valves are off the list. Nice. Got the pump, uh, pumps, I mean. Yeah, whatever. Tin cable. I need a single tin cable. That's on my, off my list now, too. Nice. Tin cable. Then. Electric circuits are pretty easy to make these days. So I'll make a couple of them over here. I want to say... I, I don't know if I remember the recipe at the top of my head. Oh. Oh, but I can take this integrated logic circuit and turn them into those, right? Oh, I can do that. Oh, how did I do that? Okay, that, that might actually be a little more complicated. Where the circuits at? Where the circuits at? Where the circuits at? There the circuits at. I get that. I know I can turn things into them, I thought. I thought there was a way to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I take the one that's programmed to zero and I turn it into that. So I can take these, turn them into that, put them here, turn them into that, and then... Yep, there we go. Easy. Nice. Electronic circuits. Get. Now I just need the conveyor and the hopper. It's very possible I have a hopper already. So I'm going to look for that in my storage system first. Or I can just steal a hopper from somewhere. Hop. Ah, a hopper. I love that. I love this storage system. Hopper. Now I just need a conveyor belt. Do I happen to have any in here? No. But I can always make a bunch and store them. So I, I think I might as well do that. Maybe I'll just maybe just make a shit ton of components. I'm always using these for things. Whatever. So let's make some conveyors. How to make conveyors. Conveyor. Rubber sheets and motors. Um... Yeah, I don't really want to put that much effort into it now. But I need four motors, so let's get some more motors. Let's make some more iron things. So just four, four motors first, and then four, uh, 12 rubber sheets. To make those rubber sheets. Easy way to make sheets. Extruder, hopefully. Yeah, I need a shape plate. I don't think I have a plate shape. Shape plate. Plate, plate, plate. I don't think I have one of those. Not over here. Nope. But I can make one! So I will. Let's put the rubber rings in here as a means to store. I'm apparently not close enough. There we go. Put that in here. Now when I look up rub or rings, I can get rings here. Now. So let's get some iron. I should have enough I should have enough cables and whatnot to make more of these. So let me just get like Let's do just 16 pieces of iron, turn them all into rods, keep them over here. They're pretty quick to do. So Rod, 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 rod. Pretty, pretty quick, pretty quick. If I need four motors, I'm gonna need four of them po- I'm gonna need four of these rods polarized. So I'll go off and do that. Because that'll take a little bit of time, too. Mm, polarizer. Mm, polarizer. Polarize you, polarize us, polarize. Polarizer? I hardly know her. Tiki makes the funnies. Oh, this Santa hat's getting a little ishy. But only a little. I'm not complaining. I love Christmas. Christmas time is here. Alright, this is enough to make. I hope this is enough to make all those motors. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board again. There's four of each. Yes! Yes! Perfect! Easy. The rest of the valves, I need a tin. I think I just need a tin thing in the, in the tin wire in the center. Tin cable in the center and rubber sheets. So let me go make another steel plate. Uh, actually, I have steel pieces over here now, right? Right. Nothing left over. Thank you. And I'll make another extruder plate. I've got all these extruder plates now. This is good. Well, now that I realize that... I, now I realize how versatile the extruder machine actually is so i want to make sure it's utilized to its utmost potential we put this do a little do the same little plate song and dance all over again and i just need to see what what the the recipe is for this thing the extruder shape you require a thing on the side on the left plate I could probably scan all these plates now, too. I totally can. 
So do that, and let's... I'm usually in the need for ru uh, for rubber plates, so let's just... Let's just put them in. That'll come out quickly, right? Oh, yeah, that was really quick. Easy. Can I extrude metal with that, too? I probably can. Huh. I hadn't thought about that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I probably can. There's so many shapes that I can extrude now. Including pickaxes. I know that one off the top of my head. And I need 12 of those. So. Let's put tin cable in the middle. Motors in the side. Rubber sheets. There we go. Got them. I probably haven't scanned these things in a while. Have I scanned a screwdriver? It is scannable. Cool. I'll scan all these things too. They provide good stuff. I'll put these actual ingredients in here. All the things that I need to use, I will put in here. Including the tin cable. So I got the two electronic circuits. I got the one tin cable. I got the steel gears. I have got the low voltage motor. I've got the two conveyor belts. Got the hopper. Got the rubber. I needed one rubber ring. And I didn't put it in here in two pumps. So let me go grab the one rubber ring again. Let's put the cable back in here. Cable back in here. Put this stuff back in storage. Go get that rubber ring. And then come on back. Rub. One rubber ring. Put that back. Rubber sheet. Rubber bar. Rubber bands, rubber balls. Me with super special density. And I get that farm block. And I will need the I will need to bring all of those back. Actually, they're all made in the carpenter. So I should put that over here. One, two, three, four. Uh, the rubber ring goes in here. Keep this in my inventory. The diodes, they're they exist. I hear an Enderman. Where are you, pal? Are you around here? I don't see you. Don't make me eat you. I will consume you. Nope, you're gone. I don't know where you are. All right, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Oh, let me go get my stuff back from over here. Do, 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 do. You're right in here. Cool. Oh, and I have space for all the ingredients. Yes. So now, if I need... I need a gearbox. That requires one redstone. I need a hatch. That requires one redstone. I need a valve. That requires one redstone. And I need control. That requires one redstone. Valve and control. Right? So that's another redstone. So I think I need five, right? Control, valve, hatch, gearbox. No. Gearbox, hatch, gearbox, hatch, valve, Control. Yeah, that is. That's all I, all I need is for. So I'll come back for all those ingredients in just a moment. I'll put all this stuff over here. Hopper, cable, pump, conveyor, gear, motor, circuit, circuit. And I need this pump here. Or I need this tank. So I can go and get the proper material. And I need four pieces of redstone, naturally. But that's, that's, that's the easy part. Okay. Head on back over here. I'm gonna head on back over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna melt us some redstone. Do, 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 do. It's so easy to melt things with the current setup and I like it. Oh yes. Unfortunately, I gotta wait for each recipe to to finish one after the other. Oh, you know what's the other thing, too? I need more bricks so I can actually build the base of the farm. So I'm gonna have to go and probably get some bricks after this. Okay, you're all filled up with the redstone. Uh, yeah, luckily, luckily I didn't start working on that recipe again. So the gearbox will require the motor surrounded by the, the gears. I only have enough for one of those, so I, I can wait on that one. Oh, sweet! Oh, my goodness. Okay, so now that I've got that going in the background, it's going to take a little bit of time. Let me... Let me begin working on the aesthetics of the farm. 
Got some aesthetics going on here. I think I was using stone bricks with a certain colored frequency. Um, let's see. Let, let me go take a let me go take a sample. Take a little sample so I can continue on with that. Do 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 do. I'm back. Hello, everybody. And then we'll get the dirt flow. We'll get the dirt flowing, and then everything. The whole server runs on even when e runs even when I'm not online. So all this stuff winds up getting winds up getting. Um, it, it's functional. It's totally functional. Like all this fertilizer that I got. All this fertilizer came from all the crops that I was rep that I was reprocessing. And that's what used up all my oxygen. But on the bright side, I have a shiz ton of fertilizer, which is great. I probably had too much fertilizer. Excuse me. Um, oh, this is what I was doing. Marble, brick, colored stone bricks, white frequency. What is the color? Uh, how do I get those again? What type, type of? I think they're just regular stone bricks, right? Right? Oh, no, no, no. It's just an extra utility. So I, I built them. Okay, so how do I make them? How do I make them again? I use white dye, a paintbrush, on bricks. Okay, I now know this. Do I have a paintbrush? Have I ever made a paintbrush before? I, apparently, I must have. I must have made a paintbrush before. I don't remember that at all. Is there a paintbrush in here? Paint? No. Are there colored bricks? White frequency? Brick? No. This is paintbrush at. Is there paintbrush in here? I never made a paintbrush. I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea where those bricks came from. Anyway, I'm gonna make a paintbrush because I want those bricks back. Uh, paintbrush. Brush. Brush of paint. Paintbrush. Extra utilities. Oh. Well, that's really simple. That, that's not difficult at all. Um. String. Thank you. That's That's all I needed. Oh, I also need the soldering iron. I forgot to build the soldering iron. I'll get to that. I'll get to that eventually. That'll come next. Paintbrush. Yeet. Scan it. Yeet. And now I need bricks. Stone bricks. Do I just stone? Stone. 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 Stone bricks? No. I got stone. Which I can turn into stone bricks. Which then I can paint the color white if I have... White! I don't have any bone meal. Or white dye. Bone meal! That's, see, that's helpful. That is considerably helpful. And now, apparently, I can do this. Colors! It's a pretty color. I'll just, I'll keep it. I think I'll keep this one. Is this carpenter done with his most recent recipe? Hello? Yes! The gearbox is completed! Cool. Next is the hatch, which requires gear on top, two conveyors, and a hopper. Two conveyors. And a hopper. Excellent! Cool. Cool. Cool, cool. Let's continue. Back up here. Make things pretty. I like making things pretty. Pretty awesome. <laughs> You're pretty. Aw. Pretty awesome. Aw. As opposed to saying pretty, pretty ugly. <laughs> nah, I can't tell if anybody's ugly. I can't see anybody. All I see is myself. I'm not ugly. At least I don't think I am. It's positivity. It's body positivity. We're being positive about the way that we look. And I think I look great today. I am wearing plaid pants, a shirt that says, bitch, I'm fabulous, and I'm wearing a Santa hat. I considered wearing plaid on plaid today, but I did not. I did not. Oh my god, I need more, need more bricks. <gasps> I need more bricks. I need more bricks. I gotta get more bricks. I had no idea I was running all the bricks. I thought 64 bricks would be enough. A whole stack of bricks? Not enough? Blast with me. Give me more bricks. Stone. Give me, give me, give me. Apparently, I needed more. That's fine. That's all fine and dandy. I'll put this back over here. And make some more, I guess. As many as we possibly could need. There we go. There's, there's plenty now. 
There's no way that I could run a, out of white bricks now. It would be impossible. Which is a lie. Although this time around, I will not. I will not run out. Perfect. What else do we have on the walls? It seems that I'm also decorating the, mall, the walls with marble. Marble and more bricks. Well, I need to conserve the amount of bricks that I have. So I think I'm just going to change. I'm going to change up the way that it looks on this side. I'll put these back away. Put the stone bricks away. I have marble. Give me some more marble. Marblies. I got marble. That's that's easy. I think I'll just I'll change up what the marble looks like. Also, I need torches. Can I get more torches? Do I have more torches in here? I don't have more torches. Do I have more torches in hammer space? I don't. How am I this low on torches? Well, I shouldn't be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the charcoal chamber. The charcoal chamber. I don't think I've ever called it that before. The alliteration is perfect. The charcoal chamber. And grab charcoal. There's over 5,000 stacks of them. I think I can take one. Make that with a... Make a few torches. Make a few, few tons of torches. And then just put the charcoal back. Thanks. Thanks for the charcoal. I'll put some of those in hammer space. And now I'm happy again. I mean, I was never... I'm never in a state of not happy, but... Who hissed at me? Oh, you hissed at me. Don't be hissing at people. That's not kind. Yeah, that's not cool, dude. Don't hiss at people. Oh, you're guarding. Stop guarding. There, you're dead now. That's what you get for hissing at people. Naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty, not very nice. Well, now that I got marble. Oh, I need to go back to the place that I'm actually decorating. Oh, but wait, the box might be done. The box! The box! How's the box doing? The box is completed! Now I need a valve. I need a ring on the side and two pumps. And then I need the control box. And that'll be it. And then the farm will be ready. Well, the farm won't be ready. I still need the soldering iron to install the circuits. Um, and I also need... Soldering iron to install the circuits. Oh my god, I'm blanking. Oh, and I also need more bricks for the base. There we go. So let's see what this marble would usually look like. Usually I've got this large dent in it. But it can also look like having some moss and stuff like that. I feel like a moss aesthetic would look nice over here because must be marble cobblestone. Yeah, I think moss will look nice over here because it's a it's a it's a peat area. It's a peat area where like dirt is be literally we're growing dirt above. So would it be that crazy for there to be like little bits of um little bits of this stuff in the wall? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. You have brick over here, and I don't really like that aesthetic. I think I'm going to move these bricks out of the way, and I'm going to replace them with just the marble. Just so it looks pristine on both sides. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. Un, deux, trois, quatre. I do not speak French, but I do know how to count, at the very least. Put those up on the columns. I'll do a little bit of cosmetic work up on the dirt, too. I'll make it look nice. Make it look real pretty. These are the columns on the side. Do, 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 do. I guess a Enderman came by to drop off some more dirt for me. That's exactly what I needed. Thank you so much for reading my mind. Cool. Let's just, like... Let's make it... I, I don't know. We're gonna make it look like something. Pseudo, pseudo random style. Look like that. I'll come on down and maybe snake around this way to the wall, and then maybe push it up from this way. I don't know. It's freeform. It's whatever we want it to be. There we go. And then I'll turn the rest of them into the regular marble bricks so that it looks um, a little cool. Maybe a couple of cracked ones? Yeah, I'll do a couple of cracked ones. And these ones. A little bit of combinations. I like that. Cool. Cracked around. We'll do a cracked around where the the green stuff is, for the most part, or some of it, and we'll fill in the gaps elsewhere. I like that. That's pretty cool. It's got a little bit of a randomness to it, and I'm okay with that. It's asymmetric, and some people are really not into asymmetry. Usually, I'm not into asymmetry, but I I can get behind this. I'm into it. Honestly, it's not like I'm going to... I mean, there is a potential future where I sit here and stare at the wall and be like, Wow, 
This is incredibly unsatisfying. But that's not today. That'll be another day. The day that I sit at this and say, wow, this is incredibly unsatisfying, is the day... is the day that I fix it, probably. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And it currently ain't not... it's not so broke right now. It's not broke. I'm not broke. I got paid yesterday. I'm so happy. It's a Christmas kind of week. I like payday. We're all very happy about payday when it occurs. So now that I've got that, uh, I have the one more... I have one more block to do. I'm not going to put a door in between those two little layers. They're, actually, this should be this should be more open. This doesn't need to be like a little passageway there. I think openness will be totally fine there. And uh, can I put the white frequency on the... Uh, I need that white frequency back. Whoops. Uh... That's fine. Actually, I could put some... Oh, I can use carpenter's blocks to make this look really cool. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go grab carpenter's blocks. And then set off the next recipe. I think it'll look good. I think it'll look great. I think it'll look really good. All right, and the last thing is... The... Motor. The two circuits and the tin cable to create the next one. The farm. The farm control block. Perfection. Oh, and I just realized I have some of these other bricks as well. I'll go grab the other bricks that I have. All the bricks. All the bricks that I could possibly ask for. Break. 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 So long as it's divisible by four. That's divisible by four, and so is that. All the bricks. I don't remember the exact number of bricks that I need. I know it's more than I currently have. That's for sure. So I'll have to go, I'll have to go brick shopping. Put my marble away. Um, this marble... Oh, no, 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 I, I didn't need the marble just yet. I wanted carpenter. Carpenter's blocks. Carpenter's stairs. Cool, can I get, like, a carpenter slab? Is that a thing? Can I make a carpenter slab? I need the brush anymore. Paintbrush. Slab? Carpenter slab? Slab? Slab, slab, carpenter slab? Anything? Maybe. Does not appear to be so. Carpent. Whoops, I did not spell that correctly. I thought maybe. I thought that maybe there'd be like a carpenter slab or something like that. Or a way to make it so that it's only half a block. I think it'll be fine. Th this will be okay. And I think this will be enough marble. Oh, and I need the white colored uh white colored bricks. White. White. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Or that, that's the wrong song anyway. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. That's what's supposed to be. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. I'm not dreaming of a white Christmas, honestly. It's okay if there's no snow outside for Christmas. There's currently no snow in Philadelphia, but my parents live in New Jersey, so... Eh, alas, we'll see. So now what I want to do is I want to put a little upside-down stairs here and there if at all possible. And I'll put another little thing here so it looks cool. I like the way this looks. Oh, not like that. Not like this! Like that! Yeah, like that. I can put the marble on the edges like that. It doesn't blend super well, but eh, I think this looks more presentable. And then I put the white frequency blocks on the floor. Now it's a little more open. Much more inviting. And I just realized I don't like the fact that the... Eh, it's fine. I, I'm over it. I was gonna say, I don't like how these columns look like they stop here. I want to look them look like they're going into the ground, but hey, eh, not too worried about that right now. Okay. Cosmetically, this looks great. There will be dirt above, which I believe I have... I'll go collect some dirt from the storage system to set things up. And I need the soldering iron, so I will do the soldering iron in just a, mo just a moment. And then I'll be totally prepared. Totally prepared for what's to come. Marble there. Grab. Soldering iron. How do soldering iron? Three pieces of iron and a piece of bronze. Mixed with a bucket of water. So cool. Iron. One, two, three. Bronze. One. And I have a bucket with which to go grab water. 
I only need one. Only one thing of water. So let's go to the closest water source. Originally, this mod pack had infinite water turned off, but I found that just to be the most annoying thing, and I didn't see the point of it, so I turned infinite water back on. Because that I found very annoying. And I, I think the reason behind it is this, this is supposed to be like a really hard mode thing. This is really supposed to be like a hard mode uh, mod pack. But like, I don't know. The fact, the fact that aesthetically, that made things very annoying if I wanted to like clean up like water. Like, like clean up water or like a pond or something like that. I was like, ugh, this is so, ugh, ugh, not a fan. So I, I, I changed it. Okay, got the farm control back. Got all the blocks I need. And now I just need the soldering iron. So, uh, one, two, three. And that one. Uh, that, that's all I need, right? Just some water? I think that's all I needed, right? That's how I make the soldering? Oh, there we go. There we go. The recipe needed to be satisfied before it would actually make it, so... And I got the soldering iron, and I think, I don't remember whether I need, like, material for it or not, but I had the soldering iron, got the valves and the blocks, awesome, awesome, put some stuff back up in hammer space, like the knife, I don't need the knife, the mold, don't, bone meal doesn't need to be here, bone meal, oh, not close enough to it, bone meal, meal of bone, thank you, meal of bone, and that last one, the farm blocks, farm hatch, can I scan these things? I don't believe so. Nah, they're not scannable. But that's fine. Soldering iron might be. Nah. I think... I've never actually used one of these things before. Well, I mean, I've used a soldering iron before. IRL. But not this guy. Not this soldering iron. It has a thing. So I think the way that this works is... I put the circuit into here. And I add the tubes. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want that. Machine upgrade? Managed farm. There we go. I want peat bogs. Now I have a peat bog. Now I have a circuit that's programmed for a peat bog on all sides. These farms can have like four different plots associated with them. And all I need is one for peat. That's all I need. That All I need is just for peat. For peat's sake, that's all I need. So now we'll build it like that. So I believe it calls for... Um, first layer of things on the bottom. I'll probably... I'll probably... Um, I'll build it just like I did here. And that'll be that'll be the simplest way about going out about doing it. Let's I'll build up from the middle. Let's see. One, one, two, three. One, two, three. This will be the middle block. The control block will go on the bottom. I'll just build it the same way that I built up the other one. I think that'll be just fine. I'll put the gearbox, which calls for power, on the side, right here. I think I'll do the hatch. I'll, I'll mirror it so that everything can kind of go to a similar place. That'll go over there, and the valve will go over, over here. And I just use the rest of the farm blocks for the rest of them. And I think that will be satisfactory. Boop, doo -doo 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 -doo. And then I actually need to put all the, the bricks in place, like the actual bricks, which I have yet to do, because I need the bricks. And now I just got to put the bricks down. I don't remember how many bricks I need, but I do three out from the side. Not that one. This one. One, two, three. Put myself on hover mode so I can kind of fiddle around a little bit. Oh, yo, it totally worked. Sweet. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yo, what's going on, Astro? We're playing some Minecraft today on this beautiful Friday. I didn't have work today, and it's because it's Christmas Eve, so I figured I figured it would be it would be a day to just uh oh, just to chill. I haven't had I'll admit, I have not had a very chill laid back stream in a while. And I think I needed that because, like, the thank Miss stream that happened—that was that was that was all that was awesome. But it got me tired. It got me like really, really tired. That, that took a lot out of me. Um, and usually the things that happen on what usually the Wednesday night ones. Well, I, I mean, I work all day, so 
the I come home and that's kind of what I do. That's kind of what I do. But it's still like really, really tiring. And I get I get tired. And I gotta get to bed by a certain time. I was in bed by my normal time last night because the I started at like 8:30 ish, and that's kind of the time that I get up for my meetings anyway. Okay, I need I need four more pieces of brick. That's all I need, right? I just need four more pieces of brick. No, no, no. I need more pieces of brick, right? I have the three and the three. I have... Is this really the way I set this up? I need to reorient myself. I have the block, the block there. And then I have three that way. And that one. And the other ones. Oh, oh, oh. That's all... Okay, okay. Two. One, two, three. I need three times four. I need 12 more. I need 12 more bricks. 12 more brick blocks. So I'm gonna go find some brick. Oh, Astro just woke up. And you've got updates. Oh, please, do share. What's going on in the life of Astro right now? I hope it's I hope it's well. I hope uh, everything's okay. I think last, last time you mentioned your grandfather. I hope he's doing okay. My grandfather is kind of losing it. But, uh, from uh, dementia and stuff like that. But he's doing well. I believe, I, I hope to see him during the holiday. I, I might not, but it's okay. It's okay. We all we all have our times. We go in the meantime. Dig some clay. Cause I need bricks. I need I need more bricks in my life. More bricks than I mean. Can I? I'm just kidding. I don't need bricks. There is there is definitely there is nothing that I could use bricks for in actuality right now. But if I were sent bricks some way or another, I'd find a use for them. I'll find a use for bricks. Like if I get bricks in the mail tomorrow, I will find a use for them. I'm a very resourceful person. Or at least I consider myself to be. I can usually find what to do for that. For example, the the stands that I have for all my stream equipment is mostly made out of Legos. Mostly. But I guess that's like that's not that's not completely unheard of. Like using Legos to, to build things up like that. But I'm happy for it. Which I do I not carry a shovel on me? I should really carry a shovel on me. Oh my god, a shovel on me. Huh. Excellent. I did not realize I had shovels on me. <laughs> oh my goodness. That makes things completely easy. Wow, this is super incredibly easy now. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, okay. Um, let me dig us some more... Dig some more clay. I really didn't want to dig up the clay over here because I thought it would look kind of... It would look kind of wonky with pieces of the ground missing, but I'll come back with sand eventually and touch things up. I promise. I promise myself I will. I will. I will, I will. Is there any more clay around here? Oh, there's some clay right there. There we go. I think that's probably enough for more bricks. Probably. So let's find out. Jetpack engine coming around. Oh, there's a pumpkin over here. I didn't know there was a pumpkin. Is that a cocoa tree? Wait a minute. Whoa! What is oh! It's a coconut tree! I didn't know I had a coconut tree! Now I know that I have a coconut tree. I will grab those coconuts and utilize them. Give me the cokes. Give me the cokes for the coconuts. Hmm. Coconutty. You can use those for stuff. Ooh. Re decided to finally break things off with you. Oh. But you're not even upset at this point because it just shows I was a convenience and not actually wanted by her. I hate the fact... I hate the fact that humans are such in a way, but it was complicated. I'm sure... I, I You know... Ugh. That kind of stinks. So you're back looking for girl number eight. I remember I had a I had a buddy of mine who every single time he was with a girl, he would start counting. And I guess beyond uh, they got beyond a certain number and he stopped counting eventually. But the interesting part is every time there was a new number, he would kind of call me up or text me and be like, hey, number 13. And I was like, oh, you I'm still on number one. Well, technically, number one in one way, number two in another. Details, details, details. Either way, regardless of whether what, what happens and whatnot, you are an awesome dude. You are an awesome person. And it just didn't work out that way. And, you know, I think probably better for things to break off. Because, like, I, I know somebody right now who's currently... Somebody I know right now is not... They're in a relationship... But they've, they've been kind of struggling with a relationship of the past for a while. Like, 
they liked somebody, so they got involved. And they started getting involved in general, and then they broke things off. But, like, I think they still kind of like each other, but the person that they're into is a very, very toxic individual, and so is the entire friend group that they hang with. But that kind of goes back from before, and they were. it's like, I can't not hang out with these people. I have always hanged out with them, and I don't have any other friends. And, like, you could just say, get better friends, but that's that's not very easy to do. So, I mean, if you're in a toxic environment... I'd say get out of there. Whatever you can do, get out of there. I I was in a bit of an toxic environment for a while, so I got out of there. So, and now I'm here. And I'm, a bit, I'm in a better place now than I was before. Aster knows he's an awesome dude. Of course he does. They just kind of have some issues, and you deserved a lot better in the end. Absolutely, absolutely. You're absolutely right there. You deserve whatever makes... Uh, looking out for number one first. And you deserve the absolute best for you. And whatever whatever that means. Whether that means cuddles on the weekends and staving off during the week, or whether that means just somebody to talk your talk, talk things out with. Honestly, one of my favorite parts about my relationship is just the fact that I can talk things out with Anna. If I have something that I need to get off my chest, I go to Anna and I talk to her about it because she's the person that I trust. And I think the one thing, I think the one thing that I always want, like throughout, throughout my life so far, the one thing that I always wanted out of a partner was somebody to, one, just kind of accept who I am. I got, I, I, I'm a little, I, I change up every once in a while. I'm not a very static person. I'm a rather dynamic person. And the, day, the, the way that I act today might not be the same way that I act tomorrow. And I get that that can be a pretty frustrating thing sometimes. So I needed somebody who could deal with that. Anna deals with that pretty well. And the other thing was like, I got a lot to say. And historically, I did not say a lot. But in recent years, I have began to say a lot. And I just needed somebody to be able to just, just kind of listen to what it is. Just, just kind of listen. And I managed to get that too. And I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones. This is not the, the rule. It, it doesn't always work out like this. I, I got lucky on, on girlfriend number two. Or at least that remains to be seen. We've been at it for like seven years now. And hopefully we'll continue. We are engaged after all. That makes sense. It should continue. But weirder things have happened in life. I've heard cases of, I think, I think it might have been somebody in Anna's family who I think they were married. I mean, marriages break off after many, many years. People change after a while. And maybe not even just people change, like relationships change too. It's not necessarily about you or your partner changing, but like the relationship evolves. It becomes something different. And maybe after 20 something years of being happily married, it becomes like a mutual, a mutual break off. I've heard things like that happen. Anything's possible. Things happen all over the world. But anyway, relationships. You deserve better. You most certainly do. You deserve somebody that makes you happy. Unless you're a shitty person. If you're a really bad person, then karma would dictate, at least I think, that maybe everyone deserves happiness, but like, karma, it comes back around. But I don't think you're a shitty person. I have not had- I don't have any reason to believe that you are a bad person. You have given me no inkling of bad person vibes. You're very, very good vibes. Very good vibes here. So I'm into it. Astra had a friend a week before the wedding. Her partner at the time broke things off. Technically, that could still happen to me. Because the wedding hasn't happened yet. Although, I don't think... I don't think I'm going to break things off. And I don't think Anna will either. But I suppose that's usually the mentality that people go into these things with. Although, if you're going to break it off, you might as well break it off right before the wedding. Because some people feel that that is a life-changing decision that cannot be come back from. And you can come back from it, but I've heard that divorce is really expensive. But y'all should just be yourselves. That's the easiest way to go about it. It sounds so cliche, but I feel like the best sort of advice that I would give myself in, in the past is just like, just be who you are. Be who you want to be, Barbie girl. Just be yourself. It's the easiest thing to, it's the easiest thing to do. I feel like the easiest thing to do is to just be true to yourself, unless there's some things going on. In which case, it might be a little harder for some people. In which case, that's understandable. The you who you want to be, your ideal self, may not be the person that you are today. And if that's the case, you're just like everybody else. We're all trying to, I, I feel like for anybody who feels that they're in the perfect spot right now, is either expecting it to become worse or, or it's just, it just doesn't really know what they're talking about. They don't really know what perfect means to them. And I don't know what perfect means to me, so. But I say I'm in a pretty, I'm not in a perfect spot right now. I think I'm a pretty good one. Pretty good one. And so in that state, being that I'm in a good spot right now, I gotta try to make it better for other people. Some people aren't doing so, some people ain't doing so good right now. So if anything I can do in this 
okay spot can benefit other people, then let's do it. Let's make the world a better place. It sounds so simple. It is simple. Simple, simple things. Making the world a better place can be a real, like the entire world a better place? That's a big undertaking. But like making it better little by little, that's good. That's, be that's better. I like that. I like that indeed. And you guess, Astro guesses, you're just fun to talk with, but not to be committed to, so you'll just embrace the hookup life right now and see where it actually takes me. Oh, for sure. Everyone's got, like, whatever your journey winds up being. I know mine wasn't, my, my cards didn't dictate, like, hookup life. And uh, although I and the friends that I surround myself with are usually rather young right now, I have yet to see the hookup life find, like, like, land on the right person but that's just because i haven't really been along long enough to observe such events happening and i'm sure they will i'm sure 20 years from now i'll be like yeah buddies about like uh, people are always going around and trying to find the person they're being with and they finally found the one at least that remains to be seen it's a journey and i think life is a great journey life is an awesome journey and it's really cool that we have the opportunity to to be on this little life journey I know it kind of sounds like I feel. I feel like me saying these things kind of sounds like cool. Yeah, right. Sure, it sounds good from your perspective, but like, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I like things right now. It's good. Asher would rather be committed to someone. I get that. I find I found that the commitment that I have right now is it, it's a very it's a very safe feeling. It's a very it's nice to be in a relationship that is with like with the same person, like monogamy in this case or I guess polygamy if you've got multiple people all at the same thing. It just it feels very secure. It's nice that it's nice personally I like the idea of being able to come home and see Anna. Anna's right there. Or to be able to it's like it's like living in my own place. It's nice to come home and know that it's it's my place. It's secure. It feels safe. And I feel like this point feels very, very safe. And I'm sure other people have their own reasons for it too, but that's that's kind of where that's kind of where I am at. The point where I'm at right now is like I remain in this part, like this portion of my relationship, because I think it feels safe and I like the safety of it all. Because I don't I'm I'm afraid of what would happen. Like I'm, honestly, I'm afraid of what would happen if I was thrown back into the dating world. I don't know what would happen. I like being here. It's a, it's a nice place to be. That's the end goal. That's what you want. That's the end goal. Nice. Nice, nice. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. And we will get there. We will get there. Eventually. I feel like the most frustrating part about that is the whole eventually part. Like, it'll eventually, like, it'll eventually happen. Like, you don't know that it'll eventually happen. But you gotta, have, like, gotta have faith that it'll eventually happen. I mean, I think I think it'll I think it'll happen. I'm like I'm not like a believer in karma, so to speak, but like, if you were a good person, I genuinely think that good things will happen. For, good things will happen for you, cause you're cause if you're a positive person, your positive vibes will attract other positive vibes. With you're a positive person, you'll surround yourself with positive people who will do positive things for you. I think in general, good people get good things that happen with them. If you're a bad person, I hope good things happen to you. But like. You know, if you're if you're a bad person, and I obviously have no means of determining whether you're a bad person or not, but if you do bad things, bad things might happen to you because there are consequences for stuff like that that aren't usually. I mean, good things have consequences too, but usually bad things have bad consequences, and good things have good consequences. But uh, alas, farm time. I put the thing in here, and it's a peat bog. I require water, and I need fertilizer for this to work. Is that it? Normal, arid, hydration required. Manual farms. Apart from managed farms, there are manual farms, which will only... Oh, that's that's a thing. Okay, so I need... Water, I guess. I need water. I also need some dirt. Let me go grab some dirt. Bring it back up here. I also need... I, I need piping systems now. So now I need to actually build up the piping circuitry around the peat bog farm so it functions the way that I want to. So I need circuitry and stuff for that. That's a whole... Another beast. DIRT! Somehow I typed it in all caps. I did not mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> but the end goal is happiness for all of us. And if we can bring happiness to each other, then that that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And hopefully it stays that way. I like my happiness. 
I like the happiness that I have. And the happiness that we can bring to other people as well. It's the holiday season. Let's bring good things to other people. What are we all doing for the holidays? Any good things? I did a charity stream the other, the other week. So that was kind of in the spirit of the holidays. And I felt really, really good about that. I had never done a charity stream like that before. And it was it was a really, really positive feeling. It was, it was really, really cool. And I, I have been thinking to myself like for a while that I really want to do something like this. But I didn't have the opportunity to. It just never came up. And then the opportunity came up. And I was like, yes, finally, I can be a good person, raise money for people. I've never been like, I've done like charity work and stuff like that in the past before, like planting trees and doing soup kitchens and stuff like that. But like, none of that really vibed with me. I was never, I wasn't a very big fan of the soup kitchen. It, it made me, it didn't make me feel very good to be there. Like, helping other people was a good feeling, but there were other aspects of that, like the particular soup kitchen that I was going to, that it was just... It was very uncomfortable, and I didn't very like. I didn't really like it, so I eventually I stopped going. I had to do it for schoolwork anyway, so I was gonna wind up stopping eventually. But if it was a good thing, that I would continue with it. But it never wound up. It never wound up coming to be, because it was just. It just felt weird. Um, I liked planting trees. That was always a good thing. Oh my god, am I missing a? Am I missing some things? I, I think I'm missing bricks. Oh, am I missing bricks? Uh oh, might be missing bricks. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, I'm missing more bricks. I require more bricks. Look at that. I need more bricks. Oh, I just need... Oh, I was apparently missing this little thing here. These are the only bricks that I'm missing. Why am I using this shovel? I should be using this. There we go. That's what I was missing. I need more bricks. I need three more bricks. Can I make three more brick things? No, it seems I need more bricks. I need two more things of bricks. Time to go hunting for clay. Where? Uh, right here. This pond. This pond. Do you have clay? Clay, clay, clay? Clay? You definitely used to have clay, but I took it from you. What about you? Clay? 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 Are you in here somewhere? No. You definitely used to have clay. What about over here on the coasts of the world? Clay? Clay, clay, clay? Clay, clay, clay? I just need, dude, just a little bit of clay. I just need a quick clay, dude. J j j give me my fix, please. I just need, I just need a little bit of clay. Only a little bit. That's all I need. Is that clay? That's sand. Ugh. I fooled myself. I played myself. I fell right into my own trap. Clay? Clay? Are you clay already? Clay? Is it clay in the water? I'll find the clay. <gasps> I got clay. This is my clay. No one else can have it. Although, it, it is this holiday season, so if you need clay... I, I could put it in your stocking or something. I, I I don't need all this clay. I don't need all this clay. I just want all this clay. It's a little obsessive, I know. But, you know, if somebody else needs clay, I suppose they probably need it more than I do. Be charitable, everybody. Or at least try to be. If you have extra clay, if you have extra bricks, and you're not going to really use them for anything, don't eat your bricks. Don't eat your bricks to, don't eat your bricks to who needs them. Don't eat your clay to who needs them. Even if they don't want it, just give it away. Just go up to your neighbor... And put, some, put a mound of clay on their porch. And when they say, where the hell did this come from? You can be like, that came from me. You're welcome. And when they say, take it off. You can be like, no. Oh my god, it, apple seed just came. To, that was interesting. There was an apple sapling that just popped in. That was really interesting. I didn't know I could harvest apple saplings from that. Where did that come from? Huh. That was cool. Anyway, more breaks. Bring the bricks down low. I require more bricks. So I'll put the. Oh, I need the clay. Where the clay at? Clay, 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 clay. Nope, not that one. It's in the other box. Oh my goodness. Put it in there. There we go. It's not illegal to send your neighbor 800 pounds of sand. You're absolutely right. It is totally not illegal. You'll have to pay quite a few shipping, a lot of, a lot of shipping costs. Actually, I guess you could just order a shipment of 800 pounds of sand and just drop it on their thing. Actually, I feel like that's vandalism. Is it vandalism? I feel like that would fall under some public annoyance or public disturbance or like some sort of like vandalism thing. Like destruction of property. Like because you're killing the grass or whatever. I feel like, I feel like the act of sending 800 pounds of sand to your neighbor is not illegal, but... 
the consequences of doing so, that surra- like the circumstances surrounding it, might be illegal. Maybe. Possibly. And if it is, if there are any lawyers out there, please tell me how it could possibly be illegal for me to send 800 pounds of sand to my neighbor. Wait, actually, let's just Google it because we have the power of the internet in front of us. Is it illegal to mail 800 pounds of sand to your neighbor? Maybe the numbers aren't specific, but I'm very curious now. Um, answers to your question about wells and feeling, what should I do if my neighbor dumps sand in front of my house? It's missing 800 pounds, but what can you do? According to Quara, Quara says, Sounds like my neighbor who is remodeling her home in front of my house is a public sidewalk and on the other side of the sidewalk is a public street and the public street by her her house and mine is a large pile of sand and other buildings and flies. I have multiple options. I could be whiny and ind- indignant and demand that she move it. I could insist that she pay rent for the inconvenience. You could sneak out in the middle of the night with a bucket and steal the sand or you could look forward to the next day when you're going to remodel your own house and plan to place a dumpster for construction debris in the exact same spot. Uh, where's the answer? Is, is that the answer? Oh, that's one of the answers. Well, there's nothing illegal about that. What about, use it to build concrete? Call the county or city depending on your jurisdiction, or you can ask him to move the sand or go to, go to the company and tell them to move it. If your brain isn't working, then I guess you fall in that group. Or put it in front of the wrong delivery address. You're up shit creek with a paddle. Oh, sad. What should you do if neighbor dumps sand for to determine why if it's an accident? I think the answer is to contact your local jurisdiction and ask them the potential ifs. I'm sure calling up your local police precinct and asking what do I do in this scenario wouldn't be too unwelcome. I don't think they would really want to entertain stuff like that, but it's for public knowledge. We need to know. The public needs to know. What if I get 800 pounds of sand dumped on my lawn? I need to know what my recourse is for this. Lest I fall victim to it. Oh, I needed to th- oh, no, never mind. I was gonna say, I need three pieces of brick, but I already have one piece of brick. There we go. One, two, three. Now it's all even, right? It is perfect. It is perfect. Okie dokie, artichokey. Put the dirt back in. And now I need to actually turn this thing on. It needs more hydration. So, soil goes into the left side, seeds in the right. I don't think I have any soil necessary. Do we need soil in here? How does a peat bog work? I don't know yet. I'm going to pump water into it and see what happens. So the thing that I need here is I require... I have a reservoir... I have a reservoir over here. Oh, it's very dark. I need to put torches in the walls. It's very dark. It's super dark in here. I will put indents in the wall later. Actually, I'll do that right now. Here we go. Take you off the wall. Put you behind. Uh, is that going in my backpack? Oh, man. In my backpack. Ugh. Ugh. Stone. I'll put the um. I'll put these ones on these uh, on the inner walls. Okay. It is pitch black. I might be eaten by something. You're right. Let's put a torch here. I very well might be consumed right now, eaten whole before your very eyes. I don't think there's a category for vor on Twitch. Not that there needs to be. But there could be. And that might be good for some. But I don't know, know if I'm interested in that. I don't need I don't need that. I don't think I, my dimension... I don't think the timeline that I'm living in right now would benefit from a Vore category on Twitch. Although, some people need their place. And who are, who are we to take it away from them? Or to tell them that they can't have it? So now that this is all lit up, oh, I can put some brick structures here. I'll, I'll worry about that other fill in there eventually. But first off, I need... I can make another reservoir. But I don't, I don't think that's necessary. I don't think I need another reservoir. I'd rather just take the reservoir that already exists and pump water over here. So I think what I'll do is... This is the valve. This is where the water comes in, right? This is where the water comes in? Yes. So I think what I'll do is I will dig into the ground over here... Okay, let's go here. Let's go right down here. And I'll have a little under under area that pumps in water from over here. So I think currently... Can I get into this little area over here? This little, this little under area? I can, I can. So I'm going to dig underneath. 
going to try to get in here for some maintenance. The maintenance tunnels. And see what to do about that. So do I see water? I see a reservoir here. The reservoir is right here. So I'd rather pump out from the reservoir here. Oh, yeah, tetrahedrite? Sweet. I can get copper from that. Oh, my God, there's a copper deposit under here. That is awesome. I did not know that at all. Let's try to find where I put that opening. Hello. I know I just put a hole in the ground. So where is it? Where are you? Hole in the ground. Where are you? Maintenance tunnels. Uh, well, I guess if this is here, that's there. I bet if I dig this way, I will find it. Right? Maybe. Is there a hole in the ceiling yet? Oh, an iron tank wall. That's cool. There's no thing there. Oh, there you are. Found it. Oh, my goodness. As you talk about that, you were scrolling through Tinder. Ah, nice. I have some friends who use Tinder. I think I think I have friends who use Tinder, friends who use Bumble, and I think there's another one, but I don't know. I was thinking Grinder too, but I don't think I know anybody personally that uses Grinder. Although I do have people who swing that way, but I don't know if they use dating apps. That's the thing that I'm unsure about. But I definitely know people who use Bumble and Tinder. And in, and in one and once upon a time, I used Tinder too to find friends. But then it was awkward when I matched up with one of my classmates. So I was like, mm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not, I'm gonna not do this anymore. This is not not cool no more. I'm not feeling cool with this anymore. Astro downloaded Bumble, but you don't have swipes left for it. But you don't have swipes left for it right now. Do you need to like buy swipes for it? Can you only swipe left on a certain number of people? I don't know how that works. I think, what is it? On Bumble, I think they have to reach out to you first. If I'm correct in saying. And on Tinder, I think it's just you you mutual match and then you get through. Oh. Women decide on Bumble. That makes sense. Thank you, Disney Queen. Thank you, dearest. Have you used Bumble? Do you know of the Bumble? Are you using Bumble without telling me? I don't have a Bumble account, so you won't find me. Just saying. No, you don't. I was just talking about how you would totally not walk out with, on me on our wedding day, but I was, I was worried for a moment there. There was a potential future that I envisioned. Ooh, scary, scary, scary. You know, well, I got some, I got some stuff over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mine it up for the ore deposit thing. Some of the good stuff, yeah. like spudamine and lapidolite. I like that stuff, and I'll clean it up later. Yeah, so you have to match first, and then you have to set an amount of... Have a set amount of people to say yes or no to. Interesting. I guess that, like, I guess that prevents people who just, like, swipe left on life, so to speak. And swipe left on literally everything. Or is it swipe left on life or swipe right, right on li life? Depending on how I say that depends on how positive that sounds. Uh, whatever's the good direction. Swipe that direction on life. Yeah. I need pipes. I gotta go up and grab some pipes. Peepus. Peepus room. <laughs> right means you want them, left is you don't. Swipe right on life. I just motioned to the left. Swipe right on life. Right. Life. Life. I love you. Life. Positivity. Life. You're good. Boss says, do you want a promotion? Swipe right. Do that. Boss says, you suck. Swipe right. Get another job. Girlfriend says, you stink. Swipe right. You don't need her. I think that's the mentality. That that feels right to me. Something about that. It feels off, but it feels right. All right, I need pipes. Do I have any waterproof pipes? I have a wooden fluid extraction pipe. That's perfect. I would like one of those. Do I have any other wooden uh, fluid pipes? I would need... Uh... Okay, I have cactus green. I need cactus green to create the pipe sealant. Cactus green has a color. Pipe sealant has a color. And I apparently don't have any pipe sealant. Pipe sealant. I don't have pipe sealant. To create more pipe sealant, I'm going to need more cactus green. Right? That's the only way to make it? Oh, and beeswax. Do I have beeswax? I might have beeswax. Bees. I have beeswax back at the homestead. I'm going to go grab it. Right means you want the left, you don't. But you need swipes in order to find the girl who's willing to put your, put your children on her chest. What an interesting way to put it. 
What a lovely way to put it. I'm imagining a small child. Twins, actually. Congratulations, Astro. You have a boy and a girl. And they're both sitting upon the woman's chest. And she is like, I'm so happy to be here. And you're like, I am happy to be here too. That's the innocent scenario I'm imagining. And definitely the only one that I'm going to envision right now. What a pleasant image. How wholesome. Although I know that there are other interpretations of that. I want a girl, let me put children on our ch- No, just- mm, 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 mm. It feels weird. No, swipe left on that. Swipe, swipe, left. Left. Left! The camera's reversed! I'm getting confused. Swipe left on that. Uh, Cam, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just gotta stop while I'm behind. Actually, that sounds worse even for- That sounds bad even for another reason. No! Wait, okay, okay. I don't want children on my chest at all. At all. No children. No types of children. I don't care how old they are. I don't care how young they are. I don't care what state of matter they're in. No children. Not on my chest. Until I have children of my own one day. And they are mine. And then I will be like, Good baby Eloise. Good baby Andrea. Good babies. Oh, my two my two twin girls. I'm patting them both. I, I, I they're, they're falling now. They have now fallen. I've dropped my children. I learned the other day that you should never shake babies. I mean, I feel like it's obvious, but apparently, what I've been told is after you have a child, in the in the area that you wait while they check off the list of whatever baby stuff happens, they will give you a lecture on how not to shake your child. Do not shake your child. No matter what you do, do not shake your child. And here's the reason why, if you really needed a reason not to. Apparently, the consistency of a baby's brain is kind of like tissue paper. If you've ever taken your hand, which is wet, and push it against tissue paper, it'll kind of fall to pieces. Apparently, when a brain hemorrhages, meaning it bleeds, especially a baby's brain, which has the consistency of tissue paper, it will literally start falling apart. The brain matter will begin to degrade, and your baby will have severe developmental issues. That's why you shouldn't shake your baby. I mean, to my knowledge, the brain just kind of like floats in there anyway, so... The idea that the, if you shake your baby, that brain is going to like, whack around a little bit and get a little bruised. And we don't want little bruised baby brains. No bruised baby brains, please. Not my babies. Not anyone's babies. For now and forever, amen. No babies. No, no de developmentally bad babies because of shaking. Astro looks forward to having kids one day and being able to see how things go and see how strong your genetics actually are. Because you, you want to see if your future kid will be tall or short. According to probabilities theory, your children will always be toward the medium. So if your family is on the tall side, they will inch towards being on the smaller side because we're all trying to come to some sort of equilibrium, which I'm sure we will never reach. Unless we do, in which case, cool. Awesome. But that's what I'm told. I'm sure it's basically random chance anyway. I don't think my children will have very good genetics, not in the height category. I am more than positive that they will be short just like me. And if they're not, actually, I hope that my children are taller than me one day. They deserve it, probably. I'm assuming my children will be good people. And if they're not, then I think I'll just cross that bridge when I come to it. I'm not sure if I'm ready to cope with that right now. Where's all my pipe sealant? I thought I had pipe sealant. Astra's 6'2", and I am 5'6". You are, you are taller than I am, sir. You are almost a foot taller than I am. You sound like, I think... My buddy Lycos is like 6'4", I think? 6'5", maybe? I don't know, he's pretty tall too. Do I not have any pipe sealant in here? I thought I had pipe sealant. Oh. I thought I had pipe sealant in here. I was wrong. Alright then, I need to get some cactuses. I'm gonna go to the desert and get cactuses. And then smush them up. Make them good. Actually, do I have any plant in the plants chest? Plants? Cactus? 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 No. Oh. Cact us, cact on. Cact us, cact you, cact everything. All right, Stuart, come forth. <laughs> We're going to the desert. Actually, where's the... Nah, I never... I'm gonna go to the closest desert. It's probably the better the better desert. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. I need to remember how to turn hover mode off. How do I turn hover mode off? Was it M? No. How do I turn hover mode off? God. Hover mode engine. Hover disabled. Um, maybe it was... 
Jetpack engine off. It's the tilde button. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Stuart! We ride to the desert. I don't know why that riff popped into my head when thinking of the desert. I feel like the desert seems like a place to play a guitar and a sitar. Stringed instruments feel very desert-like to me. That's what I vibe with. Aster was a tall person. You gotta look for a thing for what... And look, you got a thing for wanting to find someone to hook up with that's taller than you. And you're straight, so finding a girl who's taller than you is very difficult. Yeah. I guess, statistically speaking, women are smaller than men. That's from what I've found. But then again, I am man, and I have found many women who are taller than I am. For for any for any number of reasons. No, no, no. Um. Um. No, stop. Stop. Stuart, stop. Stop that. Stuart, stop that. Don't, don't do this to yourself. Don't do this. Oh, apparently I can... Oh, that was interesting. I always imagined falling in love with a girl who was taller than me. And for a while, I felt very insecure about it. But now I'm like... Eh, what does it matter? Every once in a while, Anna and I compare our measurements. And some... Honestly, depending on what shoes she's wearing, she's taller than me. I don't mind it. It's not an issue to me. It's a non-issue for me. I wouldn't say that I'm into it, per se. Like... Just because you're taller than me wouldn't mean I would automatically find you more or less attractive, but... But, like, if you want to... Hey, if your body's taller than me, that doesn't make you any less an option of a suitor. Ugh. Stuart tried to unlive via cactus. Yeah, it's a it's a process. Stuart's not cool with that. Oh, You've never found a woman who is taller than you? Oh, interesting. You're a little jealous there. Well, then. I suppose if you were in my shoes, you might want your tallness back. I don't care about tallness, really. I'm, I'm fully happy with the fact that I am a rather short person. I've just kind of come to terms with that. I don't think that I would ever be that tall one day. But, you know. Anna says I'm cute because I'm fun-sized. Something about that doesn't feel right. I don't think I'm fun-sized. I'm fun, and I am of a small stature, but I don't think I'm fun-sized. Maybe I'm family size. Well, I guess family sizes are bigger than usual. And fun sizes are smaller than usual. Yeah, you know what? I am fun sized. Let's lean into it. I am a fun sized bundle of joy. I'm one just big, one big freaking ray of sunshine, aren't I? Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So does the desert run out of cactuses? Yeah, I really shouldn't destroy all of the cactuses in the desert, or else I will be very sad. There is one cactus left. There are two cactuses left. I'm gonna keep these cactuses. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna plant these cactus. I'm gonna plant some cactuses. It'll be good. You are small for a male. Thus, I am fun-sized. Yes, I am! fun size. I'm a rather fun-sized individual. I like being fun-sized. I like being fun-sized. It means I get to do fun things, because I'm fun-sized. That's what fun means, right? Obviously, when you're short, everything's fun, right? Nothing can ever be not fun for you. That's how being short works. We never suffer. Ever. Except when we do, because we're also human. Despite the fact that we're short, we are also human. Always and forever. Oh, there's some more cactuses over here. I'm gonna destroy these cactuses. Give me that. Give me the cactus. And then I'll go back to... Uh, I'll find a nice little plot of land over here. I'll plant some cactuses over here. So that when I come back... I'll plant six cactuses so that I have more for when I come back. Because I will most definitely not have a reliable way to grow cactuses. Actually, wait. There definitely is a reliable way to grow cactuses. And come to think of it, I think it's on Christina's farm. Why didn't I just do that? Stuart, come back to me. I need your strength. I require your strength, Stuart! Fly to the little village a while ago. I didn't actually build this, like, like I, I didn't build this fairly. I put myself in a creative mode one time and just built this little thing over here because I knew I would never use the island. And I put a couple of villagers over here. It's cute. It's a cute little village. Village. I'm cool with that. I like little villages. Did I have any care? I couldn't. Ah, yes. Look, 
See the cactuses. We are going to harvest these. And then do what? I don't know. Probably die. Eventually. Everybody dies eventually. But not everybody dies alone. And I think that's a good thing. Backup is done. Technically, technically I'm not supposed to be... Fun size clip, Anna. I accept this. I accept this premise. Apparently, I'm not supposed to take backups on this server. It's against the rules or something, but... Hmm. Hmm. I'll just delete them every once in a while. I usually pull down the backups and only keep the most recent ones, so... I didn't tell anybody. You know, recently, I actually was able to upgrade the server a little bit. I have... I paid for two servers. Compliments of my pals at Spark Toast. A good co Spark Toast. A good company for your servers. Hosting family fun since the year... Whatever year they opened. Because I don't know off the top of my head. Hi, guys! But in any case, I upgraded it. So I had I had two servers that I was paying for. One was the mo one was on the latest version that I used for some of my pals back at uh, back at home. But we really haven't played Minecraft in a while, so I was like, you know, I'm gonna put my big beef in Minecraft, my big beef in mod pack server on it, because honestly, I think I get more use out of it that way. So we've upgraded. We're on premium hardware, and we're on six gigabytes of RAM instead of four, which has made a considerable it's made a considerable difference. I can generate parts of the world at a much fat. I can load the world a lot faster. And, um, for some reason, when I open up my virtual inventory space, it doesn't like it. But it likes it now, and that's good. I like that. Do I automatically smelt cactuses? I don't know if I do or do not. We shall see. We shall see. Astro just likes people who are willing to hook up and have fun. And then when we're done, we watch some nerdy movie like Lord of the Rings or, you know, something. Something else. Yeah, I get that. I love some of my favorite moments that I've had with my... Oh, my hunger bar is glitched out. Hold on. I need to... I need to get on top of Stuart. For some reason, there's a glitch that I found. If you if you dash around, if you get on and off your mount, sometimes your um, your hunger bar will start decreasing, decreasing rapidly. And so you have to get back on and get back off again. It was really weird. Um, but yeah, I totally get that. Some of the funnest times... The, some of the funnest moments that I've had with my fiancé is just times where... We're just hanging out, regardless of what state or state that we're in, and we're just like watching anime and like just enjoying each other's company. Like I really, really value those times, and they are some of the fun. Th th those are some of the happiest times that I, th some of the happiest times that I have, and I love that. It's that whole wholesome aspect of it. Just like I feel like that kind of goes into, I feel like that kind of goes back into just find it like you know, find somebody who will accept you for who you are. If what you do is watch anime because anime is great. Or nerdy movies. Anime and nerdy movies are wonderful, and so are other forms of media as well, like like other cinematography stuff and whatnot. But like, that stuff is good, and it feels good, and should feel good. And I hope, I hope to goodness that everybody's partners out there are good to them. Good, good. Especially Disney Queen. I hope Disney Queen's partner is a very good person, treats her well. And if. And if that person doesn't, I'll kick him. I'll punch him in the face. So if I'm ever a bad person, I will punch myself in the face. That's what the statement was. I am Dosny Kwan's partner. Desmi. So I'm working on some cactus green right now. And then I'll get some pipe sealant. Uh, for the pipe. The, the peepus. <laughs> peepus room. Cactus green. Peepus room. But in the meantime, I'm going to need some other logic pipes and whatnot so I can actually finagle things happening. So I have storage for... I have storage for... Fer I have fertilizer, and I also have water storage. I think all I need to do is route fertilizer to this thing, and I think I should be good. So let's add a couple of gates. Let's let's take these with us. And gates, uh, uh, pulsar gates, basic gates... Let's take those. Let's take some... I'm going to put some of my backpacks away in hammer space so I don't worry about those right now. Um, I also have some stuff to throw into the system. Like this sugar cane and the dirt. Um, I don't need this soldering iron anymore. I'll put it over here. Oh, that was the wrong way to go. I'm going to go this way. This way, this way, this way. This way, this way, this way. Uh, there we go. And now I also have this colored brick. I don't need that right now. I don't need colored bricks right now. Put that back. 
I need more pipes though. More pipas. Let's go pipes. Let's go with... I'll need... I think I'll need one of these. I might actually need a diamond pipe so I can... Or actually, no, no, no. I need iron pipes. I definitely need iron transport pipes. I will definitely need those depending on who's got it. I'll need pipe wire as well. Let's get a bit of that. Um, let's get some cobblestone transport pipes. They're the most available. Um, I think that'll be good. And let's get some structural support pipes too. I think that, that might be necessary. Did we do a cactus? Cactus green? Cactus green. Pipe sealant. Yeet. Now I got plenty of that. So now let's go back and continue working on the farm. Continue working on the peat farm. The peat bog. The bog of peat. For Pete's sake is a joke that I wanted to use in the title of this one, but I, I I decided not to right now because I feel like that wouldn't be the new thing. Actually, I'm going to. For Pete's sake. <laughs> I think that's funny. I think it's funny. Mindful. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Let's change things up a bit. We're going to change from body positivity to mindfulness because that's what it's all about. It's all about being mindful. Mindful and happy. Happy is good. I want to be happy. I do want to be happy. I want to be a happy person. And I think I'm, I'm I think I'm pretty happy right now. This is a good thing. All right, so now let's attach a wooden fluid pipe over here and just kind of route, route, some, route some pipes. I will need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, can I just go this way? 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Let's go with 16 of them. And we'll put some pipe sealant in there. Cobblestone fluid pipe. So let's go from here and work our way downwards. And across. And that'll bring water up to where water is needed. So... I can put an Artartic gate over here that will continuously pump, no matter what happens. Nope, no condition. Just redstone signal off. Pulsar. Oh, no, no, no. Energy pulsar. Just keep pumping water. Just keep on a pumping. Keep on a pumping water. Keep on pumping water. Keep on. I miscounted. Now I have to. Here comes the water. So I don't exactly know how much hydration this thing needs. Uh, it says 388% hydration required. We'll get there eventually. I don't know if I need anything else aside from uh, like fertilizer for this thing. And fertilizer currently happens like that. So I guess I will... I am going to need fertilizer. I, I will need a diamond pipe. So I'm going to have to get one of those. But another thing that I need is I want to determine whether this fertilizer should go to this one or the other one and so i'll need some control system in there to determine that that or i have another uh, another bin for fertilizer but i don't think i need that maybe maybe we'll see we'll see i i might just i might just do that now mm, i'm deciding what i can have is this one says no fertilizer so it gives a pipe signal this is a Currently, it does have fertilizer, so that's good. That's good. Um, trying to think. Oh, another thing is, too, I'll need more diamond pipes so I can sort out the barrels. You know, I'm going to go down and grab some diamond pipes. I'm going to go make some diamond pipes. I'll do that. And then I'll work on things. I'll continue working on things. I don't need all this other stuff anymore. Pipe. Dime. I cannot type anything. My goodness. Diamond pipe. Peepus. Diamond transport pipe. I will need three of them, so I might as well make two. So let's make some diamond rods. Diamond rods. Can I extrude that? I can lathe it. I have to lathe it. So I will lathe it. I will take six diamonds, and I will lathe them. Excellent. And I'm pretty sure I have a... I might have an advanced lathe somewhere. I think I do somewhere. Lathe? I think that's downstairs, actually. So let me go grab six, di six diamonds, then I'll go do that. Diamond. I have a lot of diamonds. I'm not worried about that. Diamonds are not the material that I, I don't have in 
heavy supply. But then again, diamonds are rare, but I also don't use them very often. Right now. I'm sure there will come a day where I will need it. I'm sure there will come a day that I need that. I think the lathe is over here. Advanced lathe too? Yes. Are you plugged in? I don't know if you're plugged in. Are you plugged in? Maybe. Let's see what happens when I plug you in. Sweet. No, you have no energy. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this over here. And I'll let that go. How much energy does this take? I just want to make sure I'll actually have all the things when I get back. It requires 61440. It's on a higher voltage level. So it might use up this entire battery here, but that's that's no problem. That's, that's okay. I'll wait on that. I'll come back for that. And then I need... I'll need glass. I'll need a single piece of glass. So that's not that's not difficult. I'll need to think about the logic though. So essentially what I need is it'll work. Um It'll basically work just like my um just like my charcoal system does, where there's a single bus there's a single bus, and that bus has a control signal on it. And that control signal will say somebody on this bus needs fertilizer. And then as the fertilizer moves through There'll be um, other pipes, other routing pipes that turn on or off depending on whether this is the one that needs the fertilizer or if the next one needs, is the one that needs the fertilizer. So, and then I'll have to have I'll have a, have a route for it to travel backwards. So I'll need some I'll need some iron. I'll need a couple of iron stuff there. So I think I'll make more iron rods, more iron transport pipes is necessary. I think actually I might just only need this one. I'll need one, two. Yeah, I'll need one for that direction. Actually, I think I only need the one. We'll see. We'll see. We'll get there. It'll be. It'll be great. It'll be perfect. You're, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love this. So I'll kind of. I'll wait for that diamond stuff to go, and in the meantime, I'll set up the rest of the controls. Uh, the little control logic. Logic through pipes. It's all binaries. I like that stuff. I like me some binaries. All right, let's go over here. I'm gonna try to make it make it nice and compact too but that might not be i think oh i need pipe stoppers um i gotta go back for pipe stoppers yeah i'm gonna need that i need pipe stoppers i don't currently have pipe stoppers i need pipe stoppers that way i can prevent pipes from connecting to each other and themselves pipe stop oh pipe plugs excuse me completely different item Excuse me. Oh, I didn't need to do it that way. There we go. So now, I will get rid of this quartz transport pipe and replace it with an iron pipe. So now it will go one of two directions. Oh, nope. So if this is the one that needs the fertilizer, it will route in that direction. So let me see if I can put it... Let me see if I can put this right on the back over here, because this is something that won't need to change. So if I can kind of slip it in back here. Perfect. So if this thing needs fertilizer, if this has no fertilizer, you're going to point in which direction? You're going to point to the west. Oh, come on. Hover mode? Yes. So if there is no fertilizer here, you're going to point to the west. And currently you have fertilizer. But if you didn't have fertilizer, for example, I take fertilizer out of you. Uh, let's put a mallet there real quick. No, let's just put mallet there. No, okay. If I take fertilizer out of you, you're in that direction. Oh, what just happened? Oh, it needs to be totally out of fertilizer. Oh, okay, well. Whoopsie. I made a boo-boo. I don't need this. I don't need this shovel on me. Get the shovel out of here. I don't need that shovel. All right, so it doesn't need fertilizer right now because it still currently has fertilizer inside of it, so. But if it needs fertilizer, it'll point in the west direction. If it doesn't, I guess, is there a control signal for fertilizer? As in, I do have fertilizer? Let's see about that. No fertilizer, yes fertilizer? Is there a yes fertilizer in here? No fuel, is there a yes fertilizer? Oh, I don't think there's a yes fertilizer. Oh, no. Well, because I need that not logic. 
Hmm. What other conditions are true if there's no fertilizer? Well, uh, okay, well, if it has fertilizer already, we'll put it there. Hmm. Astro's gonna try falling back to sleep. I hope you make it. I hope when you fall back to sleep, you fall gracefully and peacefully. Best of rest to you, good sir. I'm gonna take this cobblestone transport pipe and put it this way. Let me put this, pu this plug back over here. And this plug will facilitate bringing the fertilizer to the other realm. So when there is fertilizer, it should point in this direction. It should not point in this direction. Oh, wait a minute. But now there's currently... Oh, no, no, no. This is fine. Yeah, I don't need a plug there. Okay, cool. Cool. This is good. This is good. So if there's... Let's say no redstone signal. There's no redstone signal. It should be up in the other direction. Right? I'm trying to think what the logic works out here to be. I want it to go to the other direction if there is a red signal on. But if this is the one that doesn't have fertilizer, I want it to go in that direction. I don't think I can combine this logic into this one point right here. I think instead... Hmm... I'm going to try this logic, where if there is red pipe wire... Is there pipe wire on this already? I don't think so. Oh my goodness, there is. Wait, do I see pipe wire back there? I do. But that pipe wire says, needs fertilizer, so that's okay. Uh, is there a wire back here that it'll connect to? I hope not. Is it connecting to the other side? It is not. It should be connecting this way. That's good. That's very good. Okay, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. This getting to the part where I gotta start thinking about things. I get a little confused now as I work out work out this logic. If the pipe signal is off. If the pipe signal is off, I want you to move in the I want you to point in the southern direction. Yeah, in the southern direction. And currently it is. So that means Yeah, that makes sense. Because if there is no pipe signal then you should push in that direction. If this is the one... Oh, actually... No, no, if there is a signal, it should point in that direction. Or not. I'm trying to think. Because if the other farm needs fertilizer, then the red signal will be on, so it has to head in that direction. would have to head in that direction. Hmm. Let's try... Hmm. Let's try writing out a truth table. I could use some of that. Nice truth table. So, fertilizer one. Let's see. Farm, farm one. One is peat. Or, farm two is peat. F1 is tree. So... Tree fur. Tree fur and. Tree fur and peat fur. If one of those are true, if they're true, if they're true, depending on which ones are true. Tree fur. Tree fur. Pea fur. Yeah, let's, let's try that. I, I, this might not actually work out for me. Let's see. Oh, I'm getting all tongue tied and twisted. Ah! Ah! Quick, do something. South pipe direction goes that way if there's no signal on. But if there is a signal on, I want it to go in that direction. Unless this one is the one that wants it. In which case, I want you to go that way. So if there is a signal, you will continue onwards. If there is a signal, you will go south. If not, it doesn't go in... It, the, the default is just that way, I guess. So I need to get it so this thing runs out of fertilizer. Yeah. Okay. Do I have dirt in here? I, I have some dirt. Let me let me repopulate with some dirt. Then you'll utilize the fertilizer. Right? Yeah, I think if I, if I put it all with dirt, it should make things easier for me. You have anything in here? Yeah. 
Burt? Dirt? Oh, there's not a lot of dirt in there. Mm, gotta go get dirt. Gotta get dirt so I can check this fertilizer. Oh, well, you know, I'll, I'll get to that eventually. So I'll put a hole in the wall. Let's play hole in the wall. Let's not. Put the hole in the wall over here. And I'll wrap the pipe through this way. Yeah, because that pretty much makes this entire area over here completely unwalkable. Ah, uh, that's not fun. But it's how it's going to be. Actually, you know what I can do? I can go up and around. Let's go this way. Uh, and I'll put a pipe plug up there. There we go. It's not going to look pretty, but it's not supposed to look pretty. It's just supposed to work. There we go. And we'll go, we'll go this way. Mm -hmm. Go this way, that way, that way, down. There we go. There we go. Now it's not in anybody's way. Fertilizer, if it goes in this direction, we'll go this way. I will also attach pipe wire as necessary. And hopefully not run into any other wire that already exists. Nice. Excellent. Yeah, that's not crossing any... That's not crossing any toes. Step on any toes there. Okay. And so, it should go into this hatch over here. And for that, I need the diamond pipe. If it makes it into this hatch, that's a good thing. All right, so let's go see if that diamond... All that diamond stuff is all finished. Which I think it is. It should be finished right now, unless it ran out of power, which it might have run out of power, so. You out of power? You are out of power completely. Okay, that's fine. That's what I expected. This is what I was expecting to happen. So let's give you another battery. That's why I came back to check. Go back up. And continue. Actually, this is enough for one... This is enough for one diamond thing. So I'll go make that one diamond transport pipe, and I will bring it up. And I'll put things back. Now, let's get a piece of glass. Uh, put some kebabs away. Don't need those kebabs right now. I do not need them kebabs. Not right now, at least. What circuit is in here? Configuration 24. I want diamond rods in here. Um, connect this back here. Put some molten glass in there. Nothing happens. Good. I need configuration 6. Now I get configuration six. Wonderful. And I have a diamond pipe. Diamond transport pipe. It's great. It's wonderful. It's pipe. And it's everything that I could have ever asked for it to be. Thank you, pipe. For being a friend. Thank you for being a pipe. Oh, I need to go up, up. Like the actual... No, stop. Ah! I cannot move! There we go. My jetpack was making me all confused. So the diamond pipe should go right below the hatch to route which direction things are supposed to go. That was not right below. I wanted this one. This one, please. Yes. So now, if Pete comes along and wants things, we'll go into here. Uh, you shouldn't be connected there. Only up here. Oh, I also don't have power for this thing yet. I gotta figure that out. Hm. I actually turn this thing on. <laughs> there are so many steps involved. Okay. So I got I got this pipe coming along here. I think that's all the pipe necessary there. Yes, perfect. So now, actually, what I can do is I can put a basic gate right here instead of this pipe plug. Nope. Uh, okay. Okay. Can I take that pipe plug off, please? Yes, thank you. Put a basic gate here. And this says, if I'm out of fertilizer, no fertilizer, which there isn't. There isn't any fertilizer. Wait a minute. Why are you not detecting that there are no fertilizer? Um. Interesting. This says no fertilizer. This doesn't have any fertilizer. Does it need fertilizer? 80% hydration required. Overall is 80%, so I'm good. Soil goes left, that goes right. Uh, oh, there's no power. Do I just need power? Oh, let me just... Oh, well, if that's the case, let me... 
grab some power, I guess. And I'll connect these things up properly. It's a little wonky, but I think it's going to be just fine. I guess... I, does this thing not need power? Does it not need fertilizer? I thought it needed fertilizer to work. I feel like it has to. I feel like it needs fertilizer. Maybe this logic just isn't working yet. I... I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe if I put it over here, I'll find out, right? No fertilizer? Okay, it's just... The logic just isn't working anyway. Interesting. Very confusing. I'll figure it out. I guess I gotta... I gotta give this some power first. So let's focus... Focus on power. Focus on power for now. In the meantime, I do want to keep this thing up with fertilizer, so... Let's just do that. I need my 12x redstone ally cables. I'm just going to run these on the same power line, and hopefully there will be no problems. And if there are problems, I suppose we'll tackle that bridge when we come to it. So I need this. So I need you to not go in that direction. I need you to go in this direction. So the power cable can come this way. I need quite a few of those wires, but it will connect to the gearbox. And luckily... This type of power cable has absolutely no loss along the way. And it's thick enough that there is no possible way it could set on fire and blow everything up. Which would be unfortunate. And I don't like that. So let's make a... If I don't already have a bunch of redstone cables... Um, do I? I have t one. So I need more. I need more redstone alloy. Look at that. Redstone alloy. So to make these redstone alloy cables, I just kind of take redstone alloy blocks right? Or the, the things, and just assemble it. Times 12, mix it with, mix it with uh, rubber. Just some some rubber, right? That's all? That's all? Just, just rubber? Rubber's along here somewhere. Yeah, just rubber. It takes a lot of regular rubber, but I don't want to use my other rubber for it. Make me sad. All right, so I'll just kind of make a bunch of redstone alloy wire and package it all up, because I will always need, I will always need more of this stuff. So I'm more than happy to do so. Is that divisible by 12? It's really not. I don't think I need more pipe seal, so I'll put that away. I don't need the cobblestone transport pipe anymore, or the fluid ones. Um, what else is divisible by 12? 60 is divisible by 12, and so will be... I, I need a lot of this, actually. Well, yeah, I think we'll be fine. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Uh, that was the... I missed one. There we go. And I'll redstone... I'll let... I'll wire that up, and it'll be great. And then I just need to do the math of how much wire I'm going to get from that. Uh, there's already red alloy wire here. This battery alloy plates? I guess I was working on that. I guess I was working on that. Um, I should put the fine copper wire away. I can put that over here. Because it's taking up quite a bit of space. What did I have all this silicon foil for? Maybe I was making components or something. I was probably making components. That makes sense. All right, well, redstone alloy. Go for it. That's going to come out with two wires a piece, I think. Right? I already have redstone alloy wire. Nice. Well, I... Nice. I like that. Okay, so if I had... I had 12 in there. I had 72 pieces of redstone alloy wire. Each one come out with two. So, 72 times 2 divided by 12 equals 12. Excellent. And... Each thing requires a certain number of rubber, and I think it's three rubber per. So 12 times would be 12 times three or whatever, whatever 576 divided by 144 is. It's four. So four times 12, 48. I'm going to need 48 pieces of rubber. That will snag 48 pieces of rubber that will be turned down, that will be melted down into regular rubber, and then assembled into what I need. 48. I'll get myself ready. With the rubbering over here, I'll melt it all down. Get it all prepared. Um, I have molten glass in there. Right, because I was working on the diamond. The diamond thing. That's probably finished by now. Hopefully. It probably didn't run out of power again. Probably. And if it did... Ah! Whatever. whatever 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 that's fine we'll wait a little bit longer there we go diamond rod is done i can put the battery back where it's supposed to be and uh put the diamond dust away 
put it just into the system, the magical system that compresses everything. The system that makes me happy. Put a lot of effort in that system. Feels good. Feels good. Now put this in here. Swap that out for a second. Put it back. I've got that. Get that. Got all this wire. We're almost there. Melt all the rubber. Um, I want to take this stuff out of it too, because I worry that there might be a recipe here that I'm missing, and putting rubber in there might work against it. Right? Maybe? No, that should be fine. Okay, so... I need my wand back. Let's put my backpack away. There we go. And I honestly don't know why I still have this screwdriver here. So let's just put that in the hammer space too. I don't need that. I don't need that. Um, so long as I... Let's try to take a couple of stacks of these out and make some things with them. Make a couple of fours. I don't know why that wasn't working the way that I wanted it to. Four. Oh, I have two to make four. Now I have four. Four with four to make eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is twelve. Eight. There. I need a bit more. And that's all I have left, so. Fours. One, two, three, four. Oh, these were the these were the fours, so I need another eight. Eight. Two, two. There. Twelve. I have twelve. I don't know if that's gonna be enough, but I'm gonna give it a try. Now I got all this in there. Go for it. And if I need more, I can get more. No problem. It'll just take a little bit longer. Oh, do I have? Oh, those are the ones that I was just creating. I was like, oh, there's some already in the chest? Yes, because I put them there. And it was all a part of the plan. If 12 is enough, awesome. If not, we will come back. And make some more. Make some more. Come back and make some more. I wonder if this thing really only needed was power. Because if that's the case, then, wow, cool. I did not know that at all. So let's let's do it. We'll connect it here, there, there, on the side. I think it's going to need more than... Oh, oh, actually. Actually, this might work out perfectly. Ah! Nice. I needed exactly 12. So this thing should be getting power. It is gaining power. And is it functioning? No fertilizer. So it needs fertilizer. Yes, that's what I figured you needed. So is this on now? Yeah, okay. So it needs power in order to give out a signal. Cool. Cool. So if this thing needs a, needs power, if this thing has power, or it needs fertilizer, it will create a signal. And also, when it creates power, it will send... I'm going to actually put, a, put an iron transport pipe here instead of that one. Because what this will do is, if you require fertilizer, which you do, you will create a redstone signal. Also, if you require fertilizer, which you do, you will point downward. If you don't need fertilizer, you will go elsewhere. You will go a different direction. You'll go back from points you came. Back this way and... I guess the way to put the fertilizer back in there is to tap into this system. That makes sense. Is there a way where fertilizer comes back in? Uh, what is it, right here? Fertilizer goes to yellow. So I can get it to come into here if I take the return path and I put it here, then the fertilizer will go back into storage instead. So I'm gonna put an iron transport pipe here. This might be a little wonky. There we go. I need the pipe plug on the other side. Can I reach in there? I can. There we go. So you will always, always, always. I need a pipe wrench. I don't have a pipe wrench. Ah, I need a pipe wrench. I gotta go down to the bench. I'm forgetting all of the essentials to be able to do the things that I do. I need more wrench. I need more wrenches. Peepus wrench. 
Oh, where's the wrench? Oh, it was in my inventory the whole time. It was up in hammer space. Wow. Wowza weeza. That's crazy. That's incredible. All right, well, pipe wrench will always go in this direction, and then there will be a return path that comes up from here. So I just got to get in there. But where do I want to put that? I'd like to make it look nice if I can, but I, I don't know if I'll be able to do that, to be honest. I mean, I definitely can. But it doesn't really feel like a priority right now. Hmm. <laughs> Trying to think of how I want to do it. I'd rather just send it like straight into the like down into the underground and then back up again. So I can just I can put it over here, maybe. There's already oh, there's already a pipe under there. I'll put it I'll put it um I'll put it up in that direction. You will go there, you will go there, I will stop the pipe there. So yeah, if you don't require fertilizer. If the pipe signal is off, then you will point in this direction. And for that, you need one more, one more control block. So if the pipe signal is off, which it is currently. Oh, I gotta go all, all, all through these because, uh, yeah. Pipe signal, pipe signal. Is there a pipe signal in this? Where's the pipe signal? Oh, wait, is there no thing on here? Oh, did I not put... Oh, I think I just need to put this thing on it. I thought. Huh. I thought so. Pipe signal off. You will point in the southern direction. South. Oh, is that not south? Looks pretty south to me. Why not going south? Oh, fertilizer set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's perfect then. Actually, that is that is perfect. So one takes priority over the other. If you need fertilizer, it's going to go down here. You will not be returning anything from whence it came. But if you don't, but if you do, you will send off a signal. It will start pumping things, and everything will be okay. So yeah, if your signal is off, right? Let me see that. That's a pipe plug. If the red pipe signal is on, push it to the south. That means it needs to go that way. Um, but this takes priority, the uh, whether it needs fertilizer or not, I think. And I should be able to test that hypothesis eventually. If this thing never if this thing never fills up with fertilizer again over the course of the playthrough, then I know I did something wrong. So let's take it. I want to take it this way. Oh, did that work? Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Little freeze for a moment there. Put a little pipe plug. Don't need that pipe plug. That way I can put it here, there, and just send it downward. I'd rather do it that way. Is it wonky? Is it scalable? No. It is most certainly not, but it works. And that's, that's really all I care about right now. Whether it works. It will work. I have faith that it'll work. I have faith in the system with which I have built. Okay, now where is... You need to be right here. So, the return path comes as follows. You don't connect to anything? Oh, you're not connecting to anything. That's perfect. That's exactly what I needed. So now, let's just put it this way, right? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You already have a thing there. If I just push you this way, you should be just fine. Right? Yeah. There we go. Awesome! So now, if this thing needs fertilizer, it'll point in the left direction. It'll point towards whatever compass direction that is. If not, and the signal is on, if, if not, the pipe signal is off, it should point in that direction. I don't have enough places to put logic blocks there. Actually, well, no. If the signal is on, that means somebody needs it, and the only other one who would need it is the other farm. 
So I'll pass through here, go up there, go over there. Perfect, perfect. And if not, it'll do like that. So now I can add this final block, this little switch that says, if you are on, put the pipe signal on. Put on the pipe signal. Now, you should be pumping out fertilizer. This should be going in that direction because the signal is on. And this will continue pumping until it gets all the way to the other side and fills up with fertilizer. Once it fills up with fertilizer, it will stop accepting fertilizer. It'll turn the pipe signal off and everything will reroute into the other direction. Right? That's what this says. If you have fertilizer in that direction and if the pipe signal is off, then it'll go... Oh, what? Uh, it will go south, which is the other direction, which is exactly what I was thinking. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna be... I'm gonna carefully wait and observe. Technically, this guy should be running out of fertilizer anytime, anytime now. Actually, I'm gonna go get some dirt. I'm gonna go get some dirt so I can speed up the process and see if this works as I expect it to. I need dirt. I need dirt. I need dirt. Alright, come here. Here we go. Go up here. I'll give you all the dirt that you could possibly ask for. And if everything goes according to plan, when you run out of fertilizer, you will now start accepting it over here before re letting control back over to the other one. Right? Right? There we go. Yes, yes. Use the fertilizer. Yes, you got it. You got it. Yeah. Out of fertilizer yet? You're getting there. You're getting there. You're out. Of, you're out of fertilizer. You are now out of fertilizer, and you are pushing fertilizer in that direction. Perfect. And when that fills up with fertilizer, it will switch back to the other direction. I hope. All right, there we go, and it switches back to the other direction. Sweet. All right, the system works. Now all we wait for is for this stuff to go over here and fill up with fertilizer, and then we should be good. Oh, I need a piece of fertilizer so I can tell the diamond pipe where it's supposed to send fertilizer. Whoops. That goes up. There we go. That's where that goes. And then dirt goes... I need a path for dirt, too. So actually, I need an additional thing over here. So I need to work, I need to work on that. Is this thing functioning? It is functioning, I think. Let's go up and see. It really only needs power and water? I don't know, actually. Is that... Uh... Oh, did that fill up with... Is that filling up with too much fertilizer? I hope not. Wait, is it sending things back? It should be. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Thank, thank goodness. Okay. So it's got fertilizer now. Fertilizer needed. I did that. Everything is working. Normal. Temperature. Peat bog. Fertilizer. Water. Is there anything else I need for this to work? I don't know. I do not yet know. Well, I know dirt's gonna come out of it. So, all I'm gonna do is... All I'm gonna do is put another little diamond pipe there. So if dirt comes by, it is going to go into this other direction. So dirt will go in this direction. Dirt goes to... Whoops. Dirt goes to red. Dirt goes to red. Did I run out of dirt? I ran out of dirt, didn't I? Oh, here's a dirt. There we go. I just need one dirt. Dirt to the red. The red goes over here. I'm going to go back under here and see about that. Oh. I'm gonna need I need back I need access back to my little storage place. That'll cross under here. I probably won't have to come under here very often, so I don't need proper pathways. Although I'll take that coal. Yeah. Alright, so if this is the top of the thing. Colored stone. Oh, this is this is the one. Uh this one or the other one? Uh, not that one. It was the next one. Oh, but the reservoir is right below it. Oh, well, that's... That's inconvenient. It's right below that. Okay, that might be an issue. So the reservoir is right below the... Oh, come on. Get out of here. The reservoir is right below the dirt storage. So I don't have a direction to put it in. 
do I? No, because there's a tank there. Hmm. Well, actually, what I can do is I can rearrange the way that the tanks are. Oh, but the reservoir is there, too. Huh. Hmm. What to do about that? Well, if I move the reservoir to there, to down below one, I just put it underneath, then that should be just fine. And I'll rearrange things as necessary. Yeah, that'll be okay. So let's, let's take the reservoir and put it somewhere else. I got a lot of stuff in my inventory. Let's put, a, put some of it away. Oh, actually, there's even more. Ah! I am so completely frazzled right now. Well... Take the reservoir. I will take the reservoir out. There we go. I will take the reservoir out and put it right here. This can still pump out water as necessary. I will just need um, an extra tank placed there so that I can also pull from that as well. I need three more tanks. Honestly, this is not a very good... I don't know why I used the tanks. I just thought it looked cleaner so that there wasn't as much like running water. But this is, this is fine. I also need to fill it back up with water. So, luckily, I have the tanks to do so. Boop. And boop. There we go. Now you will fill up again. Infinite water. This is what I had to do for infinite water beforehand. You have to build a reservoir. But, like, infinite water reservoir doesn't allow me to fill back up ponds and stuff. So. Oh my god, scary feet! It's time to work my body! Yeah, I'm doing scary feet. That's what I'm doing now. We updated some exercises around here. Thank you so much, dears, for reminding me. I don't remember how many seconds I had to do this for, but I'm just going to keep doing this for a little bit of time. Ooh. Feels good. Yes, I want to complete all the requests. Oh. I wonder, can you hear that? You can hear that if I stomp my feet loud enough. Hopefully I don't bother my neighbors down there. You know what? There, there, this was motivated by a, a convention that we went to a couple weekends ago. And one of the panels we went to was all about how to keep... All we can uh, we keep, like, keep active even when you're sitting down. We can see you vibrating. I'm vibrating. Oh my god, that's great. Oh. That made me work up a little bit of a sweat. I'm gonna admit that. I'm gonna totally admit that. Wow. That was cool. Okay. Anyway, back to it. I need... I need... Tanks. Give me some tanks. I'm gonna go get some, get some tank stuff. Tanks. Tank, tank, tanks. I need three tanks. Three tanks. Oh, we're doing more! Oh my god, more exercises! I'm gonna do punches. I'm just gonna punch. I'm just gonna punch a bunch. I can do some forward. I can do some upwards. This is also supposed to work up a sweat as well. And it kind of is. And so long as I lean back enough, I will not punch my computer screen. Because I wouldn't want to do that. I'm going to punch the camera. I'm going to get you. It's all about staying active. Don't forget to breathe. I forgot to breathe. But all's good now. All is good now. Be wary, dearest. You have one more shot left. Although, probably... You're probably just going to spam me with all three of them right now. In which case, I accept the challenge. I take this. We'll see what the roll of the die says next. I need tanks. I hope I have three tanks left. I don't think I need many. Oh, I do need more pipes. But. We need more pipes. I don't need all these gates. These gates I don't think I need anymore. I'll take, keep the basic gate with me. Uh, I don't need the quartz transport pipe. Um, this coal should be in here. Let me. Um, what did I come back for? Put a diamond pipe away. Don't need that. Um, oh my god, what did I come back for? Tanks! I need tanks. I need three tanks. There's three tanks. Cool. That's what I came back for. So I can fix up the water thing. There we go. Now let's go back up. Try it again. Okay. Now I come over here. Now I have more tanks. So this tank should be... I'm going to put a pipe plug right here, above here, just so that this doesn't connect there. Um, 
I don't think these things connect to fluid tanks, these pipes over here. So, I'm not going to put it there. I think I'll just do, um, one. Oh, you're connecting, so you need a pipe plug. Oh, and you're connecting as well. Two. Let's just put a bunch of plugs here. We don't need them. I put a bunch of plugs. Whatever. You are supposed to absorb water from this side. Pull. And push it to the top. You. Will. Pull from the bottom. Push to the side. And then you. I did not want to do that. You. Will. Pull from here. And push to here. There we go. Okie dokie. So that should fill up with water eventually. And this is currently filling up water there. Cool. Cool, cool. Now what I need is I need a method with which to fill up uh, on dirt. So this will go here. This will not connect here. This will go here. It's inaccessible anyway. And this will travel underneath for the dirt. Oop, hello. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And this will kind of go down here, right? Um, hmm. Actually, it'll have to go... Actually, it can, it can go over here. This is this is fine. Doesn't have to be clean. Just has to work. So dirt, when it gets produced by this, will come out this way. Come on down. Come on down to punch town. Right? Where's the other one? There we go. And dirt will travel underneath... Oh, I am stuck. Whoops. There we go. And come up like this. And we got it. Cool. Now, I don't step there anyway. That's more or less inaccessible. I'll put a little brick there. Nobody needs to see that. How did I break these? Oh, I guess I threw some stone bricks down too. Does that is that collectible? I can. Okay. Oh, because I needed to get in there. That's why I did that. I was curious why I did that. I don't know. Let's put a... I don't want to... This looks ugly. I'll put this there. That also looks kind of ugly. But it looks less ugly than what was previous there. Previously there. So when this thing produces dirt, it should come out this way and repopulate the dirt thing over here. Cool. And it functions. But it's not doing anything. And it's... Did I miss something? I think, I think there's probably another step to the puzzle that I'm not getting. I don't know. Do I fill it with... Do I fill it with dirt? Do I need dirt? Does it need dirt? I need dirt as well? What do I fuel this thing with? I'm gonna look it up. So let's see. Uh, advanced farm. Automatic farm. Automated farm? Managed farm. Managed farm. Peat bog forestry. I thought I knew what to do at this point, and I was completely wrong. Peat bog. Peat bog. Farm configuration. Peat bog. Peat. 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 So the peat bog requires what? Harvest. Oh, so germlings. You, it doesn't produce germlings. Soil is bog earth. Oh. Oh, so what do I need to... Do I need to combine it with bog earth? In order to make it go. I've never made bog earth before. How do I make bog earth? Bog earth. How to create bog earth. I mix sand, dirt, into that. So I need dirt to make the dirt? Is that how that works? Is that how this works? This is new to me, so. If it is how that works, I am totally unaware. Well, let me see what happens if I put dirt in here. Oh, okay. Nothing happens. I don't know what to put it. I, like, I don't know what you put in here. I guess it's bog earth, I suppose. Owner, me. Supply water. Almost all farms require water. Hydration required. We have it. Overall is... That's good. It's normal. It's arid. But there's nothing growing on top of it. Is there? Nah, because it needs, needs something else, I bet, right? What else does it need? Huh. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? 
I have to take a little break anyway. So I'll be back in a little bit. And when I do come back, I'll know exactly what to do. And how and what the hell I'm missing. Um, so I know what to do now. And apparently, in order for the... Apparently for the peat bog to work, you need something called bog earth. Which I kind of I kind of thought about beforehand. But the thing is, to create bog earth for this to work, you need sand. Which I got. I can do sand. I, I have plenty of sand. Sand is actually produced by the tree farm, so that's that's sustainable. Anytime the tree anytime the trees is harvest, it turns into sand. You can use sand. We can get that for that. That's easy. But you also need dirt. You also need dirt for the bog earth. So like it's producing dirt, but also giving the dirt back. So there's nothing producing dirt from this. Or pod sol. I mean, I don't know how to make is pod sol something I can like just dig up or cre create? I can create it from leaves, but I don't get leaves from anything. I can make it from sludge. That's cool. But, uh, yeah, so apparently, it seems that this whole self-sufficiency aspect of mine that I was trying to go for is not working super well. I don't know about that. However, I did find something else in my search, and it appears that perhaps mycelium, myce mycelium, mycelium might be produced by a mushroom farm. But it can be turned into dirt? A moistener can create all these different types of stuff. I don't see any dirt. Hmm. It doesn't look like I can turn my ceiling into stuff. I think I might have set myself up for failure. I don't think these farms can be self-sufficient the way that I thought they were going to be. I would need to create... I mean, it's very possible that for an input amount of bog earth, a... A certain amount of dirt comes out the other side that's more than what you put in. That's possible. But if that's not the case, then all I'm doing is turning dirt into sand, or bog earth into sand, and not anything else. So I'm sitting here like, oh. I didn't do all of my research, so I might have I might have set myself up for failure here. Well, I have a, peat, fa a peat farm now. Just need to supply it with bog earth. I could try to make some bog earth. It just requires sand and dirt. I got sand and dirt. So we, I'll see what happens if I fill it all up with bog earth and... I don't know. I guess we'll take it from there. Silly me. Silly, silly me. But hey, I had to learn somehow. Maybe one day, one day, I will come up with a solution for this. I don't know when that day will be. But perhaps someday indeed. I don't need all this wire and stuff anymore. Um, until I figure things out. Pet plugs, all that stuff. Let's put it all in there. However. Try to make bog earth. Bog. Bog. Bog men. It's just water. It's just water and uh. Water and dirt. That's really all it is. Huh. I'm pretty sure I got a mixer in here somewhere. Where's my mixer? Give me a sweet mix. I think that mixer is probably over here. Maybe? No. 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 No, 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 mm. no, that's not a mixer, fluid canner, unpackager, carpenter, where is my mixing machine? Oh, I got a mixing machine in the basement, I'm gonna go down there, get some bog earth, so for 64 sand and 64 dirt, I wanna know how much dirt comes out the other side, if this is a sustainable system, hello mixer, I know you just have water in there, let's... Oh, you're not now putting items. Perfect. Bog earth, please. Can I scan you? What does bog earth do? Water and earth. I like that. That's a nice combination. And it's not super energy heavy either, but I just gotta, I gotta know for sure. Okay, so from what I can tell right now, I'm gonna do a little bit of experimentation. I'll have this up going up in the background, but I want to see what happens. If I completely use up this bog earth. So let me go back into my little farming area over here. Go on inside. There is currently zero dirt in here. This thing needs dirt. So technically this thing is pumping. But I'm just gonna, just gonna turn that off. 
So now, it's not going to pump anywhere. No matter how much, whatever amount of dirt comes in here is the exact amount of dirt that's going to, uh, uh, that, that'll be produced by the peat bog. So, if 64 dirt came out, if it is a one-to-one -one ratio, then 64 dirt should come, uh, 64 should, dirt should come out the other side. It's very possible that this will produce more dirt than goes into it. If I get more than a stack of dirt out the other side, then this will work. It won't work super well. It, it could work much better, but I think that's what I'll have to go with. So I will try that and see what happens. I'll also have Pete coming out the other side. Uh, I gotta connect that up to the other system that I have there. Oh, it's filled up with water. Oh, it's gonna drip in here? That's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Um, let me see. If this produces any peat, I guess... Um... Hmm. I guess I'll get another iron pipe, and I'll send any peat into this direction, which will come back over here, and then I'll just filter it over here and see what happens with it. So I'll go get another iron pipe. I need one iron pipe to filter it in the proper direction. Um, actually, hold on. Let me, let me double check. Let me get exactly what I need first, and then I'll figure things out from there. I need one iron pipe, two cobblestone pipes for routing purposes. Yeah, that's it. Two cobblestone pipes and an iron pipe. And I'll need a wrench to put it in the correct direction, but I have the wrench already. So, maybe this worked. Maybe it didn't. But... The point of science is not necessarily knowing the correct answer. The point of science is to experiment and see if it's a viable solution. I'm a little... I spent like four hours on this. I'm actually quite disappointed. <laughs> I'm actually quite disappointed about it. But we'll see. I'm sure I'll be able to... For all I know, peat will become necessary down the line. Or I can add it as a part of my fuel sources. So what I come down here for? Oh, pipe. Peepus. Iron. Uh, not that one. Not that one. I want this one. Thank you. And then I actually need... I need peat to be produced. So far, peat has not been produced. Oh, hi, everybody. Whoa. Hi. Hi there. Whoa. Hey there. Hi there. And ho there. Get out of here. Whoa. No, stop. Die. Okay. Gunpowder is good. I need more gunpowder. I can make uh, stuff from my, uh, my spaceship for that. Okay. Well, now I'm going to put the iron pipe here. There we go. That'll be the return pipe for this connection over here. Oh, I guess I only needed two because I was going to dig up one. Now, what goes in the red direction? Dirt. What goes in the white direction? Fertilizer. Uh, what goes in the black direction? Nothing. Don't put anything in that direction. But if peat gets produced, that is a good thing. So any, anything else will go into this green direction and be filtered downward. Uh, it'll come over here, and it will go... It will go into the black direction. So it, it'll wind up going downwards. Peak doesn't go to red. Nothing goes to white. <laughs> the only thing that comes up in this way is this right there. So that should be just fine. Awesomeness. Cool, well... That'll produce peat now, eventually. So I guess the peat farm has been completed. Nice! That's cool. It's just a matter of, I guess it's the waiting game now to see whether or not this investment pays off. Which I don't think it will. But I have it now. And I like that. So now the question is, what do I do next? Well, I really planned that far ahead. I didn't really plan that far ahead. I was, I was planning for like... The big ending to be like, wow, we did it! Look at that! Although I'm sure there's other things. There's there's plenty of other things to work on. That's the thing about this. I don't have to do anything. I just play around. So I think what I'll do as a part of my playing around thing is I'll go mining. I haven't mined for things in a while. I haven't just taken the time to go mine. One of the things that like I used to do before streaming, before uh, basically before like doing this stuff on camera and stuff is. If I just needed a relaxing day, I would take entire days and just play this game and just watch television in the background. Just feel like I was doing something. It was it was always nice. Nice and relaxing. But it's, you know, it's my comfort game. So that that does that. I've been using that term a lot lately. Comfort game. 
And I'm I'm comfortable with that. I, I think it fits the situation. Alright, so that stuff. Got some Lapidolite and Rock Salt and stuff going in there. I don't know where my mining adventures will take me. I wonder... I wonder what materials I'm low on. What what am I low on ingot-wise? I'm low on oxygen. I know I was low on oxygen. And I know I can get oxygen from certain byproducts. So I know, for example, uh, different dusts contain uh, oxygen in them. Like almondine. Almondine is really heavy in, uh, in oxygen. So if I go and mine for oxygen, I'll be able to get aluminum from it. I'll be able to get iron from it. Aluminum, iron, I can get silicon from it, which are all useful materials. And I get 20 iron, uh, oxygen gas from it, too. But there's plenty of other options as well that I can go for. And there's a ton of stuff that can get oxygen. It just matters how, like, which route that I want to go down. I think aluminum... Aluminum winds up going downstairs. There's a box, there's a there's a barrel for that. Um, silicon, I have a lot of silicon already. and Do I have it uh, as a taken as a part of my system outwards? Silicon, silicon, silicon. It really isn't, but you can always use more of it. I feel like almondy might not be the one right now. So let's see what other dusts are on there. Which one would I want to go for? I could, I could, uh, what ingots am I low on? I'm low on, I'm kind of, I'm really low on copper. So if I can find a dust that turns into copper, copper oxide, copper oxide stuff, then I'll go for that one. Silicon and iron. This is calcium iron, silicon. This is calcium potassium or calcium phosphorus and chlorine. Um, this is iron and oxygen. Band and iron is always a good choice. Barium, barium, sulfur, and oxygen. Do I have barium? Do I use barium for anything? I have barite, which can be turned into barium and oxygen. Have I ever used that before? Hmm. What do I use barium for? I think I've made that before. Oh, you just put it in an electrolyzer. Six of them. I can get barium, sulfur, and oxygen. Interesting. Well, that's a little bit of oxygen that I can get right now. So I'll put that into... I'll, I'll put that over here and I'll set that up. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I got some potassium feldspar. What are you doing here? Is there stuff in here? Nah. Okay, well. That works. That's pretty cool. Some oxygen's coming into there. It'll wind up... I have two oxygen tanks. One is upstairs and one is downstairs. Downstairs fuels turning ammonia into nitric acid, which then gets turned into hydrogen sulfide. It then creates an endgame material of indium, which I have not yet found a use for, but I can make it, so I will make it. And that makes me happy. But, yeah, barium, sulfur. I got some oxygen in there now. I got some aluminum, carbon. Uh, polyethylene? I don't know why I have polyethylene here. I can probably do some of this almondine. Yeah, that works. Yeah, I'll come back for that. Okay, so let's see if there's more things for copper. I want things that'll give me copper points. So I'll put it. barium. I've never scanned barium before. Nor have I scanned almondine. I don't exactly know what barium can be used for. Can it be turned into an ingot? Can barium be smelted? Nope, it will forever remain a dust. So I'll put the sulfur, the barium, and the almondine in there. What other dusts? Dusts can we get that has copper in it specifically? I can do, like copper dust, obviously. Bastnazite has fluorine, cerium, oxygen, and carbon. Basalt has a lot of stuff, but no, no copper. Bauxite has titanium and oxygen as well. But bauxite is a really difficult material to work with, or can be. Biotite any of that are there not a lot of like I copper based ores out there i wonder i know some of the gemstones are but i can't really rely i don't want to if i can find a gemstone i want to use it for as a gemstone not as just something to get metal from cerium surface quartz chrome clay clay doesn't have any copper in it cobaltite has arsenic uh, but there's no oxygen in that so it doesn't really matter electrum emerald doesn't have any Right mixture. That's a, something I created. Garnierite, glass dust, glauconite, glowstone, graphite, green sapphire, grossular, ilmenite. Good for titanium and iron. I know malachite. Oh, wait. Malachite. Malachite is a dust that gives copper. I know that. So I will be on the lookout for malachite. 
Because I remember you can find those in copper ore veins. So essentially, if I find a copper ore vein, for example, like tetrahedrite, like the tetrahedrite that's right below my base, right below the laboratory right now, I will be able to get copper from that and oxygen from that. So I think what I should do is I should focus on getting those ones in particular. Malachite, tetrahedrite, and all that stuff. So I guess I'm going back to the farm area so that I can mine out all the goody goods that are underneath. So with mining time. Chill vibes and mining time. I wonder if there's been any peat produced yet. Peat? Hello? Any peat? No, I can't tell. I literally can't tell if it's working or not. I mean, it, I'm sure it's working, but I can't tell what becomes of it. Let's go under here and do some mining. And then eventually, if it really doesn't look that good, because it probably won't look very good, I'll fix it up later. If it needs to be. With the power of the laser, anything's possible. Anything is possible with laser powers. Now I've run into the I've run into this particular copper ore vein before. Like this is this one is not it's not new to me. And eventually, if I keep shooting in any particular direction, I'm gonna wind up breaching um, the outside the outside because that's where that's where it is. Because when I first moved into this area over here, there was like oh there's tetrahedrite over here. I should maybe touch that, maybe not. Because if I don't touch it, then it'll continue to look as pretty as it did the day that I moved in. But that's not super important. I'm not super worried about that. <laughs> I think Christmas is going to be a nice time. It'll be a nice opportunity to go back and see my family again. It was very good indeed. It'll be very, very nice. Usually what we wind up doing for our Christmas holiday is... Um, so, my family, my fiancé's family, and our uh, my buddy Lycos Lore's family... We'll all get together, and also also sometimes one of the neighbor's families, too, um, who lives closer to my fiancé's parents. They'll, we'll all go out to dinner together. It'll be usually a nice time. We usually go out to this hibachi place over over near over near my parents' house. Just kind of close, like, you have to drive past my middle school to get to it. Which kind of brings back memories. Every single time I drive past that school, I get a couple of memories that, came, that comes back from the middle school era. The other day, um, at work... We played some dreidel. It was the first time I'd ever played dreidel. And so in the background, because we were doing, we were playing a, a Hanukkah-based game, we decided to put on the soundtrack of Fiddler on the Roof in the background. So that was playing on like YouTube as we were all spinning our dreidels up and down. And I was getting some, I was getting some flashbacks because I did Fiddler on the Roof back in middle school. And that was like, I think the formative years of any sort of theatrical stuff that I wound up doing. And I, I remember them very fondly. Very fondly times. I remember, actually, one of my most embarrassing moments in my life um, that I'm not incredibly proud of, but, you know, it, it happened and you move past it eventually. It was a learning experience, to say the least, was when, you know, when I was when I was playing Tevia as uh, a fiddler on the roof back in middle school. On one of the, usually, usually middle schools do like a like a junior version of a play, but oh, no, nah, no. Nah. My middle school, we did... All the stuff. We did the entire, the entire show. So we wouldn't skip any scenes. We wouldn't do any, uh, we wouldn't skip any songs or anything like that. That would like, you know, make it, I guess, child friendly or I guess short enough for a junior play. Cause I don't know, I guess middle schoolers don't have, uh, they, they can't hold their attention to the show long enough to do the entire thing. I, I don't know exactly what the reason behind it was, but we did, we did full plays and we did a full fitter on the roof thing. And I got to be the main character, which was really, really cool. And it was probably one of the, one of the funnest times I've ever had in the performance of my life. It just, it felt really cool to be the star of the show. Um, and then, you know, it kind of, it kind of like set a little bit of a reputation too. Going into, I think that's probably why I was able to get some good roles my freshman year of college was because I did like, like when they asked like what your past performances were, I was like, oh yeah, I played a lead role back in middle school. And they're like, oh, well, that's very impressive. Well, prove yourself to the high school crowd. And I proved myself to the high school crowd. But um, the thing that was embarrassing was we would usually play six shows. Uh, two shows a night for three days. And so on one of those nights, I just, I completely blanked out. I don't know if it was anxiety. I don't know if it was stress or whatever it was. But the opening scene of the show, I, I walked in. The spotlight was on. It was staring. Everybody was staring right at me. And I completely forgot what to say. I, I had lost my words. I guess it was just an extreme case of stage fright that just popped up out of nowhere. And I stood there just kind of like... 
in panic. Like, oh my god, I, I have no idea what to say. Wh what do I say? And at that point in time, I hadn't quite grasped the idea of I can say whatever I want to. The show must go on. Improv is a thing. I believe I started doing improvisational stuff afterwards. If anybody would, you know, miss a line or or I would miss a line, good as forbid. But so I remember standing up there and being like, oh my god, I have no idea what I'm supposed to say up here. I've completely forgotten. And I kind of, um, the setup, usually you have like a band beneath the stage. There's a little pit band. But our pit band was off to the side of the stage. What my middle school would do is we had a stage that we had like platforms that we would put in front of it. So the platforms in front of the stage would act as an extension of the stage. So our stage was actually made a lot bigger because of the efforts of some, um, past parents and students and whatnot of the past. And so the pit band would be kind of wedged in between the wall and these risers that extended outwards. And so I just kind of looked over there at the director and the pit band, and they kept on playing their stuff. And I, I don't remember exactly what happened, but I want to say that I, I want to say that we, the music just, I think, let me think about this for a second. Usually, Tevia will say like a little monologue in the very beginning, and then the big the big opening number would start. And I think the the pit band just kind of skipped to the part where the the big opening begins. So it completely skipped all those lines that are supposed to be there. And I want to say too, it's it's very possible that I also forgot lines later on in the show too, and in another night. Although that one didn't. I'm not super duper sure about that one in particular. That that doesn't reign as prominently. That doesn't me that memory doesn't reign as prominently as forgetting the forgetting the opening monologue for the big show. And it wasn't like it wasn't like it was the first show either. Like it wasn't stage fright on the first night. Like I think it was show number two or three that I just completely blanked out and potentially multiple times too. And that terrified me. And like to this day, I've had some nightmares in the past where the nightmare is... Actually, it's a recurring nightmare that I've had. Uh, it's never... It's not usually with the same show, but the nightmare is... It's opening night. I'm all in costume. The show is about to begin, and I don't know any of my lines. Because when I get into this dream, they're like, oh my god, we're putting on... We're putting on the show. Don't you remember your lines as if they were yesterday? And I'm like, no, it's been years since I've put on this show. How do you think I would know the entire lines at this point? Like, I've had nightmares where I'm up on the stage and I'm all dressed up, and they're like... Do you remember all your lines in Sweeney Todd? Like, no. I don't remember any of that. I did that show over five years ago. Or, do you remember all of your show, like your lines from Fiddler on the Roof? Like, no. I did that almost, almost ten years ago. And so that would be my nightmare. My, like, my fear is not knowing what to say. And I think subconsciously, that kind of plays in the background of my mind all the time. Because I, I never not want to not have words to say. I never want to not know what to say. And to be fair, it happens quite a lot. It'll continue to happen, I'm sure, as I get older and whatnot. But, like, there have been many times at work where I don't know what to say. There are many times here where I don't know what to say. Sometimes having, you know, deep conversations with people in general, I don't exactly know what to say. I'm not super good at knowing exactly what to say it all the time. And oftentimes my, I guess, the way that I cope around that is to do a little bit of improv or talk about what's going on. Or if I don't know what's going on, I'll just be like, uh... Oh, Let's change the subject, or let me think about this out loud for a moment. I often do that at work. Oftentimes, if somebody asks me a question, I won't say I don't know immediately. I will kind of talk out my thinking of what I think it might be, and then end with I don't know. And depending on, I suppose, depending on your environment, depends on whether that's the right way to go about it or not. And to be fair, I don't know what the right way to go about it is. I don't, I don't yet know what the right way to go, whether the answer to... You're asked a question and you don't know the answer. Should you just say, I don't know, or should you give it your best shot? My, my like, subconscious says you should give it your best shot. And so I always try to give it my best shot. And eh, sometimes that works against me, and sometimes not. I think there's just a time and place for stuff like that. It really depends. So I don't know. I don't really know. But I've had that. So that's, the, that's like, one of the things that I... I guess that's one of my innermost fears, right? Getting a little personal. Sharing about my innermost feels. But that's not that's not anything new here. There are plenty of things that go on in my mind, and I like to talk about it. I like to talk things out. Kind of one of the things that I was saying before was like, 
in my idea, in my search for the perfect woman, I was like, I just want someone to do, like, listen to what is it is I gotta say. Because, like, in previous years, I felt like I had a lot to say, but I didn't have anybody to tell it to. And in recent years, I still got a lot to say. But I have people that I have people to say it to now, which is, it's, it's really cool. It's honestly, it's honestly a blessing that I'm able to have that. And that's a cool thing. Not everybody has the opportunity to speak what's on their mind. And I feel like in today's day and age, like, with, with mental health stuff being, like, extremely important that it's also really important to be honest with yourself first of all and also and if the part of the honesty there is like if you got to get something off your chest get it off your chest tell somebody about it like i mean don't like solicit people for their attention right like if somebody doesn't want to hear what you got to say for whatever reason like maybe pass on to the next person or give it a little bit of time um, I've had moments where like i gotta say something and i'm like anna i need to share this with you right now and she's like I'm, I'm a little tired Maybe we'll talk about it another time, and you gotta you gotta respect that. You gotta respect that. In which case, I could you know I could always call up a friend of mine. I could talk to them about it. I could talk with some of my buddies. I could just talk it out here, like pocket it till later. But uh, one of the things that I've tried not to do is to internalize things, and I think I'm still not super good at that. Sometimes work gets a little stressful, and I mean. I'm trying to find some ways to cope with that, right? Like, I mean, I'm sure I'm not, I'm definitely not the only person who gets stressed out a little bit by, by their job. And to be fair, it's a fun job. It doesn't stress me out a lot, but there are some days where I come home and I'm like, I'm really stressed out about this. I wonder why I'm sitting stressed out about this. And so what I've started to do is I can either bike to work. Actually, technically I can bike to work. I can drive to work. I can walk to work. It's all pretty much within the same distance. I don't drive to work because then I'll lose my parking spot and I don't know if I'll get a parking spot over at work because we don't have like a parking garage or anything like that. No, no parking lot either. So I don't know whether or not I'm going to get a parking spot. So I usually don't drive because I don't want to lose my spot and because I don't know whether I'm going to get a spot over at the work area. So that's why I usually don't drive. I usually bike because I like to spend time at home. I like to get up a little later, give myself some time to just be and exist. And so usually after my morning remote call finishes in the morning, I've got about like, I've got a certain amount of time to get into the office. And if I leave directly after, I'll sometimes make it to work on time before we have another meeting, which is also, I could also zoom into that one as well, but I like to be present for that one. And so if I walk, there's a chance that I might not make it like like super reliably. I might not make it to the point where I can be present and available to answer any related questions that might be coming up in, you know, my particular area of expertise. Um, so I usually so I usually bike to save time on that. Um, I usually use walking as a way to just enjoy the day. If it's a nice sunny day outside and it's all nice and warm, I don't want to bike to work. I mean, maybe I want to bike to work for some reason or another, but, like, I want to enjoy... I just want to enjoy, like, the sunlight. I just want to enjoy, like, just the heat, just the walk, the enjoyment of it all. Because I find it rather therapeutic to go off and walk to work. And, like, recently, usually what I would do is I will bike to work unless otherwise noted. And I've kind of changed that up a little bit. I will... If I can... Now what I'll do is I'll kind of... I'll try to walk to work unless otherwise noted, and I'm not a big fan of the cold, and it is rather cold. Like, I'll be walking through, like, 20-degree weather, which I'm not a big fan of, but I think I've gotten used to it to the point where it's not as bad as it was before, and I can handle it now better than I could previously. So, I don't I don't got too much of an issue to walk because of the weather, if it's cold or whatnot. I can bundle up. Previously, I was not very good at bundling up. I was, like, really, really, really bad at attempting to bundle up for the weather. Like, I was super bad at that. I, I just, I, for some reason, could not figure out how to keep the important parts of my body warm. Like, somehow, I was not buying the right gloves. Somehow, I was not buying the right pants. Or rather, I wasn't wearing anything underneath the pants, like thermals and whatnot, to keep me warm. Like, I wasn't buying anything like that. So that's why I was cold. Or I wasn't wearing a hat. Or I wasn't wearing the right jacket. Like, some reason or another, for some reason or another, I would be cold on my way to i'd be cold on my way to work and so eventually i was like i don't want to walk anymore because this is just this is annoying this is annoying i'm cold and i don't like it but like previously at one of my previous jobs i didn't have my bike on campus at that point and i didn't have a bike parking spot at work so i didn't bring my bike in so i walked even during the cold even during the snowstorms i walked in but it's, it's therapeutic like the walk is the time of the day where 
I guess, as as my coworker had put it, and this is probably a little bit of a, even they admitted it was a bit of a, a, a dated, a dated statement that at the very least, the drive to work is the only place that your spouse and or your boss are not yelling at you. And luckily, my boss doesn't yell at me. And unless I started something, my fiance doesn't yell at me either. So thank goodness there. But you know, he was, he was totally right. He was, he was really right. He was totally right about that. In the sense that like, I can, what I can do now is I got these, I've got these, um, I usually wear an earbud, usually one ear earbud, because I need to hear out the other end, just in case like a car's coming and I need to hear like what the sound of it is. Oh, I am, whoa. Whoopsie. It seems that I've, <laughs> I've breached the ground. That was unfortunate. I'll fix that. I'll, I'll fix this in a moment. I will eventually fix this, but I will not fix this right now. That's a later me problem. Um, but yeah, so I will, yeah, I, I walk to work now. Or at least I try to. Because I think it's rather therapeutic. I mean, it's not like, I'm trying to think of like, why I find it so therapeutic. Like, wh why is it so relaxing? Well, usually I'll listen to music along the way. Um, depending on what type of music, depends on like what kind of relaxed state I'm in. Like, I usually listen to a lot of lo-fi stuff. I like lo-fi beats. That lo-fi girl knows what she's talking about. And so I usually listen to that stuff because it's relaxing. But oftentimes I'm just, I, I want to be like in a mood or whatever. I want to be in like a, a high energy mood. So I'll listen to high energy music. I my, my tastes depend on the day. I've noticed that since I started this new job, the, gen the genre of music that I listen to on any particular day has kind of changed from week to week. The artist will change, the genre will change. Last week was a lo-fi kind of week. But we're kind of moving into a high energy kind of thing because I've started listening to some more music that I would consider to be high energy toward the end of the week. Like, um, there's this one song. Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta remember who the the artist is on it. But there's this one song that's been really stuck in my head, and it's called Avalanche. And I'm trying to, I want to remember who it's by. It's on this playlist. What is it called? It's called Avalanche by an artist named Christian French, and it's just, it's nice. I think it's about, I think it's about cheating on your partner, which I don't do. I haven't done. Not in a while, at least. Or maybe not at all. We'll see. But so, it's like, um, I'm trying to think of the lyrics. It goes like, there was only one night I was obsessing, a little compulsive, wondering what it'd be like without you. It was only one night I felt the wind in my hair, but I wasn't prepared for what it'd feel like without you. So I start giving less and less and less, and you start wanting more and more and more. I just gotta get it off my chest that you just ain't the one no more. I had a thought, it turned into a thing. Noise up in my head and it turned into a ring. I thought I'd always love you, but now I can't. Oh, I started an avalanche. And it kind of goes on like that for a little while. That's the chorus of the song. But it sounds to me like the artist, or at least the lyrics of the song are implying like, you were in a relationship, but then you wondered what it would be like when you weren't in that relationship. So you decided for one night that you would do whatever it is that you do outside of the relationship. In this case, I would imagine cheating. And then you were like, oh no, what have I done? If this was a mistake, surely. At least that's my impression of the song. And I don't know. I really like the beat of the song. It's got a nice, it, like the whole like, and for the chorus of like, oh, I started an avalanche. But that song has been stuck in my head. And I really, really like it. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share that real quick. Just because I'm thinking about it right now, I'm gonna pop it in chat. Because I'm thinking about it. And it's a good song. And I would I would totally recommend a listen. I would totally recommend a listen. So, if you feel so inclined, give this one a listen. It's a good one. I, it, it's, a good, it's a good one. I think it's a good one, at least. I don't know if you'll have Spotify or not. I don't know if it's on, like... Honestly, I've never used any other service other than Spotify. Because that's just really the only one that I've ever known. The only one I've ever been inclined to use. Because, like, I don't have an iPod anymore i don't have an ipod touch or anything like that so i don't 
So like, I don't have Apple Music. I have it. I think I I have an iOS account. I'm pretty sure. So like, I guess that means I can have Apple Music. I don't exactly know how it works. I have to ask my fiance who uses who uses a um. She's got an iPhone, and she's been using an iPhone for a long time now. She's an she's an Apple girl. She's an Apple kind of girl. But like, I don't exactly know how that works. So, but I remember I was in an Uber ride one time. I think I was getting a ride to the airport, and the the driver was we were just we we're just talking, shooting the shit, and he was like, "Do you listen? Like, what kind of music do you listen to?" We started. I was like, "I listen to a various different types." And like, "What services do you use?" I was like, "I really only use Spotify." He's like, "Have you ever tried like Apple Music or Amazon Music stuff like that?" I was like, "No, nah, I never have." Because to be honest, as of right now, I don't have a reason to. Although technically. There is one conceivable reason of why I would use those music services in addition to or in place of Spotify. And that's because Spotify doesn't play all the songs I want to listen to. There's a lot of... So I found that there are a lot of songs on Spotify that are unavailable for one reason or another. So that might incline for me to go to a platform that has more of that music available for me. And to be honest, I have no idea what other... Like, whether where you stream your music is similar to like the streaming wars of like Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime and all that stuff. I don't know exactly all the details. Like for the most part, 90% of the music that I listen to is on Spotify. But maybe, maybe that's only because the music that Spotify is recommending for me to listen to is only the stuff that it has. So I don't know. That's something I got to look into. I know that there's also, like, for example, I know, I don't know if it works this way on, like, all plat all music platforms or not, but, like, some songs are specifically region locked. Like, you can't listen to the music because it's just not available in your country. And I don't know if switching apps will fix that for you. Hooking up a VPN will probably help you. Or, I guess, moving, if that's a convenient thing for you to do. Just, you know, if you want to listen to all of your J-pop music that you can't get access to, just hop on a ride to Japan. You'll enjoy it. It'll be totally worth the flight. Maybe, if you have that kind of money. I can't just hop on a plane and head off to Japan whenever I want to. I can hop on a plane, technically, whenever I want to, but... I don't think it's very warranted. I, I don't have many cases where I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go on a trip this weekend. Not recently. Previously, I'd go to, like, go to Florida for a weekend, because Anna's got family down there, and so we have a place to stay. But, for the most part, I don't travel all willy-nilly. Usually months apart from each other. I think the last big travel thing that Anna and I did together was drive all the way over to Indianapolis, but that wasn't flying either. We, we drove for uh, Gen Con, and that was really, really fun. But so I think the next big travel thing, I think Anna's Anna's family is going to Disney sometime soon, but I, I gotta work, so I will not be joining them, unfortunately. I mean, it, it's not actually too bad. I love Disney just as much as the next person, but like, whereas Anna especially and some of her family members see it as kind of like like the happy place to go to where if you just want to be happy you can go to you can go to Disney World and it's a, it's a wonderful happy place to be but like I don't feel the same way about it like I totally enjoy my time there but like it's not really like a comfort place for me I guess for, for some people it's like a comfort place and you you if you had the choice to go you would always be there and I feel like that's how that's how some people feel about that and I think that's how Anna feels about it if she had the choice to go to Disney today sh she would I, I feel like she would like you know considering you know schoolwork and stuff like that but I feel like that would probably be the de facto answer. If I was given a choice to go to Disney World today, nothing else considered, I'd be like, eh, I kind of, I feel like I'd rather stay home. Or I like being home. Or I'd rather go visit my family with that time instead. Like, I try to do it more as like a, a special occasion thing. But like, your comfort place or your comfort, like, whatever it is that you do, is a special occasion, right? Like, I don't play Minecraft super duper often, so it's a special occasion for something like this. It feels very special to me. Special not only because I haven't played it in a while, but because it's also around Christmas time. So we're trying to chill, be warm, merry, and bright, holiday season, Christmas Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Hippopata holidays. But also because I got y'all here too. And I always appreciate that. It's always that, no, no matter the case, even if there's no proof of it. It's always... Or rather, even if there's no... Like, there's little... Like, little proof of it. I appreciate everybody who pops in. And it's always a wonderful time. Especially to my lurkers out there. I am one of you. 
I don't I don't say things in chats. I just it's kind of like it's kind of like being in a big convention center and just randomly starting to talk to the person next to you. I'm not that kind of person. Or being in a concert and during the lull time saying like free bird. Like I'm not that kind of person. I'm not going to yell that in the middle of the dull, the dull time of the concert. I'm just not that kind of guy. And so I totally vibe with that. Oftentimes I I sometimes feel bad as like a content creator myself, not like totally being active in the audience, but I might be up doing things, I might be splitting my focus, or one of X number other reasons of why I'm not speaking personally. And but but I understand it. I completely understand it. I think to be honest, there might be only I'm trying to think of other people whose other people other streamers whose chats I talk in. And I'm thinking one, two, three, four, and most of them are like really close friends of mine or some other some other category that also makes me feel extremely comfortable chatting in there. And I think it actually I know now that I say that, I feel like it always comes back to like like a comfort factor too. Like I'm the kind of person who when I was younger, um like Lycos Lore is what Lycos Lore, my buddy Glenn, is one of my best buds. And we hung out all the time in high school. We were in marching band together, we were in theater together, and his house was pretty much right down the road from where we all went to school. And so oftentimes I would go to his place after school. Uh, because of especially after we started doing marching band together, because my mother wouldn't be always be able to come to school and grab me on time. So if she wasn't able to get there, I would gotta go to I'd go to Glenny Boy's house and I'd hang out there. And him and his family are such welcoming people. They were like, absolutely, you can come over pretty much every single day, of the, half of the week, and just spend your time here, spend a couple hours here before going home. And that was, it was super duper cool. And it was awesome. And that was something that continued for like most of my high school career. And one of the reasons why we all continue to see each other at the very least once a year, and why I'm welcome in their new house as well when I go down south too. But like, so, where was I going with that? Yeah, so in their house, they're very kind people. And I always felt like I was being a bit of a burden. I don't want to be a burden for people. I, I feel like a lot of what also happens in the back of my mind unconsciously comes from the fact that I just don't want to be a burden. And although that's kind of fading as I get older, which is for good and for bad, it's a utility nonetheless to be able to speak out and ask for things if you need it. Or maybe not, yeah, for, yeah, not always not being a burden. Like, because if, like, for example, if, for example, if you're at the store, uh, or if you're at a restaurant, and somebody near you is allergic to a certain food option, and you notice that that food option pops on the table, like, it's a burden, it's a little bit of a bother to be like, excuse me, we, we can't have this, we're gonna need to return this. But, like, if it means potentially life or death for, a, a, like, so whoever's at the table, especially if it's a family member, I'm talking from experience, my mother is very allergic to shellfish. And sometimes shellfish stuff or shellfish contamination will wind up coming to the table and we gotta be like listen I, we, gotta, we gotta take this back or you gotta watch out for it. like you know be careful for it in the beginning so like it serves it can serve a purpose and that's one of the purposes of there um but so going back to going back to like the high school thing i started going like i started going to their house like really really often and i would often be like hey my mom actually can't come get me i think i need a ride home today and i always felt bad asking for a ride home and every single time that I'd be ridden home by by uh, Glenn's Glenn's mom, who would who would always drive me, she always she always loved driving. She she still does. I think she still loves driving. And she'd always be like, "It's not it's not a bother. It's not a bother at all. Like I don't mind driving you home. I enjoy the drive. I enjoy your company. And you don't need to feel like you're being a burden if you ask." And I would always kind of be like, "Yeah, okay, I get it. Yeah, I, I got you. I got you. I understand." But like, only after a long time. Did I really start believing those words that I was saying? Only after a long time did I really start feeling not bad in the least bit to not bad in the least bit to be able to ask for a ride home. And it took me it took me at least maybe a year or two. I'm thinking more on the edge of two years to feel really comfortable in that scenario. And then like after a while, like you you know, with enough reassurance, I felt really really good about it, and I felt much better about that, and I felt like less of a burden. And I feel like that's something I, I kind of I like to host guests every once in a while. And I'm sure one day down the line when I've got my kids and they got their friends coming over and whatnot, I will. I hope that I can make like my house like that. 
because the idea that somebody else is comfortable in a place that I deem like my own, like my space being comfortable for somebody else is like, it's an honor. It's like, it's like, it's one thing to have, it's, it's one honor to like have dinner guests, for instance, and have people come over for dinner, but it's a completely other honor for those guests before they leave or to say, Hey, this was really nice. Thank you so much. We really enjoyed. We felt very comfortable or say this was great. I think I'm going to come back next time. Like there are just, there's just so much, there's so much of the honor there. And like an honor, like honor to serve an honor to host an honor to just make sure that you're comfortable. Like the fact that something here was able to make something, some, somebody comfortable is something that I pride myself on. And it doesn't always happen, obviously. But like, if I can, if it can happen, then that is like the highest honor for me. Um, I've had like, like in the past, there have been a, a couple of folks who have popped in chat and be like, yeah, this is a very comfortable space here. And every single time I hear comments like that, I'm like, wonderful. That's great. That's perfect. That's perfect. I'll keep doing what I'm doing then. I'll keep on doing what I'm doing here so that we can have more of those moments. Um, and of course, like if there was any sort of discomfort stuff, like I've had, I've had some moments in the past where something happened like on stream or whatever, and somebody had approached me afterwards and said, hey, I think this was really uncomfortable for this person, or this was a little uncomfortable for me. And, you know, I'm not the kind of guy, I'm not the kind of person who would be like, well, it's my show, so I'm gonna run it the way that I want to. Like, without, out of reason. I mean, it is my show. Technically. It's our show. But we'll run it the way that we want to. But, depending on, I mean, it's it's heavily context-based, so it depends. Heavily context-based. But if somebody's like, hey, this made me, it made me kind of uncomfortable, I... At the very least, we'll entertain... Oh, okay. Entertain sounds like a wrong word. But, like, at the very least, try to be considerate. Try to be considerate of other people. Because, like, none of this is even possible without the people within it. Without the people of the community. So, if that's, you know... You gotta be thankful for them. I got... I'm thankful for it. Thankful for it. And hope to continue with that. I don't know. I'm kind of running out of steam there. I was like, it's good. It's good. Like... <laughs> I was trying to improv, improv. I'm trying to t vamp more on that, but like honestly, it just keeps coming back to the same thing. Like it's really, really cool, and I like that, and and that's a good thing. That's a good thing to need. Positive vibes, morning times, and good vibes. And although it's not technically the morning over here, at least not where I am. It's it's the afternoon now. Oh, it seems that I've breached. All right, it looks like I've breached the final level of the wall. Yep, look at that. I have, I have found the outside. Wowza, look at that. Nice. That is a lot of ore there. Okay, well, I am almost... And I know I know this ore deposit continues onto that wall over there. So I think I'll probably come back and continue this uh, this little mining... Excuse me. Mining excursion here another time. And maybe do something with it. I don't really know. I, I'd rather do something with this. Because, like, I don't like the fact that, personally, my map... Uh, if I do the underground mode, we'll showcase this as an area. So, like, this is looks like an area of my lab. But this is not an area of my lab. This is my laboratory. This is not my laboratory. This is just an ore van underground. So maybe I'll go back in here and completely fill things up again. But maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. In any case, it is getting kind of close to 2 o'clock. I gotta, I gotta make sure I get things ready for uh, when I head on home. Because I gotta head home for the holidays. And I wanted to make sure I did something like this. This has been incredibly pleasant. As it always is. I'm trying to think of a time where it wasn't incredibly pleasant. Actually, yeah, I've had I've had streams that were unpleasant before. Not incredibly unpleasant, but I've had unpleasant ones before. Oh, dirt's coming out the other side. Oh, wait, let me check that. Have you have dirt so far? 25 dirt so far. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Um, maybe. I'll I'll continue with that. And I guess Pete is going this way too, right? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's excellent. Oh, I gotta see if uh, I gotta see how much Pete is in my system. And then scan it. Because scanning is good. Oh hey everybody. Whoa, the two Stuarts came back. Hello, Stuart 1 and Stuart 2. You are the primary Stuart, I think. Good day to y'all. Good day to y'all, Stuarts. I wonder how much Pete I got. I guess what I'll do is I'll um I'll deposit all of my stuff into here. I got plenty of cobblestone. I got plenty of this stuff. And I want to say, and I'll double check my system, tetrahedrite shouldn't be immediately turned into copper. It should be filtered out, cleaned up, and same thing with malachite. So it should come out as a dust, not as something else. 
It shouldn't be turned directly into copper because I want to take the oxygen out of it first. But let me see about that. Let, let me just see just to make sure. So there shouldn't be any tetrahedrite in here to be to be smelted. No tetrahedrite. That's redstone alloy. I see that. I see pulsating iron. I don't see malachite and I don't see tetrahedrite. So that's that's perfect. And stibnite. I'm trying to remember if stibnite has some oxygen in it too. Stibnite. If you turn that, turn to antimony, crush stibnite, clean that up. Nah, that's sulfur. I don't need I don't need that much of that. So Do I currently do this stibnite? I don't actually. Eh, whatever. That's okay. If I have more sulfur, that's good. Sulfur gets used for what sulfur gets used for. So And then do I have anything else over here? Now we're all good. We're all good. We're all good. Tetrahedrite and the other stuff. I just put it all in the chest. Perfect. I love how convenient that is. Put some dirt in there, gizzle greens. Wildflowers and allium. I think I'd put that in the extractor and extract um, colors and dyes from it. Because I don't need a bunch of flowers in my storage system. But like... But flowers? That's good. That's a lathe. Wait a minute. That was not right. I need an extractor. Extractor? Polarizer? Extractor. Extract! That doesn't work. Extract! That does work. Cool. Well, I don't need this thing then. Oh, yes I do. Magenta dye. Hmm. Very cool. Now let's see if there's any peat over here. I want to see what the peat's all about. Peat? Oh, that must have been one of my first pieces of peat. Wait a minute, where's the peat going? Wait a second. Wait a second. Where is the peat going? I don't see any peat in my storage system. Peat, where are you going? Wait, wait, so peat is coming down here, and it's going... Oh my god, it's going this way! Oh, goodness no! Oh, that's not right at all! No, 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 no. Oh my god, there's a bunch of peat. Ah! Peat, go to the... Go to the blue. There we go. Oh, it's a good thing I caught that. <laughs> it was just getting dug out the other side. Now you should go this way. And you'll proceed up this way. You'll come along this way. You'll come along this way. Follow the pipe, follow the pipe. You're going this way. And which direction does peat go now? Blue, in the blue direction. So the blue direction comes this way. This way, this way, this way. Oh, so we don't want blue to go in this direction. Right? We don't want blue to go in this direction. I want it to go in the green direction, it seems, so that it goes back into the system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green. And then it will be placed into the system like everything else. I could have lost a ton of peat there. That would have been terrible. That would have been catastrophic. No, not really. You probably scan it for stuff. At the bright side, you know, it's it's another it's another form, it's another fuel source. Actually, you know, if I can give a, get a big enough peat farm up and running, I can completely... Because I guess... Mm, I would still need a source of dirt. I'm still lacking a source of dirt to keep things sustainable. But I could just change my entire storage setup to just be peat instead of charcoal. That's always an option. But I don't know. What else can peat be used for? It can be made better. It can be turned into ash could be used as fuel. Um, as of right now, ash does what? Ash can be centrifuged, I think, right? Yeah, ash can be centrifuged into this stuff. One piece at a time. It'll turn into quicklime, potash, small pile of magnesia. I mean, I'm trying to think. As of right now, I think peat to me is more beneficial as a way to get these materials here more so than anything else. So, peat in the system will be configured to do this. It will be burned up. It'll be burned into ash. Right? This burns into ash? Got it do. So, we'll turn peat into ash. And then what comes out the other side is going to be ashes. Yeah. Oh, which I've never scanned before. Excellent. That'll become that. And then ashes are going to wind up coming over to the centrifuge, I think, right? This is programmed for centrifuging. Got some purified stuff coming through. The system is already working. I'd love to see that. This is programmed for dust, right? Uh, ashes. Are you programmed for ashes? Uh, this is specific stuff. Um, you're programmed for ashes, aren't you? Yes, you are programmed for ashes. Perfect. And you will be centrifuged and turned into whatever material. 
eventually with time forever and ever wonderful well then i think that'll be it i think that's good for now what we did today was we made a couple of mocktails in the morning the green tea mocktail was good and so was the holiday surprise i'll be adding recipes to that later on i'll probably put them post them on the discord too for anybody who's interested i haven't been doing that the last couple times i apologize about that i will do that today i will make sure to put these recipes up on there or maybe not the entire recipes but i'll put the links to the recipes that's what i'll do that maybe i won't write the whole thing out but like if you want to know the recipe you can click on the link give the page because i bet whoever authored the article would be more than happy to have the clicks so it ain't my stuff their stuff got to give credit where credit is due. In any case, thank you, everybody, so much for coming along. This was good. We made a peat bog. Is it sustainable? I have no idea. Did we build it anyway? Yeah. And how long did it take us? About five hours. Yeah, you know, give or take a few minutes behind. So like four and a half, perhaps. I think it was a productive day. It was great. Thank you all. It's been wonderful. Let's let's close this out, shall we? Yes, we shall. Put this too too close to my face. To anybody who's celebrating the Christmas holiday, I hope you have a Merry Merry Christmas. To anybody who celebrated the Hanukkah uh, holiday, I hope it was a wonderful Hanukkah. And to any other holidays that are upcoming, I don't exactly know when Kwanzaa is. I don't know what date Kwanzaa falls on. But if it hasn't happened yet, have a great Kwanzaa. If it has happened already, I hope it was a good one. And whatever holidays, you got Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Festivus, holiday season, Hippopata holidays, whatever you've got out there, I hope it's a merry one. And I hope it is filled with joy delight and wonder and if not it'll be better this is it'll get better from here it will if you remember as i like to think of it if you're at rock bottom you can only go up from there and i think that is an incredibly wonderful thing so to everybody no matter where you are whatever time zone you're in i hope you have a wonderful morning if it's the morning after a great afternoon if it's the afternoon or an absolutely magnificent and wonderfully restful evening if it's evening where you are the party continues no matter where we are. Peace out until next time, everybody. Bye!